one. So yeah. how so how are we gonna how are we going to um, say good morning to the customers this morning? Borada. Borada. That's that's Welsh. Good obviously. morning. Yes. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Uh, um, what else is there? I don't know. I'm rubbish with languages. Um, Como se va? That's a good one. That's a good, one. <laughs> good morning, everybody. We were just having a chat about all you lovely audience viewers this morning before the show, how yes. we were going to talk to you this morning. Yes! Because we're feeling really loved up because the first time Ellen and I have worked together for, it must be five weeks. Ma it Is feels it, like think? months. I'll tell you when it was. It was the 2nd of September when we launched yeah, and you were going the, on holiday. The selenite, that was the last time That's we worked. That's right. That's four weeks, yeah. Is it really? It feels yeah, like longer than that. Amazing. Um, yeah, because you were going on your holidays, mm, weren't that's you? That's right, my I holiday. remember. Yeah, well, I've missed you. You too. Every time good. I saw you, I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> pining for Mark. <laughs> pining for Isn't you. Isn't it strange, leaving home in the dark and getting to work in the dark? I quite like it. Do you? I uh, like autumn. Right. It's you definitely were, here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. It was I, the Equinox I, on Saturday. Oh, was it? See, yeah. I walked... Um, well, you remember Marie? Mm. Remember yes. lovely yeah, Marie? Yeah, yeah. So um, Marie's um, away, I believe, at the moment. And, and I popped back from doing some food shopping yesterday, so all the family will just popped out for the day, for the afternoon. Um, and Marie's mum was on the drive, and, of course, the dogs come over, Chrissy, oh, yeah. and her dog, Lily. And her mum had had a fall, so she couldn't walk the dogs. She, and I was like, do you want me to take them? Anyway, I took her dogs. They are far better be behaved right. than my two. <laughs> far better behaved. Anyway, so I had a lovely leisurely walk and picked up conkers. Amazing. Along the way. Ah. It, now, apparently, the old wives tell us if you put one in a window sill, yes. it stops the spiders. But whether it's that works, true. it's not true. No, it the amount of spiders. I've had more spiders in my house this year than I've no, ever had, well. I think. We've had huge beasts. I know. Tarantulas. I was yeah. very impressed because, as you know, the other morning there was one just on the... Oh, was there? Yeah, and Dan had to be my uh, do do hero. Right. Um, well, you, know, you were my hero to the rescue, ushered the spider out. Um, but I was very impressed. Willow, the other day, she was like... Very calm, I was in the bath, knock, knock, knock. Mummy, there's a massive spider in my bedroom. Right, can I, can I go and get a glass? I was like, yes, of course you can. So she went and got a glass. And wow. At the age of seven, I was- She I did was, it and released yeah, it into the wild. Released it safely. It would have been back in the house within an hour. I know. You know that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mention that. And I was like, I'm also very conscious not to pass on my fear no, no. to her. So, yeah, I was very impressed. I was Amazing. like, yes, just Amazing. get a glass, Willow, like mummy would do, and just dash it out. There you oh, go. Gosh, I know. Autumn's here. Yay. Yay. Oh, we've got a lovely Monday morning it's a show. Real lovely, it's got a lovely feel to it, actually, hasn't it? This yeah. Morning. There's lots of different things. Really gem heavy, which is really good. Very so old school. Very old school. Lots of new products. Lots of old revisiting products. No, yeah. it's lovely. It's amazing. Well, if you think, you know, a lot of you have mm. been asking for sort of your, your, your old school traditional gemstone. So, um, well, today is perfect for you then. Look at is this that, tea um, bar. Is that selenite on the website now? Sir. Grab it. There, there must be a couple left. How many are left? Seven. Okay. Amazing. Ah, put in especially for you. These strands here. Yeah, this, they're going to go before we before we bring those to it. They're number three on the website. That's all we've got. <coughs> yeah, Grab that's them it. Quick. Yeah. There you go. Did Amazing. Could if it was if we had quantity, uh, then we, it would have been another. I think we had, I think we had two hundred altogether, didn't yeah, we? And we've yeah. got seven left. Well, that speaks volumes. Number three. Yeah, grab them. It's, it's obviously Much going lower, lower yeah. yeah. Um, and number one and two is your early bird. I mean, how amazing are these? Look where we're starting from. What? I know. They're so designer inspired, particularly the one, mm -hmm. number two, um, almost, yeah, I mean, look at those lovely hammer wow. details. Um, got a little bit of a sort of floral, yeah. I mean, this is more your, your oval one, but That's the other cool. one's got more of a kind of floral link. So shop ahead on those. We've got, re there you go, see where I'm oh, coming look. from? Yes. How nice yeah. is that? Um, we've got a selection, a plethora. That's a good word. Of beautiful, beautiful gemstones. Oh, that's Our more favourite, like number six. Yeah, love it, Sun and Scarn. Yeah. I'm absolutely obsessed, but that, that yeah, very limited. Um, a lot of the items very limited, Ross is saying in our ear. Can I also mention that we are back together, the original team? How long has uh, that been? It's been, I mean... I think it's very selfish, quite frankly. People taking holidays. People taking know, holidays. People going off to have babies and things like oh, that. You know, I oh, know. No, no. Can we can we stop now? Can we stop? No more holidays. No more babies. Why is that all right? Yeah. 
<laughs> um, yeah, we've got our lovely Adam and Roscoe back. And we've got our... Oh, Dan, you've Aww. stuck with me, haven't you, lovely? You've been, you've been with me through and through. So, yeah, I know. I know where the loyalty lies, you see. Um, there's our gorgeous Dan. There he is. I'm back. I'm, you're back, Mark. And I'm back. And we've got a massive show on Saturday to look forward oh, to. We but have. we're not going to talk about Saturday. No. We're not going to talk about Saturday. Maybe at the end. Talk about the end of the show. Yeah, perfect. Um, texting, come and say hello to us because we would love, love, love to hear from you. What have you been up to this weekend? Have you done anything nice? Did you do anything nice this weekend? We went to um, Barton on Sea, which is between Bournemouth and Southampton on the south coast, oh, overlooking the Needles on the Isle of Wight. Yeah, because our friends it. Jenny and Graham, they were yeah. celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. Aww. And Andrew volunteered yeah. to make the cake. Yes. But they didn't want a fruit cake this time. They wanted a sponge cake of right. some description to yeah. have as a dessert yeah. after the buffet. Right. But Andrew just doesn't do any cake. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, let's see. So three, three tier. Did he do a three tier? Three cake? tier sponge cake. If I show you this one, look at this. Three tier, he'll, he'll be so cross, I've shown this on there. He did a three tier sponge cake and decorated it with the orchids and freesias from her wedding bouquet 16 oh. years ago. So it was, a, it was a Genoese cake on the bottom, Madeira sponge, and then it was a, a cake called Hummingbird Cake, which was a tropical banana and pineapple sponge, and then the top layer was a traditional coffee and walnut. How clever! So he did Is all that, that last week while working, and then, do you want to see this? Do you want to see a really funny photo? Yeah. This is just, oh, he's going to be so cross. Well, this what is, this is, Don't tell me the cake collapsed. So we, we, we went down in the car, two and a half hour journey in the car, okay, with Andrew's sister Helen and her husband Dean. Yeah. And for all the entire journey, Helen and Dean were sat on the back seat holding <laughs> that car, <laughs> holding the cake. And you can imagine the back seat driving I was getting while yeah. driving down on the A34 in the M27. Oh, you were designated driver. I was driving. So don't take any shots. Yeah, you can see Andrew's <laughs> face look. It's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. But no, we got it, we got it there in one piece, and, and, and Jane and Graham were absolutely delighted. I'm it. sure it they were. It was a lovely day, and the entire 40 members of her family turned up, and it's not every day you get all no. the family together at the same place. No, oh, how lovely. And the sun shone, and it was, it was lovely. It was a gorgeous day Saturday, one, wasn't it? A massive, again, congratulations to Jane and Graham on their 60 years That's together. That's fabulous, that is. That's quite a feat, isn't it? Yeah, it's Amazing. fabulous. I love things. I get quite, I get yeah. quite, no, when I hear I about those right. kind of yeah. Yeah. anniversaries. Yeah, no, it was a lovely day. Lovely. Because they're going to be a thing of the past aren't they Absolutely. because people are getting married later and later Absolutely. and later that's right yeah um so you're not going to hear of people having kind of 60 no. year no unlikely no. that tom and i'll celebrate well apparently the, 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 the 60 is their diamond yeah. 70 is platinum as we know from the jubilee yeah 80 now not many people get to 80 years married together. No. opal is it? Opal is the 80 years, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Incredible, isn't it? I'll be some kind of medical marvel if I, yeah. get, <laughs> <laughs> if I get anywhere near that. Um, right then, let's get cracking, shall we? Texting, come yeah. and say hello. We've yeah. uh, we're really excited about today's show. Um, we've said hello to everybody as well. Shall we start with a gemstone? that Ross is saying he's not seen before? You know, I was just going to ask if we could see this. I'm intrigued. Which one? Brazilian what? This one. It looks like Branca Onyx. It does. That's what I thought it was, yeah. Branca Onyx. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, amazing. So this is beautiful. You get two strands. Oh, how lovely. And being agate, you would assume that it was it was a lesser it was a less price of, of Branca Onyx, I well, would imagine. I, I might mean, be wrong. The fact you've got Oh, straight away, yes it yes, is. Yes. Twin, if that was Branca Onyx, you wouldn't be getting two strands for no, twenty nine ninety nine. No. Goodness me. It's lovely and That's it will go gorgeous. beautifully, Mark, I'm thinking, with your selenite bundle. Oh, it would. That we had yeah. just here. How amazing. How amazing. Well, please grab I that love, selenite. That I love selenite it. Ross is saying, oh, I have seen it before. <laughs> I launched it. Was it you as well? Probably. Yeah. Oh, was I not here? Ah, you. You weren't in you. and Ross wasn't in either. It was his shift side, but he wasn't in. Was he not? No. Oh, well, maybe he was right. here in body, but yeah. not in uh, yeah. mind. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> um, I mean, straight away, we're at £15 per strand. This will go beautifully with all of your yeah. nine o'clock kits. Definitely. And, Amazing. of course, your deal of the day. Your deal of the day is all about beautiful courts. How about, lovely jewellery makers, kick-starting your wonderful week? £19.99. That's £10 per strand. Amazing. I'm, I'm oh. happy, Pappy. I like the way he says happy. Happy. Is it question mark? Question mark? Where's he going to go? 
Oh, Are you happy? If it goes up at the end, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's normally, there might be more. Is there, yes, there's more. There's more. Oh. Um, 19.99, I've only got 18 of these available. Be beautiful with pearls, crackle quartz, clear quartz, with your selenite. All of Mark's amazing kits say, for example, your appetite would be lovely. Oh, would. With these amazing multicolored strands. I know, I can't wait to show you that. Unbelievable, absolutely like unbelievable. like apples, aren't they? Do you they remember are. those? <gasps> the sweets, <laughs> I do remember those. The hard sweets that yeah, used to kind of hurt right. your gums. And you used to stick to your paper bag after 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, them were the days, didn't they, the when you used to get sweets in a paper bag. And you get bits in your mouth when you're eating them. And they'd be shaking them out onto the onto the weighing scales. Oh, or, yeah. like, yeah, go on, put the up net, the blah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those days? And I always used to know, oh, yeah. I always used to know that go for something that's quite lightweight because you get loads Rainbow of Rainbow sherbet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cinder toffee. Yeah. You've sherbet got tons. Pips. Sherbet oh, pips. sherbet pips. Yeah. Yes. See, even at, the t at a tiny age, we realise that actually um, the weight is important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Don't go for any dense sweets because right. then you get less. Yeah. Right then. What? Do we oh my goodness me! Well, We're well. under ten pounds for two strands. I don't remember seeing this. I've never seen it before. No. Over a hundred uh, sold on launch with Zena. Um, well, now we're bringing you the final 18. It's pure. It's, I mean, it's natural as well. It's There's no treatment to this whsoever, which is a rarity in our gates, awesome. isn't it? It does look like Branca on it, doesn't it? Ma massively so. Yeah. You mentioned Sakura Agate, which is also another natural mm. variety that might be coming mm. up on Saturday. Mm. We did say we wouldn't talk about it. But yeah, coming up on Saturday. <laughs> this would be absolutely beautiful alongside your Sakuras, but I've only got a handful of them available. Remember, there is also a catch. Um, you only get these deals until nine o'clock. Make sure you're checking out. You can also shop That's ahead nice. on the website, take a little peruse, a little schmooze. Um, you've got, yeah, both strands, five pounds each. How amazing is that? How amazing, but make sure you're checking them out. For example, we've got strands like this. Coming up in this hour, how pretty is that? That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, hang on, I feel like I need to give you a little sneaky peek of something that's coming up a bit later on in the show. If I can, this tea bar's holding on to it. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Nine o'clock. Wow. Now, we are going to do... Is this what I think it is? Sakura Agate. We're going to do... An absolutely outstanding prize point. I've never seen it faceted before. No, I don't know if we have. No, no. I don't know if we've done it before. Um, there's only, by the way, if you're Sakura Agate, it's coming up at nine o'clock, so you can't get this just yet. Um, launched whilst we were off, what are you chuckling Ooh, at? That was a relief. I know. Uh, that call screen needs to be fixed, yeah. doesn't it? Because we have a little me uh, mini meltdown on it, yeah, don't we? Because we, we can't yeah. see people there. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you appear. Um, Ross has said, look, I didn't launch that Sakura Agate, but if I did, six millimetre faceted rounds, he thought 69, and he said the lowest he would have probably ever taken them was 49. Yeah, well, today is going to be unbelievable, says our Roscoe. Hello, Paula, Susan, Wiltshire, and Lavinia. Hello to you, Kate, and Gloucestershire, and Cheshire, and Yorkshire, and Mary, and Tracy, and Ellen, and Helen, and Gloucestershire. Um, very good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Oh. And the sun's shining today. And the sun is shining. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Am I going to get out and cut my grass at all this week? I think Andrew's going to do his when he gets home this evening. Right. Is that yeah. my window of opportunity? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. there's nothing worse, especially if you've got dogs, than having long grass through the no. winter. No. So I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try and get it done before um, before winter sets yeah. in. Stay where you are on those phone lines. In fact, you know what? Let's keep Ooh. that on the back of the hand. A few messages coming through to Bless the studio you. as well. That's nice. Uh, hello, Anne. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Oh, yes, Guten Tag. Guten that's Tag. Good yeah, ich yeah. habe einen Schwester und einen Bruder. I remember oh, yeah, that from... Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my favourite words in the entire world is a German word. Which one? And it's excuse me. Yeah. And it's Unschuldigung. Unschuldigung. I love that word. Ich liebe so dich. Yeah. Ich liebe dich. I love you, isn't it? Kia Aaron? Ora. Oh, Kia Ora. Oh, what language? I don't know that one. Kia Ora. Do you remember the, 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 the drink? Kia Ora. That's the one. Yes, I yes. do. I remember that I one. That's from. An umbongo. Umbongo. Um <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Hello, Jane. Hello, morning. lovely Thank you, Jane. morning. Hope you're really well this Monday morning. Which I'm feeling very, mm. very sprightly this good, morning. Good. I love Mondays. Yeah, me too. Me too. Shall we bring some beautiful monochrome? 
Very to your nice. um, to your pure white agate and of course your clear quartz that are coming up. These are black spinel faceted coins. Oh, amazing. They look beautiful together, don't they? This look strand, I remember us first launching the first, um, is what, sorry? Maori. Is Maori, there we oh. go. Thank you. That's lovely. That's lovely. Kiora was full of additives, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Most kids went a little bit yeah. nuts with that, I remember. <laughs> we weren't allowed it because it was too expensive. Yeah, Kiora same, was same really expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we weren't allowed that. We, the, only the only time we were allowed fizzy pop, as mm. we called it then, was when we had visitors or at Christmas. Yeah, we had that at Christmas and the chappy would come round with the, oh, the pop Corona van. pop van. Yeah, yeah, and you got 10p back for giving That's you a right. bottle. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Antifreeze looking lime, limeade and dandelion and burdock and shandy. And <laughs> yeah, if you drop your pennies. I'm a reminisce today. <laughs> I know. If you drop your pennies in your limeade, oh. it would clean it in a second. Um, <laughs> I remember that vividly. Yeah, yeah zing. Your eyes turn green. Uh, $29.99 for your three to four millimeter beautiful natural faceted black spinels. Let's oh. bring it on your first price crash, lovely jewelry makers. You can't go wrong with your monochrome no. gemstones, can you? Especially in your faceted coins. Generally, I do remember the first time we saw this cut in this gemstone. And it was an instantaneous love, wasn't it? That's We're under £10. Pounds. I that was, know. That was the first drop he said. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. What? 42 available. I know if you go to Ashley Clark, you will find a, a, a biography bracelet. Might not be Spinel, might be, might, might be an Agate, might be mm. an Onyx, of a similar cut. And they certainly are no way near £7.99. Oh. Why is there a 60 second clock on your screen? Huh? I've been very positive. You know, Monday morning. Some people don't like Monday mornings. I do. It's like a fresh. It's like it's a fresh chapter. It's an optimistic day, isn't it? You don't know I what the week so. ahead is going to bring. No, it's good. Gangs back together, absolutely. For me, it's mm. like starting a new book or a chapter. You know? Yeah. yeah I like That's it. Nice looking at it. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna have fun today, and we've got Mark. What more could we possibly want, guys? Um, Seven ninety nine. We go. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. It's genuine black spinel. Again, just do rosary links, maybe to go for a, a Jennifer Aniston vibe. That'd be lovely, wouldn't very it? Very nice, yeah, very yeah. nice. Pop it on some elastic, just for a mm. simple stretchy bracelet. Use it in amongst. Could could we mark actually in amongst your kiss cross? Could do. That'd be really nice, actually. I'm just thinking of the necklace that, that's coming up in the deal. Oh uh, yes, that would be perfect. Yeah. Bit further over. There that's we go. Yeah. Yes, that'd be perfect to go alongside. In one second, it's going even lower than already ridiculous price point. Oh, I like little cuddles around your crackle yeah. ports. I like treated them like little carrier beads. They're lovely. Very nice. Can't beat a cuddle, can what you? What are you going to do? Six pounds and 99 pence. Here's a question for you. Cuddle or a kiss? Well, it depends who, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they are the only two options. Yeah. If you had to choose, like, is there anything better than a cuddle or a kiss? Do you know the difference between a hug and a cuddle? No. It's, it's etiquette, you know. Oh. A hug is friends, right. and a cuddle is family. Oh. Yeah. But is there yeah. any physical difference? No, 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 no physical, no. but just what you call it. Oh, OK. Like a dessert and a pudding. Do you know the difference between a dessert and a pudding? No. You eat a pudding with a spoon, dessert with a fork. Ah, there you go. There you yeah. go. I'm a definite hugger. And cuddler, and cuddler or kutch as we yeah. say in wales yeah i love a kutch Aww. yeah they're the best aren't they text in see what you think yeah um yeah so i only asked this question because willow asked me the other night she was like mummy what's better cuddles or kisses and I said, cuddles, definitely. And she was like, I'm with you on cuddles. <laughs> Six ninety nine. well done, everybody. Congratulations. I'm going to be bringing you a beautiful strand of emeralds along, uh, in a few moments' time. Again, look how perfectly they go alongside one wow. another in your faceted coins. You can see they have that same size as well. If you wanted to create maybe a lovely collection, this is natural Brazilian emerald. Those beautiful deep forest greens. Um, let's squeeze it straight... Under 10. What? Really? And then we're not stopping there. This is our Roscoe. You could ombre this, couldn't you? Oh, you Beautifully. Look lovely. Yeah. That would be 
be lovely. And if you wanted to go for the really deep mm. colours, you could introduce some black spinel Absolutely. in there as well, couldn't yeah. you? Um, we're going even lower. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Remember, time is against us. We've got 40 minutes to make our confirmations, lovely jewellery makers. Um, shop ahead on the website. Make sure you have a little look, see if there's anything that you absolutely cannot live without. And, yeah, come and say hello. Nobody is paying 9 99 for natural emerald, 11 carats of genuine emerald, which still blows my mind mm. that we can do prices Crazy. like that. Some 12 years on, it's still blowing my mind mm. that we can do prices like this of genuine emerald. And the day that I do get used to it, that's the day that I should, you know, jog on probably, <laughs> because this is not normal. This is not normal. Good luck, everybody. We have got quantity to, to gift Emerald. I think one thing with this job, you're unable to become complacent, are you? Because every mm. day we get surprised. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Every show yeah. is, it is so yeah. different, mm. isn't it? So, so yeah. different. Um, yeah, here we are, 9 99 <laughs> I'm going even lower. Six ninety nine. We've matched what? the price tag. When emerald and spinel look two amazing, genuine oh. gemstones, but two gemstones that don't normally come in the same price bracket. Emerald no. is normally considerably more expensive, I would say, than black spinel. Um, there was forty two available. I mean, at that kind of price tag, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, do you? Just literally pop that on to say your point five elastic. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Make a nice tennis-style uh, bracelet, lovely. or like like we said earlier mm. on, the uh, biography collection that Ashley Clark actually do. I mean, all right, this is turquoise, but they do it with yeah. lots of different gemstones as well. Imagine being able to recreate that look um, with genuine natural emeralds. You've seen a few examples on your screens right now. Oh, Morning, Ella. Hello to you, Mariska. Hello to you, Patricia and Dawn and Caroline. Hello to oh, you, Oxfordshire. There's the black there spinel go. one. There you go, alongside rose gold. Very, very mm. nice. So when did you get back from the South Coast? Well, we, we drove down Saturday morning. Yeah. The, the event started at 12. Right. <laughs> we left Whitney at 8. Yeah. We got there at 10. Right. Just in case, because the traffic. last thing, there any traffic jam. So we sat there in, in, the, in the, they had a, a restaurant, or they hired a rest, room in a restaurant. So we sat there for two hours drinking coffee, waiting for everyone to arrive. Nice. And then, and then we left at half seven. So you're home. Got home about home. half nine. That's nice. Yeah. That's Went nice. straight to bed. Yeah, you're yeah, it's tiring, isn't it? Yeah. Driving is tiring. We had intended to get home and watch Strictly that we'd yeah. recorded, but we, we watched it yesterday instead. Yeah. See, we, uh, similar to you, actually. We, I went down to see my brother and he did this most amazing, I was telling Mark, amazing brisket on his, on his smoker in the, in the garden. And we drove down sort of late morning. Mm. Um, pop, had a wander around Abergavenny Town Centre, which was very nice, and then got home probably about the same time as same you. Same time. Same time nice. as you. Um, yeah, carried in two very sleepy girls. <laughs> <laughs> but then straight to bed. Um, amazing, righto. Let's move on because let's ta it's time for the seller night. Oh, we can wait no longer. And here's me just throwing oh. things around. Um, there is only a handful of these. I'm amazed they haven't sold out, actually. 14 of you have it in your basket, so which tells us that you're maybe waiting on the price point. Um, beautiful selenite. So when oh, we launched no. this, Mark, and I had the privilege of joining you. Saturday the 2nd of September it was. There you go. That, that date is going to be ingrained in yeah. my head. Yeah. There you go. And we were so mm. hypnotised by it because we rarely get selenite full stop. But selenite what, uh, that we'd seen in the past was actually the pure white colour. But on the Saturday, the 2nd of September, we launched for the first time your yeah. colours. This is so spectacular, so beautiful, held with such high regard here at Jewelry Maker that we simply have to make it a star buy. Selenite, the most, one of the most amazing gemstones that is steeped in history with the most incredible natural phenomena that occurs inside this gemstone. I mean, there are caves full of this amazing gemstone, but when we say selenite, most of us will immediately gravitate towards the pure white colour. It's known as, name after the sun or the goddess of the sun, a mm. selen. Um, it's known as a in its metaphysical side, sorry, I've got a tickly nose, feel like I could sneeze. Um, yeah, um, and like I say, lots of people I know are Susie, for example, charges her gemstones on selenite, if that's your thing. Um, if you're not necessarily into the metaphysical side, this is a gemstone that absolutely has the most amazing light -like performance. Incredible. And up until that date that Mark was saying, we'd never seen it before no, in no. these wonderful colours. And I made quite a statement on my Facebook page when I gave yes, some you did, info. Yeah. I said it is the 
most wonderful product I have ever bought in 12 years to JM. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. And this, this is what Ross is about to show you is the reason. Well, this is the piece that you created, yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't it, Mark? And you're, well, it's in your back garden. You're just seeing the, the sun, you know, respond mm. to each of those beautiful, genuine gemstones. Um, it's hypnotically beautiful. Um, in, I love the colour palettes as well. And Perfect. when you Perfect. launched Perfect. it, Mark, because it was part of a kit, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, when you launched it, we had, how many was it? A quantity? 300? Uh, 200. 200 yeah, in terms we had, we had, of we had two bundles, didn't we? We had this the 6 yes. mil bundle and then uh, 6, 8 and 10 mil That's bundle. right. That all flew out they the all, door. They all sold out, yeah. That was the only yeah. other time that it's actually been on air. So yeah. this is the final chance. It's one of the biggest auctions and one of the fastest auctions um, in less than two minutes. Yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised in the slightest. For whatever reason, we've got 17 available for you right now. Right now. I know it will already be on order, but it'll probably be about three, four um, months until we get it again. It has been reordered yeah. along with, um, <gasps> I'm not going to tell you. Other colours? Mm. Black? Mm, we're we're trying, still trying to get the black, but we have got two other colours. Gold? In. Red? We're getting so much trouble. Red. Shall I tell it's, you? Yes. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, shall I tell you one or two? Two. Because we've got... Peach. Oh. And, 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 and. Watermelon. Watermelon. Well, I really haven't told you. <laughs> I've seen the pictures. They are incredible. Are they? Mm. Do we know when they're landing? They, we're hoping it'll be Christmas. Oh. Yeah, December. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. Let's give you an opportunity, lovely jewellery makers, your last chance saloon. So we think it's probably going to be December until we see this again. Yeah. Graphics are about to come live. Good luck, everyone. Launching, or I should say, for the second time ever, the final few selenites. You get all strands in total. You're talking about, well, how many strands is there? Seven. Seven, Seven strands. Strands yeah. of the most hypnotizing, beautiful gemstone, mm -hmm. serene and magical. Oh, yeah. um, good yeah. luck, everybody. Yeah, if I just rock my hands back and forth, you can see that wonderful light before every single stone, yes. every single one. It's just, just amazing, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Desert island size in your six millimeters. Think kiss crosses like Mark has done. Mm -hmm. Think about your malas, think about your stretchies, think about your knotting. Um, but there's only seven. So you've got to be super speedy. In fact, 16 of you have this in your basket. People, I know, we know are waiting for that price point. You're going to have to be like Usain Bolt to check out your baskets if that's the case. Um, you know that everybody, it's going to be December until we see this again, your coloured selenite. I'm not saying you won't see your, you know, the white selenite. You might do that. But in terms of the actual colour, it's going to be December. Individually, Oh, yes. A I strand of this. six millimetre white <laughs> selenite, we launched at 29.99, didn't we? So that makes this bundle about 210 pounds, with even not even you know, considering the whole treatment process. So let's let's surpass that price tag. Let's go even lower, round it down, 199 pounds for all seven strands. Um, pick a favourite, Mark. Which is your favourite? Oh, my favourite is the orange, that peachy yeah, orange. I do colour. like that orange. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, I like that too. I do like the yeah. blue as well. So hang on a second. If I said that this strand on its own is how much? £25. <laughs> okay, a bit lower because we're at 199 Let's be exact. Sorry, 29 99 So that means this strand would be what? £28.42. pence. Okay, that would be good. If we were doing a showcase, that would be normal, wouldn't it? If it was a showcase, individual strands, they would be around that price. Absolutely. Um, Ross has confirmed me, he's saying 100% like, that would be about 29.99. Absolutely. But because we bar, um, have just quoted 25 pounds, let's go there. That makes these 25 pounds per strand, this next price crash. £175. We are super over allocated. How many are we bringing to wear? Seven? Seven. Did you say? Yeah. Well. Wow. Ross is saying he wants the confirmations. He says. That's he... pretty good if we had 200. 
Yeah, I know. Amazing. That's and a good, that's a good saving. Yeah. That's a, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Only seven available that's out amazing. of the 200 that we first launched. Yeah, incredible. And that might be, but can we just, can we just explain? Yeah. Yeah. So can we just explain that might be, why does seven come back in stock? It might be a car payment didn't go through for whatever mm. reason. Um, somebody ordered two. Somebody ordered two, absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's lots of different reasons why it would be. So out of the 200, and it also means that ones that were ordered very little were returned, mm. if at all. Yeah. Uh, £25 per strand, plus you've got your split payments. Susan, Julie, <laughs> Linda and Conwy, sit back and enjoy, you've done it. I've got three left. If it doesn't sell out during this auction, remember yeah. you've only got 30 minutes left on this hour. So there's Florence, Pam, Catherine, Carol, Susan, Tracy and Vicky with it in their basket or in their app as well. Mm -hmm. So good luck, everybody. Make sure you are checking out those baskets in 30 seconds. That's a warning. And then we are going to go to your amazing so price since, point. Since that day, I've had so many comments left for me, messages on Have Facebook that they've, that they've arrived at and the ladies and gents' houses and they say they look much, even better That's in true. real life when they get them home. So true. Yeah. I can totally understand why they think that. Because um, it is one of those, and it loves natural light. Yeah. Last chance saloon. Um, if you are one of the lucky customers that purchased this bundle during the launch, then drop us a message, share your feedback. I mean, are you as hypnotized by its beauty as we are here in the studio? Um, never mind, £25 per strand, says Ross. I can't remember what we went to. No, I can't to remember now. either. Mind you, I've slept since then, so I haven't got a great memory. <laughs> Oh, yes. £15 per strand. Wow. And it's still on split pay as well. On the day, we were meant to go to £20 per strand, yeah. but we yeah. got caught up in the excitement, didn't we? we and did. took it that little <laughs> bit lower. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. We are so over-allocated. It's untrue. Look at your names here. Florence, Julie, Elaine. Another... F oh, Florence, from, you wanted... Are you on the phone and the app? Uh, Pam, Catherine, Carol, Susan, Tracy, Vicky, you're there as well. If you don't check out, you're going to miss out. Wiltshire, you can do it. People still joining. I've got three... We're showing you how many names are there. In fact, there might be even more because our screens, as we, as we were just There's saying, is on one, a delay. Yeah. Yeah. Wiltshire, you've got yours. Oh, there we go. Adam's just confirmed. He said, Al, there's way more people than the names that you can see. It's just one left now. There's, is there one left? Florence, you did it. Well done. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm going to leave this on screen for one final minute, then we need to move on. Um, if it hasn't sold out, then you have till nine o'clock to get hold of this bundle. If not, it's going to be December um, until we see beautiful coloured selenite again. Um, it's already in the pipeline. We know that. Mark's just confirmed it, hasn't he? Um, it's almost October. Yeah, Crazy. I know that's mental, isn't it? I've got I have got my pumpkins out there. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> A few of them. Yeah, just decorations in no, around the house. Yeah. Spoke about that, got my pumpkins out. Um, <laughs> um, well done, everybody that's got hold of this. I'd mean, love to see. I, oh, there's one left, says. There's one left. One left. Oh, amazing. Who's having the last one? Oh, my goodness. Um, Jean, hello, oh. lovely. Uh, saying, when I received oh. mine, it was like a rainbow coming out the box. Oh. Bless you, Jean. It is gorgeous. It is so lovely. I agree. There is still one, so I'll leave that with you. Seeing a rainbow. It is like a rainbow. But it's a, it's a pastel rainbow, which I find even more yeah. appealing. I like those colours, beautiful colours. Amazing. These pearls are insane, by the way. Look at this. Just going to borrow this bust for a mm. second. Um, now, I know we talk about the five virtues, but just quickly, can we also add to the fact how how metallic these pearls are and they are totally and utterly natural so with pearls we know that it's size we know that it's color we know that it's shape we know that um it's the nacre and the orient the orient really is really what leans most towards the uh, um, metallic beauty because it's how sharp that reflective beauty is of your pearl um, but from a harvest of ten thousand pearls less than 10 will be naturally metallic and yet on this amazing strand Every wow. single one is naturally metallic. Now, in the world of pearls, gone are the days where it's all about those pure white rounds. 
solely about those. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still incredibly valuable and sought after. However, we are, we've broadened our horizons somewhat, haven't we? Now it's all about the Baroques yeah. and the Keshis and the coloured pearls like this. You would assume that they'd been bleached and dyed, wouldn't you? But they're not. They're totally natural and they're incredibly rare anomalies. Look at the pistachio colours that literally glide across. Your aubergines, your coppers and your golds and your silvers. Um, there's only four available and make no doubt about it this is an this is an heirloom legacy piece of uh, or strand you know if you think about knotting alongside your precious metals this is a piece of jewelry which I've shown you in the past high-end jewelers that sell these for tens of thousands of pounds wow. um, it's natural cut I've never made any secret about the fact that the one gemstone I buy probably the most here from uh, jewelry makers are our pearls I think it's one of our greatest strengths you know um, this is that pearl opportunity for somebody that wants something a bit different you know wants something that's going to stand out from the crowd still wants it to be that legacy still wants it to be that heirloom with that huge intrinsic value I tell you what look no further because the rarity of colored pearls like this now we know that it's the mollusk that determines the color depending on the what, what's on the inside of the shell um, but when you're looking at strong purples and pistachios and, and papaya colors it's where the pearl is formed in the circumference of the mollusk itself that would be a sizable mollusk by the way to house these and they'll have one pearl one pearl per mollusk not multiples like you would find maybe mm. in seed pearls mm. makes it incredibly rare and makes sourcing a strand like this in incredibly um, costly time-wise as well um, because you think about it this is what 38 to 40 centimeters so um, straight away that's about 38 to 40 mollusks that then can re go on to recultivate again um, but you have to wait years it's years of investment to actually nurture those mollusks to hopefully produce something of this uh, of, the, of this beauty and you can't say right you're going to be purple no, you're going to no. be you're going to be papaya you're going to be metallic you can't do that it's you know it's it's like winning the lottery when you find pearls like this now there are only four available Let's do a closeout. Oh, it was bought as a closeout deal. How unbelievable. I love the fact that these have the, uh, the wonderful anomaly shapes because, you know, of course, we know that rounds are incredibly expensive. We know that they um, can command, I don't want to say indefinitely, but can command some of the highest prices. However, your Baroque Keshis um, and sort of, I don't know, your rippled pearls as well show that they are a genuine pearl show they're not simulant we're over allocated they were bought as a close out deal i'm putting up to the neckline so you can imagine visualizing wearing something like this look at how amazing wow. oh my goodness me they come alive don't they they do yeah. and by the way for pearls of this grade of this caliber £499 is an absolutely amazing deal. I just don't understand how something so rare we can bring in as a closeout deal. It's no. Madness. It's probably, it? let me, yeah, yeah, let me, and there's nothing wrong with these pearls because we automatically, I think, I think we're kind of programmed to assume that, okay, these must be maybe lesser standard mm. than the ones we've had previously. Quite the opposite. When we say close out deal, it might be a case of we bought other pearls from that pearl buyer and they said, look, we've okay. got an opportunity for, to buy X amount of these, a big batch of these, and we'll give them to you at a close out price. Right. So we don't then escalate the price. We, you know, we share that information with our wonderful viewers and you capitalize from that close out deal as well. There are only four available though. £299, that should have zeros at the end of it. That's absolutely incredible. And I can only ever talk about my own personal experience with your gemstones and pearls in particular something like this and the jewelers that I used to work with would have had an 18 karat gold class probably a few parve diamonds on the clasp as well and it would not have been three figures no, no. it probably wouldn't have been four either um, when we have only four available what we should do shopping TV is we should increase the price tag you know if they, I agree. If there's a thousand pairs of trainers made, they're limited edition. And if you're if you're desperate to get hold of those trainers, but there's one pair less, you pay more. It's like Rolex; they do exactly the same, exactly the same. Cars, exactly the same. We don't work like that, though. And and are you getting that same level of luxury? Absolutely. Can you believe that trainers are uh, like luxury uh, items now? Uh. There's big money to be made on trainers these days. 
Um, but yeah, it's the, the, that's the thing. Four of these available, which is an amazing quantity, actually, for something as rare as this. Remember that stat. From a harvest of 10,000 cultured pearls, 10,000? Less than 10 will have this beautiful metallic colour. We're at 299 plus you've got your split payment jewellery makers, so that's 0% interest. Was it not the closeout deal? <laughs> what was the closeout deal? Is this it? Ross says it would be. No way did we go lower than 199 These are huge. Well, I know it doesn't say 10 to 13 millimetres. These are absolutely... another clock. I can't believe we went lower. I, I've got a dreadful memory. What did we take these to? I th oh, my goodness. What? Good luck, everybody. Legacy, heirloom, all of the above. These are the kind of pearls that I would buy for my girls because when I'm gone, I want to be able to pass them on high-end high jewellery, high-end gemstones. Um, this will absolutely be one of those. We're under £50 on your 0% interest split payment, but we are going even lower. Whether you're the first or the last person to be successful on this opportunity, everybody pays that final low. I've got people with multiples in their baskets too. Do you know what? I'm thinking back... Ross, I won. Was this the one where I bought two of them during the auction? Haven't done anything with it yet. My intention is I bought two because of that price point, and I was going to knock them all together, no class, would it just be over the top oh, of my head? Oh, that's very clever. That's the idea. Yeah. At that price, though, if we're going lower again, it, uh, that's that's yeah. buy one get one free. Completely. On luxury pearls. <laughs> that's madness. <laughs> It's, I agree. I think that I'm fairly sure yeah. this is what I said out, out on air because Ross has just said in my ear they should be double that price. And I'm fairly sure that was my reasoning behind getting two. I haven't done anything with them yet. They're still, they're still in, in a box in my kitchen. Because I can't, I don't want to put them away. Oh, it's difficult, I, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to put them away. Eventually I will get round to knotting them. And then look at the level of pearls that you are getting here. They're all totally and utterly natural. These are not bleached, not dyed. Um, they're genuine cultured pearls. Anything over 10 millimetre in the cultured pearl world, and I remember asking our pearl expert about this, um, anything over 10 millimetres in the pearl world is like the equivalent to a three-carat mm, diamond in yeah. terms of its rarity. Um, because they're difficult to culture when they get to that size. Every single one of those colours, we notice how none of them are the same. None of them the same, no pearl shape is the same either, um, is determined by that mollusk. Now, Janet, sit back. Look at the split payment. We're at £37.49 pence on split payment, which is absolutely incredible. Um, but if you see your name on this side of the list, you're showing us you want them, but you haven't yet confirmed. There's only three left. Anne in Cardiff, Maker, Joanne, Joanne in Shropshire, Joanne in West Midlands, Cheryl, Christine, Maker, and Maker in Yorkshire. Can you see bid two? Bids two, that means you want more than one. Well, I've only got, what did you say, three? Three left. Three left. So, Joanne in Shropshire, if you want those three that you've got in your basket, you need to check them out. We had 101. We're down to the last three. They're incredible. I'm fairly sure these are the ones that I bought. And at that price tag, I bought two. Um, amazing. We're not going any lower. That's your closeout deal. That's probably one of the best pearl deals I've ever seen. I would um, put one of those little black spinels in between oh, each amazing. one. If you, didn't want, if you didn't want to knot, just yeah. to separate them, just a little black spinel. And how, what, a, what a nice contrast yeah. with the black as well. Yeah. They're incredible, incredible quality pearls. I've got, who's got them? Jacqueline. Jacqueline and Janet, you've got yours. Well done. I've got two of them left now. Two of them left. And like I said, have you noticed I haven't done anything with mine as of yet? At some point I will. I'll knot them. Um, I, I, I have invested in gold class off, that e off eBay before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I use because mm -hmm. I personally would choose gold with something of this grade. And like I said, what an heirloom piece of jewellery to pass on to future generationals. Oh. Uh, generationals? Generations. Uh, Leslie, you've done it. Amazing. Congratulations to you. I've got Anne in Pembrokeshire. You can steal it, Anne. You've just entered in at the tail end of this all auction but you can get that last one lovely Anne in Pembrokeshire Anne in Cardiff Joanne in Shropshire Joanne in West Midlands I kid you not um Cheryl in Yorkshire Christine in Devon Maker in uh, Maker and Maker Maker in North Yorkshire I only have one of these left look at that 
Wow. So, Joanne in West Midlands, I don't have three. OK, I'm going to leave that with you because there's only wow. one left. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And remember, you've got, what, 15 minutes left on this hour. Amazing. I love these. Alhambra. Yeah, our lovely... Um, uh, Linda saw these the other day. She was like, do you know what? She was wearing a necklace that she'd bought on holidays that was inspired by um, her words, by the way. And uh, she was like, oh, we need to do like the Alhambra. I was like, just so happens. <laughs> We it's have amazing. done an Alhambra-inspired collection. Now, there's not many of these available. They are framed in 925 sterling silver as well. Um, this is one of the rarer of the collections that we put together. Leslie got the fourth one. Uh, oh, Anne in Pembroke. Anne in Pembrokeshire. Anne in Pembrokeshire. Well done, amazing. Anne. I did say you could come yeah, in and steal yeah. that. Well done. You can always wish list it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hey. These are amazing. Um, so... They would go lovely with the pearls. That's a nice yeah, idea. Yeah. Um, so within your uh, four-leaf clovers, these are this is Bursa jade, so Turkish jade, oh. um, recently discovered and also mined out. So it's not something that we can actually replace unless, of course, we source it from somebody that has maybe... Uh, um, stockpiled it to a certain mm. degree. Um, the window of opportunity was extremely fleeting. So they refer to it as the luck stone or the lucky stone. Um, it is a jadeite. So it's got 60% jadeite within. So it comes under the jade umbrella. And you think about it like Burmese jade, Guatemalan jade, whether you're talking about your Canadian jades, British Columbia, whichever, you know, these are all incredibly rare. Your uh, Kotan jade as well. They, every single one of those other locations that I've mentioned had a far, far, far longer, thousands of years in many cases, um, mining operation than this. This was literally years, just a handful of years. It's it, hypnotically beautiful again. It's a really Gorgeous, distinctive isn't colour, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I love it? this. I love the... the I remember um, your the reaction Bursa. to this. Yeah. Because you only saw it recently. I thought it was Sharite when we bought it to yeah. air, and to find that it was a jadeite from Turkey as well. Yeah. I mean, that was just, that was so romantic, I thought. And they changed Lovely. the name. So yeah. similarly, like, like Tanzanite, they were like, that, that started off with a different name. And uh, this was called, it's actually called Turkeyanite. <laughs> I'm glad they changed the name. Yeah. It's not quite so sexy, no. is it? Turkeyanite. No. No, no. Um, framed in sterling silver, and as we said, inspired by the uh, legacy that is Van Cleef and Arpels in the Alhambra collection, one of their longest standing designs that's been around quite literally for decades. It was originally... Uh, um, was, uh, uh, well, the concept, I suppose, um, was originated from Jack Sarpel, so that's the nephew of the founder. In 1968, the Maison created the first Alhambra long necklace, composed of 20 clover-shaped motifs, increased yellow gold and trimmed with gold beads. This symbolic design achieved immediate success, recognised throughout the world as a token of luck, emblematic of Van Cleef and Arpels. Oh. And Jack Sarpel used to say, to be lucky, you have to believe in luck. And he was often used to, he used to pick mm. four-leaf clovers in his backyard. Um, so even as a, a youngster, as a child, he always had this oh. motif in his mind. And, you know, fast forward many, many, many decades, it's still as successful then, uh, now as it was back then. Countless celebrities, royal, royalty adorned. But, by the way, it's going to set you back somewhat. If you, go, if you stroll into Van Cleef and Arpels, you're talking best part of 20 grand for one of their long line necklaces. Um, you can get, yeah, something like this. Um, uh, photographed oh. by Princess Grace of Monaco. She's wearing, what, three? Just casually three. Casually three. Three. Yeah. three. It's about 60 grand's worth. She's got draped around the neckline there. Um, that's... Uh, um, her family, I think, is a granddaughter, I think, oh, or great-granddaughter right. um, of Princess Grace of Monaco, wearing her Alhambra um, to one of our own princesses as well, uh, the Princess of Wales, wearing her Alhambra in her... And their mother of pearl. Um, she wears it quite a lot. She's so she beautiful, does. isn't she? she? Is, yeah. Incredibly beautiful. Um, and then you have Her Royal Highness, uh, Queen Camilla, wearing the Malachite. Here she is wearing the Agate. Um, one in a bracelet. There she is wearing a mother of pearl. So she's a huge fan yeah. of the uh, uh, Van Cleef. Um, you have Mariah Carey as well, wearing her. Of course, she's got Van Cleef and Arpels. Of course. Do you know? Do you know? You've got to admire Mariah Carey, though. You know, Chris. She's like Buble, isn't she? They only come out at Christmas. No. <laughs> only come out at Christmas. Sorry. Moving on. You had Heidi Klum. 
Was it Heidi Klum? No, it wasn't Naomi, Naomi Watts. Watts. Yeah. Now you've got Adele. Um, Adele wearing his. You've got beautiful Reese Witherspoon wearing hers as well. I like how she rocks those. Just, you know, with a little brown bag. Um, and then you have Cardi B. You have Cardi B and the whole family. Who's he? Oh, the whole heck? family are wearing them. I know. Oh, that's, that's just a bit much, isn't it? To be fair. I mean... <laughs> Honestly. I mean, I, yeah, because I, I see the way my two-year-old treats jewellery. That's not well looked after, is it? But it's another world, isn't it? Oh, there's A whole my other man. world. Oh. Here he is, Mr Grealish. He's gone up in my estimations, Grealish, He's you know. Lovely Did man. you see how he stopped everybody when uh, he was with, with a child? Yes. A visually impaired child. I've, I've dumped David Beckham for him. Have you? Yeah. After 25 years, I've dumped David Jack Grealish, bless him. He does come across as a nice chap. Not much upstairs. No, but, definitely not much but, upstairs, but, but that's... But that he's still matter. made he's a an success, isn't he? He's footballer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he's made a great success of he himself, has. hasn't Amazing he? Amazing footballer. Yeah. Amazing footballer, yeah, absolutely. So where's he wearing... Oh, around the wrist. Uh, and on the, the neck. On the oh, neck, he's got one. Just a single one. Just a single one. I've never one, seen just a single one on the, on yeah. the necklace before. Yeah. yeah, and probably a really expensive watch as well, yeah. probably. Um, we always stop and talk about Jack Grealish, don't we? <laughs> of all the celebrities, it's I Jack know. Grealish that we end up talking yeah. about. And he's, it looks like in some kind of like Ibiza sunset there or something yeah. like that. Amazing. Um, we're at 39.99. These are framed in 925 sterling silver that, and there are only 11 left. So 40 we, quid? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's Bursa Jade. For the jade alone, that's an amazing no. price tag. Let alone all that sterling silver. If you do want to pop into Van Cleef and Arpels oh and get the God. original, you can. You can. Just a single. Oh, here we are. Here we there are. you go. 18 karat yellow gold black onyx, £2,260. Or the bracelet, 1300 There you go. Can you imagine, though, you go into Van Cleef and Arpels, and be like, can I get the cheapest one, please? Oh. It's still going to set you back £1,000. Eight grand, look, for yeah. the... Um... The ten motif, the ten motif one. I know it's a lot, isn't it? It's a very. We've got five here. See if there's one with five on there. A single at the bottom. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. It's, oh, there you go. There's five. Oh, five. Three thousand four hundred and fifty pounds. And I know that's Mother of Pearl. Well, Bursa Jade is considerably yes, rarer I than Mother of Pearl. Yeah. Considerably rarer. Um, we've only got a handful of these left, though. Veronica snapped up two. Maybe you're going wow. for the full that online amazing, necklace. Oh it? yes, Veronica. Wow. Dawn and Bridget. Hello to you, Lou and Dorset, Denise, Zara and Joanne. Good luck, everybody. And it's simple. Just rosary linking if yeah. you want, or yeah. bead in between. It's up to you. A couple of bits um, of chain in between each piece. Lovely. Lovely. There are lovely. love them. They're amazing. Fabulous. Um, sh can we step into um, my favourite? Your favourite, yeah. I've only got 12 available. It's one of our newest launches here at Jewelry Maker, and that, well, not just here at Jewelry Maker, actually, into the world of gemstones. San and Scarn, massively backed by Cartier. Um, it's a, a very rare variety of jade, which we've always said, look, we are never going to be able to bring no. you imperial jade. It's too expensive, quite frankly. Um, but this is a variety of jade that actually offers that same imperial green colour. It's totally natural. Um, and if you pop along to, we've shown you photographs before, haven't we? Um, we're about to, we're on the, we're on the infancy, if you like, of Cartier launching their entire San and Scarn collection. But remember, Dave actually saw the bangle. Yes, They've got yes. a solid bangle of San and Scarn. Um, but, well, quite literally, yeah, we did get in there first, actually. Um, we source it from the same suppliers as those that actually supply um, Cartier as well. We've shown one bracelet that they have already launched, and it's, um, it's a catcus kind of design. Oh. And it's got faceted beads. Wow. They're not, they're not like calibrated cuts. They're faceted oh. beads. Um, we're at £89.99. It's all totally and utterly natural. And you've got to remember, if we're sourcing San and Scar in the same places that Cartier are, well, and the entire world, it's extremely rare. Very, very, very rare. From one location, a new deposit that was found in Pakistan, um, you are getting it at one of the best possible prices because it is only going to go in one direction in terms of price point, and that is up. Um, 
I'm absolutely gobsmacked that we can bring this to you at double figures, to be truthful. Yeah, it's it's stunningly beautiful. And all the things that we would grade jade, whether it's from Colombia, uh, sorry, from Canada, whether it's from uh, China, whether it's from Burma, wherever it is, they still still qualify. You want it to have that wonderful translucency and that most amazing in intense color. We didn't even close it here. That's you know a couple of months time. We're not making any secret about this. A couple of months time, if you're lucky enough to see Sand and Scan, it's going to be this price or upwards, or upwards. We we you're in at the ground floor, says Roscoe. Amazing. Because remember Dave said he came on air, he joined me and he actually said, look, I held the Cartier San and Scan bangle that they are going to be launching. Really? Yes. And we brought our own version of it as well, a San and Scan bangle, same as theirs, completely solid. And of course, it was not Cartier prices. Mm. £24.99. Wow. I absolutely adore San and Scan. That's amazing. Such a gorgeous colour, yes. isn't it? Yes, yeah. Imagine this maybe alongside some of your like golden pearls or white pearls or South mm. Sea or something like that would be lovely, wouldn't it? I'll have a go with lapis. Oh, yeah. I think lapis with it. Yeah. Lapis. You're going to go with it a little bit yeah. Egyptian inspired. Mm. Love that yeah. idea. Um, but there's only a handful of them available, so make sure you are checking out your baskets. Um, yeah. Again, we're always, I can never say indefinitely whether we're going to see Sam and Scan again on our screens. Again, it's, it's a real if, especially when you are competing with some of the biggest designer brands in the world that don't have the budgets that we do. You know, the, we, we're not going to go and spend millions of pounds on Sam and Scan because how many people oh, we're not, we haven't yeah. got the same business model as what what cartier have we haven't got the place vendome and the bond street sort of venues yeah. um 24 pounds 99 lavinia you've got yours cheryl well done to you i've got suzanne devon patricia zara new customers getting involved amazing remember you've got a matter of minutes on this hour hopefully you've shopped ahead on your early bird as well your silver plated um necklaces they're absolutely unbelievable the start point is already amazing I've got another strand that I need to squeeze in this hour, which is, uh, one again, <laughs> I love Angelite. I was saying this only the other day. I love Angelite, but I think I prefer the green. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The green and the peacock. And the peacock. Oh, that peacock. It's been the most sought after product of the year, yeah. hasn't it? Are you surprised mm. by that? No. No, I'm not it's either. Beautiful. I didn't. I didn't manage to get any of the peacock. Oh, didn't you? You need to relaunch mm. it then mm. when mm. that comes about, maybe, mm. so you yeah. can get it in your kit. But look how pretty it is. This is the thing. Angel Eye was only discovered in 1987. So it's a baby, comparatively speaking, to most other gemstones. Um, and, and yet, look, 1987, it's taken us until, what, 2023 mm. to actually launch this colour. Yeah. That's, it, it is one of the rarer colours um of your angel like yes 36 years ago dan wasn't even born he, he was a long way off no neither was ross neither was ross i was 15. how old was i nine nine i was nine yeah eight or nine i know <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so pretty and it's all totally and utterly natural. What am I missing? What did I miss? We were talking about ages and 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 um and, and I thought that Michael Wolfe and Chris Parker were, were were younger than Adam. I thought Adam was a lot older. <laughs> mm. Mm. And they're both five years older than him. Are they? Yeah. Is is Chris <laughs> Parker in his forties? Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. he's, I was gonna, yeah. Chris Parker's only a year older than you, Adam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 9.99, wow. 9.99. I was gonna say he's not in his 40s, Chris Parker. Wow. Uh, I'm terrible with, with ages, absolutely terrible. So I'm in my 50s. Yeah. You're not quite in your 40s yet, are you? Yes, yes you are. I'm are 45. You? So you're in your 40s. 45, I am. Adam's in his 30s. Yeah. Dan's in his 20s. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's a every good Every decade eight. covered. Yeah. yeah. Ticked every decade. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 45. I don't feel 45. You certainly don't look 45. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're not even 35 at a push. Oh, bless you. Thank you no. very much. Thank no. you. Um, 
9.99. We are one auction away from your really bird, lovely jewelry, mate. <laughs> um, and we're gonna do the lavender jade. Yes, what a good call. This would be amazing with so many of the strands that we've I got today. I would put this with the um, Morgan with the um, Kunzite color. This one. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. Amazing. Well, mm. Ross has just said a sentence. He's like, "El, this is embarrassing. We're taking, bringing one of the rarest colours of your jadeites. It's totally and utterly natural um, to one of the lowest price points that you could possibly imagine. Yeah, I mean, lavender jadeite in terms of the colour wheel is certainly up there with rarity. And that's because it requires vanadium to get this colour, something, an element that doesn't actually form frequently within Burma um, and look at it it's such a subtle beautiful lavender bluish color 39.99 for one of the world's rarest gemstones and it's so easy we said earlier on to get complacent about things like this Absolutely. we are from with gemstones there's over 4,000 different gems on our planet this is in the top 10 and probably right up there now you know, because the mine has closed. Now, before we dive into the early bird, we still have one of those selenite bundles available. Wow. What are we doing? Oh, you like to live dangerously. You really do. There's one left of the selenite. Pearl sold out. Get hold of your uh, lavender jade out of that ridiculous deal. But right now for your early bird, love early birds like this. Because, you know, you might have tuned in today thinking, I don't necessarily need that. And I'm not looking for a necklace. I'm not looking for a chain. But we will always, always, mm. always find a need or, and use it within our jewellery making, won't we? They're coming up. Two separate opportunities for... Fabulous, even start price as your, uh, as your early birds up next. I'm intrigued. It's, it's coming up in a second. Okay. Coming up in a second. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think okay. It's the next, I think it's is the it the next, next one? one? Right. Next. Okay. We're just looking at what's on the website the, right the now. The banners that. Are <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. International week happiness of happiness at oh, work. Oh, isn't that good nice? start to the I'm week? I'm happy at work. I'm happy at work as well. Yeah. Yeah. Look, now, yeah. are we ready, everybody, for something? Like I said, I think it's. This is one of those opportunities that, look, it's so easy to get caught up in the rants of gemstones, in the inspiration of our fabulous designers. It's one of those items that you might have tuned in thinking, oh, no, I don't necessarily need a chain. However, you'll find, you will use these items, absolutely. won't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd cut both of them up in, and use them as a little section. For your Alhambra, we were just yeah, talking perfect. about. Both, either of these would be perfect. Or use them as little, because they're going to be sealed jump rings yeah. or closed. And so, yeah, there's lots of different ways of using them. One of the things that I did over mm. the weekend, got all my jewelry making boxes down, as in the gift boxes that oh, I've yeah. bought over, yeah. the, over the last year. I've got all the pieces of jewellery that I've bought over over the last six months or so um, for presents and actually spent the time putting them oh, in the boxes. And, that's a nice job. Um, yeah, it was mm, a nice job. Yeah. And you realise just how much you've actually purchased because you forget about things, mm. don't you? Um, imagine this. And the reason why I'm saying that, imagine this in a nice box and, you know, that moment when they open it up and you see something of this detail. Yeah. Nobody in their right mind is going to consider the price point that you're about to see because it is precious metal place, uh, plated. Now, they're 19 centimetres. Um, you've got two completely, which is 18 inches. So we're going to bring you kind of this uh, lovely floral-like design first. A little bit Alhambra, actually. Yes. Yeah. Do, you, do you get, do you, yeah? Are we all getting that vibe? So if you are thinking, Mark, and you are thinking, right, okay, cut it up um, into your little sections in between your bursa jade that we brought in this hour. How beautiful is that? But what we remember, look, this is something that they've all been hammered. They've all been shaped to get that perfect shape. If this was in... <laughs> If this was in like a, a, a high street, a high street shop, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about like maybe a new looks or your H and M. If this was in something like Marks and Spencers, mm. Zara, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know that 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 mm. Cara Millen, the ones, mm. the Ghost, the one, uh, the uh, um, Coast rather, the ones that 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 little bit more expensive. There is absolutely no way on earth it's going to be 11.99. No, no. There is precious metal 
that is uh, um, beautiful, beautifully enwrapped, um, each and every single one of those highly textured links. Um, Mark, as a jewellery maker, I'm looking at them, they're quite large links, so could I add to those? Absolutely. I mean, I'm just thinking just, just, just one of the little round links and one of the shape links as earrings. Yeah. I mean, how elegant is, are they going to... We, we do do a glass bead in that shape, and I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. If anyone can remember, text in and let us know. Oh. There's, a, there's a, definitely a glass press bead with that shape. Because it's like almost a, like a fan shape, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's very Art Deco look. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, okay, right, let's let's start getting that price point moving. Even though the fact that we are starting at 11 99 you know, I could go into the whole presentation of chains. I could show you all the different links out there. I think we all know there's a, there's a plethora, isn't there? There's a, a huge, huge, well, there's no end to the designs of chains. We're going to do an absolutely unbeatable early bird deal. And it's not 11 99 And it's oh, also it's not, not four ninety nine. This is why I was saying you might have tuned in today with no intention of getting extra chains. Because no. we've brought you quite a few chains recently, haven't we? Not like this. They've been very, very different. But this is going to be one of those, oh, well, I know I'm going to use it. And it, wouldn't, it doesn't matter if you cut it up. It doesn't matter if you're using them in amongst your, um, I don't know, your opera length earrings um, if you wanted to. What are you thinking? I was, just, I was just checking something. Oh, okay, okay, amazing. Um, you could use them with your Alhambra inspirations. You could use them in your rosary linking. Four ninety nine, mm -hmm. Mark. Mm -hmm. Shall I tell you what I was doing? Yeah, I am curious what you were doing. This this is a really good test. So, this is a bracelet that we've got coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Okay, yeah. don't ignore the bracelet completely. What I want to show you is this magnetic clasp. Okay. Now, sterling silver isn't magnetic. No. Nope. So if you if your findings are all mixed up on your desk. And, you, and you've got them all in a pile, just hover them above your, your magnet and all of your non-sterling silver will ping and attach to the magnet. Uh -huh. So what I've done, now hang on, no, the tip hasn't finished, so oh. I'll, just, I'll just let this happen and I'll, um, I'll show you oh, I'm intrigued now. 3 99 Sorry, it went very squeaky. That's ridiculous. 3 99 That's crazy. Now this necklace, this, 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 there's something else. This, this is a good tip. This necklace here, yeah. It's base metal, sterling silver. If it was a tiny slither, okay, of sterling silver, yeah. it would stick to the magnet. Yeah. The, so thicker, the, the thicker the sterling silver, the least magnetic it is. Okay. Look at this. It's not magnetic at all. So the sterling silver is thicker than the base metal inside. If it was the other way around, it would stick to the magnet. Ah, so, so you've got. So I will always, re I, this is a silly thing, but I recommend having a magnet in the studio at all times to do this sort of testing with. If this were, if it, what, what, Vermeil, is it called Vermeil? Yeah. If this is Vermeil, it would stick to the necklace yeah. because, the, because it, it's microns thick. Yeah. The fact that is, the magnet isn't sticking means that the sterling coating is thicker than the base metal. There you go, inside. top tip. Okay. And Mark. Oh no, he's not stopping there. Oh, we're still not done. But have a magnet on your workstation. That's if you're unsure on a finding, use your magnet. Top yeah. tip. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable that we're even contemplating going any lower. Back in the day when we first started here at Jewelry Maker, we weren't allowed to do 3 99 auctions. No. 6 99 was the absolute rock bonk bottom. <laughs> I almost said rock, rock bonk. Rock bottom. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Rock bottom uh, price point, and that's because it was considered to be non broadcastable. Here we are bringing you a quantity of how many? How many have we got? 209. Gosh. Is that right? 177. 177 available. That is really Art Deco, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it's so absolute. beautiful. Yeah. That's why yeah. I started and welcomed this auction, basically yeah. saying, you might have tuned in today thinking I don't need chains. You will absolutely get involved, though, I reckon, yeah. because we'll always say, OK, I could cut them. I could use them in my long line necklaces, take inspiration mm. from Van Cleef yeah. and Arpels. I can use them with my sections, my kiss cross sections mm. that Mark creates, yeah. use them in my opera length earrings. I can easily rosary link or bubble style directly easy. onto that. Just a lovely shape as well. We've not yeah. seen this shape before. No, I haven't. Same. We had quantity, but everybody is choosing to multi-buy. In fact, if I look down my call screen, a couple of people have bought ones, and that's absolutely fine. Three pounds and 49 pence only for precious metal plated wow. copper. 
And <laughs> are you milking it today, Roscoe? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Can we shop ahead on the other one as well? Because you know you're going to get a fabulous deal there too. How about we say to you, you can get three there for under £10. Okay. No, I'm not great at maths. That means, what, £3.33? Mm. £3.33 per chain. Now, you know we said earlier on, your, your, your Karen Millen's, your Coast. Your more, ex your more expensive high street lady shops. They're not going to be eleven ninety nine. Mo's bought ten. Look. I don't blame you, Mo, Cheryl's for getting ten. Five. You're not alone, multi buying. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Pauline's bought four. Patricia's bought four. Um, Carol's bought three. Kate's got two. Janet's got two. Kim's multi buying as well. Marilyn's multi bought. Well, I don't blame you for multi buying no, on this. No. A, we've not seen that link before. You would absolutely pay that. Pay pay thirty pounds, if not more. <laughs> If not more, currently that's um, currently that's two liters of petrol. Oh yeah, it's gone back up. Again. Going up again. I know. I noticed that yesterday. One pound fifty one. Yeah, crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, don't do it on the motorway. No. It's even more no. then, isn't it? Even more then. I know, isn't it? Isn't it? Do you know, it frustrates me. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> price. <laughs> do I get no? Do I go down this route? But prices of petrol going back up. Um, and in terms of accessibility, is it? No, well, we'll mm. go down that, that, mm. that, that rabbit hole. But also, just as all the heating and everything goes back yeah. up, you yeah. know, people start switching it back on. Anyway, leave that one there, Al. Let's yeah. not go there. That's a topic for another day. Um, not jewellery making. £2.99 pence only. Well done. There's so many of you there. Do shop ahead on the other link, which is equally very, very beautiful. Um, OK, we're going to dive straight into the hammered. So this is a little bit larger in terms of its actual design. We'll do a 60 second clock and then we'll drop to your early bird price tag. We'll do it in one price crash this time. I'm going to tell you that we'll match what? the price. Yeah. Six pounds for the two. No. It's fabulous, isn't it? That's amazing. That is fabulous. Don't forget that beautiful strand of Sakura Agate is coming up just after the break wow. and also Mark's absolutely amazing, amazing kit, jewellery makers. I think you've jammed the phone, uh, the, yes, phone the call screen. Stuck. Yeah, has yeah. it gone nuts? Yeah. Um, we're on a bit of a go slow here in the studio, but when our call screen just sticks, it means, yeah, we go. Um, takes a while to wow. sort of reboot it. We're, oh, f these are absolutely flying out the door. Um, this is the hammered one. If you want to still get hold of that one previously, you can do. You can get two for, with change from uh, six pound. Susan and Brian says, I'll have four. Berkshire says, I'll have four. Carol's having five. Michelle's having three. Doreen's having two. Uh, Nutty Notter's having three. Um, well done. Helen's multi-buying. John and Susan's multi-buying. Amazing. It's busy, busy, busy this morning, Mark. And we will use them, won't oh, we? Oh, without a doubt. They're gorgeous. I just get rid of those middle links, you know, the little jump rings and yeah. use them in my other jewellery products. But those ovals oh, yeah. as decorative features in your jewellery. Like little collectors. Yeah, they're amazing. Two ninety nine. Wow. Crazy. It is crazy. And this is precious metal plated, that's the thing. You go into yeah. somewhere like no disrespect to this clothing brand, but if you go into somewhere like New Look, chances are it's probably not silver plated. Chances are, and a top tip from our lovely Mark, yeah, look. the fact that you have got a thickness of plating so that it doesn't stick to your magnet. It's sticking to the metal of the bust. Of the look. bust. It's sticking to the metal of the bust. More than it's sticking to but, the actual... But not the, but not the necklace. Not the necklace no. itself. Amazing. You know what to do, lovely jewellery maker. Sakura Agate coming up after the break. Loads of you multi-buying. Alison's got four. Sorry, five. Marishka's got four. Jacqueline's got uh, four. Mary's got three. Debbie's more. I can't keep up with you all. There's just tons of you there. And keep those messages well coming through. Very excited um, for Mark's beautiful kits that are coming up. Classic old school jewellery maker kits. Um, but before we dive into, oh my goodness me, the most amazing cut. Look at this jewellery. Absolutely beautiful jewellery. Um, um, now, Sakura Agate is coming up immediately after the break. Ross is saying if, if he'd have launched this strand, he'd have launched it rock bottom 49 99 It's 
Um, it's the darling of, uh, of our gate. Only wow. 30 chances. We're going to put it on pre-order. Um, yeah, you won't believe the price point. That's coming up ahead of Mark's beautiful kits and demonstrations. Make sure you check out your baskets. And remember, each and every single one of your early bird items are disappearing in a matter of moments. So good luck to you all. Don't go anywhere. Mark and I will return after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favorite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker, and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's gonna be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just 99 pounds per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Ah, oh, welcome back, everybody. We've just seen about the ball. So I, was, I don't. I've never been to a ball before. Oh, they are lovely. Are they? Yeah, they are lovely. Yeah, it gets you properly into the festive. Didn't spirit. you buy some amazing white floral dress for one of them? Yeah, and spilt red wine down it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, you don't want to do that, do you? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> when do you, you only wear them on a couple of occasions, anyway, yeah, don't you? Yeah. 
Sue dry cleaned out. Yeah, if you if you fancy that, A Stratford's absolutely beautiful, and that that you know the hall is right on the river, which is amazing. Um, but if you fancy a little bit of a get together, then check your diaries for the twenty fifth of November. So I understand you're going. <laughs> Neither of us know this yet. Neither of us know. We've just, been told. We just yeah. been told. Like, okay, all good. Um, always up for a shindig. Right then, shall we get it cracking with your amazing Sakura Agate? Widely regarded as the darling of agates, there are very few agates that actually are completely and utterly natural in their colour. Um, this is natural. We're going to introduce the graphics immediately. And Ross has made no secret about this. He said, look, if it was me that had launched this, there is no way it would have gone to the price tag that you're about to see. $49.99 would be absolutely incredible. Remember, this is a, in, in, um, in China, this is a gemstone that they hold with as high a regard as all of your jades. Um, and you have these three-dimensional blooms. Sakura agate, it's like the Japanese blossom, isn't it? Yes, that's right. So nature's graffiti, um, <laughs> perfectly captured. Yeah, I said that the other day to my it's husband, nice. and he was like, oh, will you stop? Listen to you. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Stop it. We got your jewelry maker like I said, well, it is. Look at it. So, oh, like nature's blue, uh, nature's confetti. Now, um, if it was Roscoe launching it, he said, this is the price point that he would imagine. It's Sakura Agate. It's incredibly rare, especially when, and I've said before, um, with Sakura Agate, when it includes the reds and the whites, that's the more valuable. That's like your quad A and your Tanzanite. $49.99 for something as highly considered as Sakura Agate. And again, if I had the time, I would show you all the different pieces of jewellery that I've sold at you know, considerably high price points. Um, here we go. Look at look, look how at lovely that. that is. It is like a confetti, yeah. isn't it? Um, this is a slice of A-grade Sakura Agate that are reserved for bangles. This is becoming less and less in the market. The mine is now only producing green moss agate, so obviously oh, not okay. as lovely, oh. don't get me wrong, but not quite as valuable. Um, so you can see they actually mark it out in the yeah. same way that they would do the, um, the jade, but it's often carved as well. Cabochons, you see some cabochons that really showcase those beautiful blossoms. They're amazing, aren't they? And that all occurs totally natural, uh, totally naturally. Uh, as the big rough isn't coming out, pieces are becoming smaller and smaller and strands are becoming impossible because of the price. Well, so here I am about to show you a strand of natural Sakura agate, plus it's faceted completely faceted um good luck everybody so I, I don't remember actually seeing i've not seen it faceted no never so beautiful isn't it mm. ignore 49.99 says roscoe which is an absolutely unbelievable price tag for something as rare as sakura agate please don't we love agates. We love it in all the beautiful different colours, the dye varieties, much more affordable. But we don't see... I mean, that at 29 99 yeah, absolutely. But for something like Sakura with extreme rarity, and you've just heard there from, our, um, from some of our suppliers saying, look, it doesn't come from the ground. That's why you rarely ever see it in your strands. Um, I agree, it's incomparable to any other yeah, gemstone yeah. that's actually out there because you get the wonderful, wonderful translucency. You get wonderful warm reds. Uh, honey tones and also your blush pinks. $29.99. Hello to you, Denise and Sheffield, Maeve and Suzanne, Pauline and Maker. Now, we, Ross is saying, look, this would have been a $49.99 strand if he'd have actually launched it. He didn't launch it, however. Um, might have been when he was off having a baby. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what do you want? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's so beautiful, isn't it? So pretty. And the fact that it's faceted as well. I really... I, Hang on. I know. We're going even lower. Oh, timing could not be any more perfect, could it? Just as you're about to bring the most ridiculous price tag for one of the rarest launches here at Jewelry the Maker. Boss walks in. in walks the boss. <laughs> in walks Scott. As you're about to do Sakura Agate, one of the lowest prices I've ever seen. In a fasted strand. Morning, Scott. Yeah, look away now, because uh, we're not doing this. It's not Sakura Agate on your screens right now. Lowest possible price tag that any of us could imagine about to appear. In fact, probably wouldn't even entertain. 
Producer Ross has been completely honest and said, I would have, I would have said 49.99. It's faceted. You've got the mixture of those lovely colours. You've got the mixtures of your yellows. You've got some your soft, uh, more morganite-like pinks. Areas of translucency in those three-dimensional blooms. All captured perfectly in this wonderful gemstone. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree with you, Ross. That's a ridiculous price tag, isn't it? For Sakura wow. Agate, in the last year, we've launched Yunnan Hong, we've launched Sakura, which are two of the most expensive varieties of agate in the world. We should never expect it to be no, 25 pounds. No. Never. I mean, this is the caliber, the ilk of gemstone that you knot with a silk, you add to your gold clasps. Um, oh, that's a lovely idea, knotting it. Yeah, yeah pretty, yeah, isn't like it? That. Yeah. Really, really in pretty. Madagascar. Oh, beautiful. Well done. The phone lines has gone crazy. Lots of collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. London's multi-board, Jackie, West Midlands, Maker, Pam, Denise, Pauline, Maven, Suzanne, Laurel, Jeanette, Elaine, Mary, London. I've got more customers there. Lanarkshire. Um, make sure you are checking them out. We only had 30 available. It's just a beautiful pastel palette, mm. isn't it? I think it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And you said it right. It's unlike any other gemstone. Mm. I mean, just coming into autumn now, so this is the perfect colour tone for your mm. autumn makes, isn't it? Still pretty. Mm. Still got that prettiness yeah, to it. Lovely. With such a fleeting... When you think about the Japanese blossom, which is often named after, you know, think how fleeting that window is when... when six it, weeks. Is it six it. weeks only? That's it. Yeah, the whole year. <sighs> pretty moment, though, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Pretty moment in the mess. calendar. And then, yeah, yeah just <laughs> bits... <laughs> Bits everywhere, <laughs> but it's nice when they're blowing through the wind. Oh. This you don't have to worry about that mess because no, it's no, captured perfectly no. over millions of years. Um, here we go. What? Look at this necklace. So high grade Madagascar Sakura agate. So exactly the same location and gemstone. Wow. Uh, moonstone natural. So they've got little tiny it's moonstones like in between. Wide, isn't it? It's not as good a quality as no. what we have here on our screens. Um, and it's still 265. It does look like it's on memory wire. That can't be a necklace because there's rondelles. Look. Hmm. That doesn't look like a be big enough for a necklace, does it? It says six, 16 inches. Look at him! Look. European and American gem carvers are requesting large rough to which uh, is driving up the oh, price. He's him. very sweet. Very, it's very, gorgeous. very sweet. And you can see those blooms, can't you, yeah. on his tummy? Absolutely amazing. I bet you he's not 24 99 No. Definitely not. Beautiful blooms. Uh, final eight of these. There's lots of multi-buyers getting involved. Just goes to show you that necklace, prime example there, £265 mm. um, for what is not a great necklace, I've got to be honest. That. There it is. Yeah. I would love, and I've mentioned this to my husband, it's a bucket list for me to go oh, to Japan. Go to Japan and see the, yeah. Go to Japan and see, and it's got to be this mm. time. I want to go to, to Holland and see the bulb fields. That would be another yes. one on my list. That would be lovely. So yeah. you could go there and you could always go to, you could go to Antwerp as well, couldn't you? Yeah. Pop along there, see the diamonds see the and diamonds. things like that. That would yeah. be amazing. Um, we're going to close this auction. Good luck, everybody. Down to the final five. Silly price point, says producer yeah. Ross. Amazing. But we have three um, viewers into, into Saturday morning. Right? Yes, let's do it. Whilst Saturday, you're checking out. Saturday morning, nine o'clock hour. If you like to secure agate with a little something special, then make sure you tune in Saturday morning. We'll tune in Saturday because at 12 o'clock, we'll tell you about 12 o'clock later on. Sakura Agate in a kit. In a kit with, for the first time, diamond, that's right, diamond encrusted S clasps. How amazing is that? Alongside your Sakura, oh. we're going to get into so much trouble, you do know that. Nah. <laughs> oh well, oh. oh well, oh well, it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. We've I don't think it is a good idea me being on the Gemporia ball list because I know I can't keep a secret. I'll, I'll tell everybody everything. Especially if we get, 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 have a few tipples. Mm. I'll make sure I'm driving <laughs> just to be on the safe side. Yeah, but you say that. You, you know, you're driving today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> you're driving today and you're, you're just, yeah. yeah. It's all good though, Mark. I think, I think yeah. it's one of your most yeah. endearing features. <laughs> Um, amazing. Speaking of beautiful kits, Mark, we have, we both absolutely love them. I know. So we just scooch those out the way. So I was sent four kits. Yeah. And I and uh, I was told because I'm my workload is enormous at the yeah. moment. So I was sent four kits, and I was told I could choose two. Yeah. But one of them had to be the appetite. Okay. Which I would have chosen anyway. Yeah, me too. So I had to choose one of the other three, and I had to go for this. Oh gosh, yeah. This can I can I grab all three strands? It's, it, it is like rosy I've apple never, sweets. I've never seen tiger's eye like this. In I was wondering life. the gemstone. Tiger's eye. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. 
Not the best website. How would you even go about doing that, though? Look at this. How do you colour tiger's eye in different gemstones? No. It does look tiger's watermelon eye. tourmaline, yeah. doesn't it? Has got, got that kind of greens, vibe about it. All the greens, you've got the reds, you've got the blues. Purples. It is absolutely mesmerising. It's, it's, it's another take on the selenite for me. It's just I agree. Amazing. So And the long mm. strands as well. Yeah. Yeah, so with I chose to work with this one, and I chose to work with the with the appetite. Oh, I do love these as well. They're amazing too. They are. They are quite. Um, the word I would use is seductive. We have to use seductive at nine o'clock in the morning on, on a Monday. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Absolutely. So these would be these would be your dairy milk, and these would be your black magic. Ooh. Is that a good way of describing black magic. them? Black magic. Yeah. Pulling out the retro chocolates. Very. Can you still get them? I don't know. I think so. Oh, okay. I think you can. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you can. Yeah. yeah. So that's black that's how magic. I would do that. Yeah, oh, and then yes. we've and then we've got the ombre hematite, which I've had on the show, a, gosh, that must be about six or seven weeks ago. Yeah, I like so this is hematite dyed, but but ombre, and not just ombre the strand, but each bead is ombre as well. So it's Mark, amazing. these kits are absolutely beautiful, and as we said at the yeah. beginning of the show, like this is proper nostalgic, it's old lovely. school jewellery maker. Yeah, yeah, um, I love these. I love these, and I'm just going to hang on one second. I've no idea what the prices are. Do you are not? These. No. Shall I show you? Mm -hmm. oh, honestly. It's, a, it's fantastic, isn't it? Considering there's three strands and a tube of seed beads in here. Yeah. Sh which do you want to start with? Well, let's do the appetite. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah, we'll yeah the because first. they would all work yeah. with the appetite. Yeah. Now, they're all oh. available on pre order, producer Ross is saying. Um, so if you do want to shop ahead, Mark, that bracelet, I went immediately to that bracelet this morning, didn't I? Wait, oh, this one here? Uh, so it's if gorgeous. any of you caught the show on Friday right, in the nine o'clock hour, mm. so if you, if you didn't catch the show, if you go back onto YouTube at one o'clock this afternoon, go back onto last Friday's YouTube, in the nine o'clock hour, I demoed how to do this bracelet. That's so gorgeous. And, it, and I did it with crackled quartz. And this is, this is from the Appetite Kit. So the whole point of, t of the nine o'clock hour was, was graduated Kiss Cross. Okay. But because we had four mils in this bundle, I had to do that bracelet because I just, I just any any kit I have with four mil, I make one of those bracelets. Well, when do we beautiful. see appetite in four mils? I know, I know. Don't see it, no. do we? No. Well, here's a gemstone that forms in granular-like sizes. So you know, we are talking about 0.15 being the average. Mm. This is neon uh, appetite. So you get again. The more intense the saturation of appetite, the higher the price point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've read to you words of the jewellery editor in the past, haven't I, where it says size matters and colour saturation mm. matters um, when it comes to appetite. I absolutely adore this kit. It's stunningly beautiful. Um, you're getting a mixture of your eight, six and four, which totals wow. an amazing 410 carats. Wow but it goes perfectly alongside your other colours. Yeah, it's a limited quantity though, so you are going to have to be super speedy. Um, let's just quickly go to the, the ed jewellery editor, yeah, Mark, yeah. because they rave about this gemstone, um, as do some of the most you know, recognised jewellery designs around the world. Um, here it is, and they say, the value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation, so specimens with a high intensity command the best price. Size does matter when it comes to appetite, since finding larger stones weighing over one carat is extremely wow. rare. Oh, amazing. You've got 412. Size is over one oh. carat, extremely rare. And in terms of price points, let's have a little look across uh, um, different websites. A simple stretchy bracelet, you could make it Easily. almost exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. 229 pounds. <laughs> I mean, it's, I know which I would prefer, Mark. I know which yeah. I would prefer. Wow. Hang on, we're already Put beating, yeah, yeah, beating yeah. that price point, and that's everything. You know, we've shown you rings that were photographed and published within the jewellery editor, haven't we? That are much, much, much more heavily included and much smaller in their size than, um, than the bundle that I hold before you. There are 50, though, we're already at a double figure price. I mean, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And this is natural, not even heat treated. Goodness me. Let's go straight to that price point. Mark, these are stunning. I love and these. the fact that you've been able to yeah. indulge with appetite like yeah. this, that's a that rarity, is isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. about using this with your Sakura? Perfect, okay, brilliant. Yeah, the, the, um, the turquoise color and the pink. 
perfect. Look at that. That's lovely. £49.99 pence only to get hold of three amazing strands, but big sizes in natural, not heat treated, beautiful neon appetite. Plus, you're getting your beautiful tube of your Mayukis, um, which are your, uh, your 11 O's. Mark, what an amazing kit this is, all those lovely colours. And as we said earlier on, you know, lots of our customers... I'm going to say it. You've been asking for your old school traditional kits. Yep. You've been asking yep. for us to sort of go back to effectively our roots. Um, well, uh, Eve, we've kind of done that, but we would have never done a no. full kit of neon appetite. The Apple fact Pie. that what we get asked for more than anything is to have the same gemstone in three different sizes. Really? So we've done that with all four kits today. All four yeah. kits. Yeah. Now, twenty nine ninety nine. Lots of you are already getting involved. Sorry, forty nine. I beg your pardon. I thought I meant to say ninety nine ninety nine. Ninety nine ninety nine. Then we dropped it to forty nine ninety nine. How about? <laughs> really? Ten pound per component. So you're talking thirty nine ninety nine. One of the one of the sentences that you've just read was about colour saturation. I don't think you can get any more saturated with the colour. No, color than this is the three. ultimate, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. absolutely the ultimate. So what, 39.99, Ross? 10, but you're not going to pay. That, for me, is your price of your eight mils. That's, you've bought your eight millimetres and everything else is yeah. for free. For Neon Appetite, I've done showcases of Neon Appetite where strands like of, the, of this grade have been considerably more expensive. Mark, those earrings are lovely. It's what, six stones? Six stones, 25 quid. Wow. There are only 40, though, lovely jewellery makers, and straight away people getting involved. Um, believe me, this is a gemstone that has... Caught absolutely hypnotised some of your highest, um, most respected jewellery designers out there. Cap Florence, we've referenced quite uh, quite frequently, has got um, a real love affair with your neon blue appetite. Now, Ross is saying, you know what, Elle, you wouldn't pay £10 for the seed beads. Well, wouldn't we? £7.95 for your seed beads. Oh, yeah. Okay, how does that sound with you, Mark? He's in one of those moods today. He is, isn't he? He's got that tone. Mm. Ross said, how about we do £10 per strand of Neon Appetite? And then you see beads for free, which are usually, what, £7.50? Yeah. yeah. Half the stock has just gone. We are going to... Oh, my, I've, everybody pays that final That's low. Lovely. That's lovely. We don't see Neon Appetite that often. Well, the reality is it's because it's granular sizes ordinarily. And that article earlier on saying finding larger stones weighing over one carat is extremely mm. rare. You've got an entire kit, 412 carats. Amazing. Loads of you are getting involved. I've got 19 of them left. Our call screen's a little bit delayed, but this is real time right now, folks. We had 50 of them, straight down to 17. Good luck. We've said it out loud. Yes, we are going to do £10 per strand, and then you get your Mayuki sea beads for free. But they are big, and Mark's so right. That's the best colour that you that's could incredible. possibly wish for. That's yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? So a carrot, that's probably what? Slightly larger than one of the four mils? Yeah, probably. Something like that? Well, let's work it out. Yeah. So if there's... The yeah. four mils, there's 91 on the strand, and it's 60 right. carats oh, so on that one. it's less than a carat, less... then. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. wow. Yeah. 66 Six. points. So if we said you're wow. six mils... 61 on a strand... Just over wow. two carats so each. So we're getting rare already. Rare. Yeah. Well, very rare. Very rare. Yeah, very, yeah. very rare. Because they're yeah. saying that's a large stone, aren't they? That's a massive mils. stone if yeah. it's double what they were yeah. just mentioned in that, art that article. Your eight mils, in terms of their average per stone, 4.75 <laughs> carats. Let me just reread that sentence from the jewellery editor. These aren't my words. This is the jewellery editor. Highly respected publication to mm. the world um, that says... Um, the value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation, so specimens with a high colour intensity command the best price. Size does matter when it comes to appetite, since finding large stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. Well, two of your strands are significantly over that. 200 individual neon appetite rounds 
At 15p each, that's ridiculous. I would, I would buy it just for the four mils. It's a magnetic cloth if you want to try it on. That's so beautiful. So beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into a demonstration. You can shop ahead. Sorry, I'm doing this uh, left-handed. I don't want to pull it. Um, thank you. Love. Oh, my goodness. I love this type of bracelet. I would buy it just for this. And as I said, after the show today, go onto YouTube last Friday and, and I demo how to make it. And that's just using two thirds of the strand of the four mil. Like, that's and I've not so even beautiful. touched the rest of the. If that was on my stall, Neon Appetite, I'd probably sell that for seventy pounds. I think so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. beautiful! Yeah. Well, if you oh, look yes, at this, yes. well, what was that? Simple stretchy, two hundred twenty-nine. Is that a gentleman wearing it? I think it, it is, yeah. I think oh, it good. is. Oh, Looking nice. very dapper in his lovely suit. Yes. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody, and do shop ahead on Mark's other kits. Oh. They are available on pre-order. Amazing. That's so pretty. What are you going to demo? So I'm going to show you a graduated kiss cross station. It's a bit of a mouthful. A graduated so, graduate. one? So I'm going to show you one of, the, one of these little nodules. They're really cute. So, Nodule, so, that's a good word. Yeah, so it's it's a take on your kiss cross, and all we're doing is we're adding seed beads to okay. justify the number of the size of the, the gemstone that we're using inside. So it, it's exactly the same technique, but I'm just going to show you how to add different amount number of beads to okay. do the little station. And then all I've done to create the necklace is I've made seven, I think it's six or seven of the stations, and then I've taken the needle up through the stations with a piece of fire line or wildfire, and then just added the little beads in between. Just Beautiful. to allow it to go over the head. So it's a really nice way of... Yeah, it's like a marquee shape, doesn't it? If you wanted to, you could just graduate, go small, go large, go small, go large, mm. and pop it onto memory wire, oh, actually. Nice. So if you wanted a uh, continuous undulate. necklace. Yeah. Beautiful. No, it's brill fun. So in the kit, you get these amazing sky blue little um, 11 O's. And you want a corresponding colour. So I've gone for gold, obviously. Gold and appetite is the best colour to use. So first thing we're going to do, you need to... To, um, to get your beads. And what you're going to need, you're going to need six of your four mil, six of your six, and three of your eight, because we're going small to large, back to small again. So we're going to start with a four mil, and you want to pick up a gold 11, an appetite, a gold, an appetite, a gold, and an appetite. So you've got three beads and three of your gold seed beads. We're going to tie them in a loop with a single knot followed by another single knot. Okay, so you've got your loop of three. Okay, it's a little triangle. And then we're going to tie it, we're going to sew away from the knot. So I'm going to go through the 11, through the appetite, and exit through the 11. Okay, so that's what you're aiming for to start. So the first little combination of your, 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 criss, your kiss cross sections is three blue. So one, two, three blue, one gold, three blue. Now I'm using all 11 O's on this. You're going to go around the outside into the gold. So this is, this is your straightforward kiss cross, which I've done many times on the show. So again, three of your blue, three, one of your gold and three of your blue. And this is a really nice because it's transparent. Yeah. There's a hint of turquoise. It's not too overwhelming. I'm going to go through into the gold. And then we're going to do our last section. So three blue, one gold, three blue. And then we're going to go through into the gold. Okay, so you've got your envelope, the first little triangle. So we're going to step up to get to the outside gold. Right, go up into the gold. There we go. And then we're going to choose our next bead. So if you're doing an ordinary kiss cross, you just repeat with the same size gemstone. But we're going, we're going, we're, what's, what's that McDonald's thing? Hmm? When, when, when McDonald's, when you get a bigger meal, go large. Go so large. Go large, yeah. So we've used our four mil, so now we're going to go up to our six millimetre rounds. So pick up our bead, jumping the gap from corner to corner. And I'm going to do the same with the next. So again, your six mil, corner to corner. And then the last bead is corner to corner. Now, if we stayed with that combination, 
the next round we're going to be adding a much larger gemstone and there'll be no there'll be quite a massive gapping mm. be, okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to sew through the first appetite into the gold and i've worked out the numbers for you already so the first row was three blue one gold three blue okay from now f for this round it's five blue one two three four five one gold one two three four five i'm going to go around the six o and the first thing you're going to notice is there's a massive gap in between the bead and the gold can you see the appetite in the gold bead don't worry about that we're going to do the next row so so one two three four five one gold and one two three four five round the appetite into the next gold Okay, and then we'll do the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, one gold. That's why I love Kiss Cross because you can put TV on, you can put the radio yeah. on. Yeah. You know, it's you don't have to do a lot of a lot of thinking. Okay, so we've got our three sections, and as, can you see? There's if I lay it down like that, can you see? There's quite a bit of gap. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to step up to the outside corner. It's a nice shape though as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you, you could just place that, yeah. cut it off and then thread them onto yeah. memory wire and you've got a nice little triangle motif. So we're going to step up to the corner. So step up through the five, exit through the gold. And then we're going to bring in our eight O's. Okay, so these are the largest. So again, you're just going to pick up the bead, jump across the gap. And then you'll notice then, once we put the bead in place, there we go, that the gap will then disappear that we, we saw. And that fits ever so perfectly around your eight O. Okay, it's absolutely seamless. So we'll just do the just do the next. Do the next one, and then we'll do the next one. All the way around to the other side. Pull that nice and tight. And you can see now, we've, it's like an ice cream cone. So all we've oh done yeah. is we, we've gone from three up to five. That's filled in the gaps. There's no beading thread showing. So at this point, I'm just going to go round, all the way around once, threading through the beads, just pulling nice and tight. So it stacks up nice and neatly together, like so. And then all you do to finish is you do another row of five, which will then encase your eight O, pop in your six, and then you're going to graduate down again to three. So if I bring the completed piece across, you'll see. So you, you can see now, so we start with the, with the four mil and the groups of three. Then we pop in our six mil round. We make the group of five, group from the group of three into group of five, pop in the gold with your eight O's. We want to surround that eight O, that eight mil perfectly, so we stick with the group of five. Then we pop in our six mil, then we go back down to our three, which will then envelop our group of four millimeter rounds. And all I do to finish is I just go round and round and round mm. through the appetite and the C beads until I can't get through the beads anymore cut your thread off, cut your thread off at the end. And then as I said, you've got a hole, tiny little hole going through the center of your little station. And then all you do then is, what I did is I made all my stations first and then decided how much, how many beads I had left. Then you need to decide of a combination of accent beads in between your stations and then just thread through and tie off so you've got an over the head necklace. Look at that. And all you've done is made those little stations. So it just makes your bees go a lot further. Yeah. It gives you a really nice long, long necklace. Yeah, beautiful, Great. Mark. Hello, Vera, saying morning, Ella, Mark. Uh, Nikki and me, old Lola Rose, uh, ah. used two appetites and one teal tiger's eye in earrings. Uh, for more than the cost of this kit, really? absolutely. Of course it wow. would. Absolutely. Lola Rose is, yeah, 
it's, it's quite considered brand, isn't yeah. it? Quite considered, sure, certainly. Um, so that doesn't surprise me at all, but thank you for messaging in. Yeah, amazing. Wow. Um, and let's just say yours is going to be better, isn't it? Yours isn't going to have the wonderful Kiss Cross <laughs> design in it. Um, okay, on the verge of selling out, let's bring you kit number two, shall we? I was just thinking as well, your deal of the day would perfect work perfectly with mm, these. Certainly would. No, absolutely would. Shall we go certainly with the would. rosy apple? Oh, yes, please. Now, this the is reason. Incredible. Yeah, it is oh, incredible. Is it? Flying on pre order, says Ross. There's three left of the appetite kit. This one, oh, it's oh. gorgeous. It's a brand so if, um, new bundle. If Dan can get in close to one of those little stations on the necklace, that's, that's a memory wire necklace. <gasps> those earrings. So, all I, I know, I've just realised they look like something. Yes. So, so, with these, that middle section are just two rows of six millimetre rounds on the outside with one row of eight on the inside. So, all you do is you do two groups. So, you, it's five, one, five. Pop in your, your middle, your, your, your eight mils, and then five. So that's all I've done. So they're little stations. And again, I've threaded the memory wire through with a little rosy apple of your 10 mil either side. Oh, just beautiful. Fill in the gaps. And this is so, so simple. That necklace lovely. is so pretty. I love your work, says Margot. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So beautiful. Oh, do you know what? Mark, I have to say, those earrings, I love the necklaces. Other ones? Yes. I know. They're sort of quite alhambra without me even realising. They are gorgeous. So do you remember you and I did this technique on a show recently yeah. where, where we did the, um, the outer edges three yeah. times and then they look, sort of look <gasps> like those clovers. All I've done is I've used the six mil and then the, the sorry, the, um, yeah, the, yeah, the six mil and then the eight mil. I've done the same technique on both of them and I've joined them together. They do look very Alhambra. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Looking at them now. Do you know, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. You've um, got enough beads in the, in the kit to make lots of those and join them all together for a, like a mayor, oh, gosh. Like a, mayor a mayor's necklace. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Right, or oh, station necklaces, couldn't you? Yeah, you could use the, the early bird earlier yeah. on. Yeah. This is absolutely yeah. flying. This is your rainbow tiger's eye. And look. They're gorgeous. I should perhaps know. However, I don't. How do you get multiple colours in one gemstone? I, know. I, know. I can't get my head around that. Because mm. obviously this is a dying process. But how do you get a mixture look. of your purples, your greens, your golds, mm. your blues, all of those colours in one stone? Do you remember we've done tiger's eye in the past, which is called blue and blonde? Yeah. I think that's the base tiger's eye. And then they add the colour on top of that. I don't think it would work on a blue or on a blonde. I think because it's got the two colours combined. So if they put a colour onto the blue, it yeah. goes red. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. it onto yeah. the blonde, it goes green. Okay. Maybe that's the case. But it's fascinating. It is fascinating because you yeah. still see that chatoyancy. Yeah. Right, we're at 59.99. You get three strands. That's £20 per strand. And then your seed beads for free, which are the silver line dark gold AB. Yeah. 560 and a half carats of beautiful tiger's eye with those wonderful colours. Now, we shouldn't be doing this, but... We're going to match oh. the price of the previous. Oh. To be honest, what do you have to just realise what that is? Yeah. £10 per strand seed beads for free. 20. That's unbelievable. So hang on. I mean, I don't know. If you. £60 for those two kits, is that right? I hope yeah. I've said that yeah. right. That's madness because that's yeah. over a thousand carats. Yeah. That's just simple stretchy with a with 11 0 in between. Beautiful, it looks so though. Nice. Yeah, because you know what? When you've got a gemstone which is that oh, stunning no. with those selections of colours and movement internally, you don't need to overcomplicate it, do you? There are how many? 60? 50, I beg your pardon, of this kit. Um, people already shopping ahead. Well done, Pauline, Barbara, Linda, Christine, Susan, Elaine, Karen, uh, Bristol, Jerry. I've got Sheila, Maker, Tyne and Weather, and our call screen's on a go slow today as well. So if I haven't shouted your name out yet, it is flying on pre-order. We know that. We can hear it. I can tell by uh, uh, by Ross. Uh, Ross's tone in the gallery. That's mad. Twenty nine ninety nine. Crazy. Yeah, that's a seventy five eighty pound necklace. On its 100%. own, without, without earrings or anything. What about those earrings? Oh. I reckon they should be about the same price. What, the Alhambra ones? Yeah. £40. Gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. I'd, yeah, if I walked past... If you if you were, yeah. had the time to do your mm, stores... I know. ...and walked past and saw those, yeah. I'd be like, mm. those earrings are incredible. Well, I'm thinking that at some point in December, depending on how busy I once we've christmasy fied the house, which, as you know, is a three-day event at yeah. the moment... <laughs> Is I was thinking of having an open house 
and um, doing a sort of a jewellery sell for charity or something like that because I've got to make some space. It's getting a bit chronic now. <laughs> yeah, if you need mold, a mold wine, if you need pies. a security guard, I'll be there. All right, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, how a, what a lovely yeah, that's what idea! I might do over a weekend. See how busy we are. What a lovely idea! As I said, I need some space. <laughs> yeah, and if I can help out, I'll gladly help. Twenty nine ninety nine. Goodness yeah. me, oh, the colours of those are absolutely beautiful. They're flying on pre-order. Um, Alison, Sylvia, Christine, Sheila, Cheryl, Janet, Susan, Mary, Susan, Jerry, Bristol, Tracy, Sylvia, Tracy, West Midlands, Morag, I can't keep up with you. Um, there's a load of you there, well done. All the colours that we could possibly want in one beautiful Chatoyant gemstone. Well, before I saw this, I thought we couldn't get any better with our tigers. I, no. I thought we'd reach, you know, we had the pink and the green and the blue. Peaked. I thought we'd peak, but this just blew everything out of the water. It's it didn't incredible. it just, it's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Can't get my head around how they do it. No. I've got no idea how they do it, but what an amazing gemstone. Because it's not reconstituted. It's, no, no. You no. know, yeah. if it was reconstituted, then I'd kind of understand, mm. but it's it's not. No. Down to the no. final, um, final four. Good luck. If you love this, then make sure you stay tuned for the next kit as well, because that's equally as beautiful, Stunning. but a bit more moody. Mood, moody. Yeah. Let's it, go with moody, not moody. seductive. Well, there's nothing wrong with seductive, I don't think. <laughs> Seductive's good. Yeah. A little bit, yeah, absolutely. You'll see where we're right. coming from in a second. Yeah, this one, gorgeous. this one, a little bit more gothic, I'm also going to say. Yeah, that yeah. Could one be for the gents, of, maybe. One for the gents. Yeah. If you like to have your yeah. gothic vibes, if you are thinking about maybe your Halloween mm, event. That's a good idea. Um, then yes. I think, because purple and black you quite often mm. see, don't you? Mm. Yes. Um, yes. In Halloween, oh, a little tig came downstairs <laughs> yesterday, actually. Mummy, ah, ah, ah. She's oh. dressed as a little witch. <laughs> She'd obviously found one of Willow's uh, um, old, <laughs> old dress-up outfits. Very cute. But that was these colours, Mark. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Can we just, can we just... I can't quite decide on the colour. It's like a... You can definitely see the purples and the greens, but there's this sort of really dark there's a teal undertone about can you see it, the teal it? there gorgeous. as well yeah yeah do you know what you know sometimes you know sometimes when you see the northern lights at night mm, yeah and it has this do you know mark it's i might beautiful. i think this might be my favorite you know it's got something extra about it isn't it there's something going on you just can't put oh there we go oh look at this look at how beautiful they are they're amazing. I think this one with the appetite oh, I think yeah. would look beautiful together. That would be beautiful. First price crash. We've got a bigger what? quantity of this kit. Oh, oh no. I'm going to stretch them all out because I think. Oh, yeah. Look at that one there, look. It's there. That sort of green to it. And it's six, eight, and ten. I mean, you go to three strands. It's yeah. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. And then you've got a bit of, it is a yeah, little bit, yeah, a little bit gothic, yeah, yeah. Halloween. Oh. Stop the clock. Oh. This bundle has been on air before. And I'll tell you, it closed and sold over a hundred of them at 29.99. Don't forget though, this isn't just the bundle. It's not just the bundle. No, you get the no. seed beads as well, don't you? And the inspiration from our lovely seed mark. Seed beads are eight quid. That's eight pounds. So you already know mm. you're getting a deal. Yeah. Right then, we're going even lower though. We have got quantity. This is your call to action though, lovely jewelry makers. Yeah, this, there is this moody kind of Moulin Rouge vibe to it. I think you've it. gone from the, the first but the bundle that we've just seen, the Tigers, that's more sort of spring, summer, and now yeah. you're going into your autumn, winter. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It has got this kind of bewitching, oh, I love it, the mm. movement of the chatoyancy. Look, you've got cobalt blue, you've got amazing uh, sort of deep purples, gold, it's all in there. It's magical, isn't it? I love it. I think A bit hocus pocus. Yeah, fascinating. I love Tiger Side at the best of times, but I think we've peaked now. Do you I, think? I think we've peaked. Yeah. We say that. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Something corn, else is really. going to come and we're like, oh my goodness me. Imagine this with your selenite that we had earlier on. No. Wow. So we've sold the bundle previously 
on air for 29.99 and that's the three strands which is absolutely unbelievable wow. you don't just get the three strands you also get the mayuki sea beads which are about seven eight pounds yeah, as mark just fine. said yeah. in this lovely chartreuse pink plus you've got a five pound saving plus you get the inspiration from mark plus we're at surely bringing this bundle at like peak time yeah it must be in terms of desirability and um, there's a load of you on the phone lines how many did we have then roscoe we had oh. 80 elaine linda pauline allison maker in london diana susan amanda helen uh gloucestershire mary jerry tiny and where lots who's still on the phone lines our call screen is on a lag so i do apologize if we're not shouting out your names i'm not the most amazing jewelry maker and i look at these and think do you know what i don't think i need to be no, no, no. you know i can i can follow yeah. mark's amazing tuition of you just like you yeah. said just on a simple stretchy bracelet yeah, that's, all you, that's all you need because the gemstone does all the work for you you don't need to faff you really don't that's so gorgeous mark so gorgeous mm. so hang on i've just done the maths 75 pound gets me all three yeah. of those kits that's mm -hmm. unbelievable isn't it and what's the what's the carrot weight on this kit four 539 that's wow that's like over 1500 probably 1600 carrots across all three kits how amazing um i've got one more kit to bring you that equally be go yeah. alongside each and every single one of these beautiful designs and can i also say alongside your deal of the day your deal of the day is a showcase of beautiful pristine eye clean clear quartz um that will go complement every single Absolutely. one of your kits yeah, yeah. i mean true to what the gemstone is at the end mm, oh i know yeah first what time turquoise and opal it's the first time we've ever brought this. No. You, you know, we've had uh, um, oh my turquoise and spiny oyster, haven't we? Sorry. First time we're launching turquoise oh and opal. Oh, my Lord. That's incredible. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. That's coming up in the show. I know. Wow. Very excited. Right. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody. Right, let's move on to the next of your kits which is oh yeah mark i remember you launching these so you had the pastels which is all about yep. your selenites didn't yes, we yes that's right oh that was it it was the same day wasn't it yeah yeah and this was more like your bold colors yeah yeah and those sea bees are like gold dust at the moment the galvanized silver so i would get this kit just for those to be fair <laughs> Are they, yeah, I, I, I understand yeah. that though, because yeah. many people actually use them as an alternative to a spacer, they do, don't they? Absolutely. Oh, immediately, you can these feel the weight of the hematite. These are gorgeous. And these are four, six, and eight. So, again, you can do the technique that I showed you with the little modules. Ah, oh, lovely. Hematite, this is a uh, coated hematite yeah. as well, so wrapped yeah. with these wonderful ombre metallic colours. Um, four, six, and eight, as Mark has just said there, and 400 carats in total. Hematite, you know, it's, be mindful of where you're sourcing hematite from, and excuse, excuse our typo, by the way. It's a, it's a constant battle, people <laughs> spelling hematite. Um, but yeah, it's uh, um, be mindful where you source it from, because there are synthetics out there, whereas this is the real deal, genuine gemstone, wrapped with that wonderful... Um, yeah, it's like 24 karat gold, isn't right, it? It's beautiful. So beautiful. I said every single bead is on braid. It's not a strand is on braid no. from start to finish, each bead. I think the green and blue sections are my favourite. It's just like dragonfly wings. Oh, it's they stunning. Are. Beautiful. And didn't or you Tiffany make a window? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Didn't you make um, a kiss cross with this one I as did. well? Yeah, and a mala, a knotted mala. Wow, as well. I bet that's got great weight yeah. to it. Because one of the joys about your uh, about hematite is that there is a substantial weight yeah, behind really it. Yeah, really good drill holes as well. Really Love good. it. Twenty four yeah. ninety nine. Do we have many of these? Because they absolutely flew on the original launch. Wow. 70 available for you today, full strands, and you get your tube of your 11 O's, which is like proverbial gold dust, as Mark was saying. Mm. Um, so, I mean, if, what's, what's that? Seven, eight pounds for the tube? Yeah, eight quid. Eight pounds. Yeah. So you're talking, what, 16 pounds mm. for the three strands of your lovely yeah. hematite. That's amazing, isn't it? They're beautiful. And they're big sizes. Again, about five pound thirty-three. Yeah. There we go yeah. per uh, per strand. Um, in stock update on the kits. Neon appetite very limited. Let us single figures. Um, less than ten of the rainbow, which is the second kit. The last kit, less than twenty of those. This kit you can still get hold of, but it is very busy this morning, mm. as you can imagine. I love the selection of colours. And if you're looking at this right now, because I'm mad. This is kind of like a. A rainbow, isn't it? Of yeah. colours, a lot. Um, if you want to separate it out, you can. 
I, th I think I did Kumihimo with this as well. We took out all the oh, pinks yeah, and I did remember. the Kumihimo and then the blues and the yellows. I remember always, those bracelets. Yeah, you can really play around with them. Beautiful. Yeah. Hello, Elizabeth, saying morning, everybody. Gorgeous designs, Mark. Lovely. Thank you, Liz. Isn't that nice? Thank you. We've got lovely viewers, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, another message into the studio from Mary in Yorkshire. Oh. Hello to you, Mary. Mark, you have answered my prayers. Oh, I've been looking for the tutorial on the stations for ages. They're brilliant. I love them. They make really good tassel toppers for your marlas as That's well. That's a nice idea. Just tie everything in. And, and what an earring. They're Be gorgeous. Nice, and like I said, I've made them into little stations, but there's nothing stopping you undulating on one piece. So go small, large, oh, lovely. small, large. So you get, as you said, like a wave necklace. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, now, the floral chain that we brought you as your early bird, that sold out. Oh. But you can still get hold of the hammered one. Um, because I was just thinking, Mark, those st th your demonstration, those stations mm. on a length of your hammer oh, chain. Because you said yeah, like yeah. cutting it yeah, up yeah. into stations. Definitely. How beautiful would that be? And you get lovely movement mm. from it as well. So you can still get hold of this, uh, one of your early birds. It's silver plated. Oh, sorry. Yes, here it is. Um, silver plated, 18 inches on your copper as well. Beautiful light performance across each and every single one of these links. So, yeah, if you want to use this alongside Mark's beautiful kits, you can. Certainly with the demonstration, I think it would be amazing. Um, I think the patterns really replicates as well the chatoyancy that you sometimes see, that you see within your tiger's eye. Um, I've only got 50 of these left from just over 200 that we first launched this morning. Um, early doors. This is ridiculous, though. I don't think any... If you've just tuned in, I know. £4.99. But it's not where we oh, close, yeah. is it? Ridiculous, wasn't it? If you if you were out this morning and you haven't been able to join us for your early bird, maybe you just walk through the door, you walk the dogs, whatever. You have to uh, take the kids to school, whichever yeah. it might be. We didn't stop here. It's precious metal plating on copper. Another precious commodity, I have to say. Wonderfully textured in a very Monica Veneda design. It's a necklace. Heavy sterling weight as well. Yes, top. and you did the magnet test, which magnet. is genius. I see you wearing three of those joined together. Yeah, nice. Over a chunky knit. A nice chunky knit. Chunky knit. A woolly pulley. Yeah. <laughs> Two ninety nine. Oh, Goodness me, you can't get a, you can't get a coffee for that in no. some places. No. Two pounds. In fact, you definitely can't. I, 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 we did a drive through coffee on the way down to Wales. Do you know, I've always, I've always, I've always thought about drive throughs and do you know what's put me off? What? I thought of pulling up at the window and breaking down. And not being able to drive away with queues of people honking their horns and I've never been on a drive through for that yeah. reason. For that reason, just worrying. I almost took one of the signs out on for a drive through. Um, <laughs> oh no! When I was um, we, we sold Mum's house and obviously when we we're in the process of emptying it, emptying it, mm. my, my we hired a van, my brother and I. Um, you went through a drive through with a van. I needed a coffee. I was very, very, very tired. That's brave. And it was and I drove this big van. It was a big van all the way from the Midlands down to Wales. Anyway, wow. and I was like, this is alright. This is fine. And of course, you get your confidence, don't you, and whatnot. And on the way back, I was like, I need a coffee. I'm really tired. Went to a drive through thought, and of course, they've got those hangy down signs, yeah, yeah, yeah. haven't they? Oh, I see what you mean. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. The one that tells you the height you're meant to be. Yeah, absolutely. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I can get through there. Yeah, no problem. Good on. Oh, no. And it dragged all along the top of the van, I suppose. Thankfully, it was on a chain, though, so oh, right, it just okay. kind of bounced. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what was <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to climb up. Then I had to climb up to check there was no damage. Oh, there wasn't, course, though, surprisingly. Yeah, it's true. There you go. Um, anyway, I do, uh, sorry, I've no. got, got off on beaten track of night. Two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Linda, Linda, and Jay Marie. Hello to you, Tyne and where Jane in Lancashire again. Every single person. Um, Practically, anyway, has chosen to multi buy. Devon, Lancashire, Oxfordshire, hello to you. Brian, nice to see you. Um, make sure you check it out. It only had 50 of those left. If you weren't with us, um, it was just before nine o'clock, was it, or just after? Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, as, your, um, as your early bird, what an amazing deal. And we were talking about all your clothing brands, sort of saying, would they be that price tag? Highly mm. unlikely. Um, all the clear courts, and it's not just clear, because I've got blue coated, green coated, purple coated, yellow coated crackled um, all your deal day courts is available on pre-order and we will tell you every single round strand is that right every single round of the courts clear yellow purple 
green, blue, all under £10. Available on pre-order right. that would go perfectly with Mark's kits as well. They're coming up immediately after the break. Lovely jewellery makers, join Mark and I after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is... Email guestdesigner at jewellerymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewellery making, how long you've been making jewellery for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewellery Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Mark, you were posted some of the pieces from today's Deal of the Day showcase. And it is a showcase, it's not just one To strand. look at. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And you just can't, when you get sent things like this through the post, yeah, to look I mean, at. Yeah, dangle that carrot. Dangle that carrot. And, <laughs> um, and I just couldn't resist. So all day yesterday, I played with these. You just, you just at the end to stop. 
I just uh. love well. I love I love clear quartz and those rainbow quartz we got coming up. I used that's all four to make the kiss cross on the memory wire. Absolutely beautiful. And it looks so gorgeous. different to all yeah. the others, doesn't yeah, it? Completely. No, it's amazing. Um, it's nice to have these type of strands as a deal of the day. Because yeah. normally when it's a deal of the day, it's a bit more high end, it's a bit more exclusive. But to have, I don't want to say normal. Well, a bit more expensive. Yeah. Aren't but to, they? to have everyday strands as a deal yeah. of the day, we should do it more often. Oh, we've just said some of these like under £10. Yeah. How amazing yeah. is that? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's not a deal of the day per se, as in one auction. Mm. It's an entire showcase of, of deal of the days. Um, and we're talking about the beauty that is quartz. Now, quartz, I always say this sentence, but I always feel like it's, it's needed because there's this misconception of quartz, um, as in, ah, oh, quartz is abundant, as in, you know, it, it's something that, as a commodity, as a, a genuine gemstone, is not valuable, but actually, there's a really big difference between quartz as a, a gemstone and quartz as a mineral. Mm. So quartz is the second most abundant mineral on this planet, only second to that of your feldspar. Wow. But that mineral quartz we're talking looks looks like compact snow. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So really yeah. opaque, yeah. not necessarily yeah. a bit murky, a bit not necessarily something you would fashion into jewellery. Quartz as a gemstone looks like these. It's there's such a big difference between, and you know, it's quartz that we see in your expensive Swiss timepieces. Right. Time yeah, yeah. It's quartz that you see in the likes of your Chanel and many other designer, which I'll get to in a few seconds. And it's quartz that is this wonderful gemstone that is right up there on most scale. In terms of your colourless stones, firstly, and I always say about talk about this as well, there's very few that we can work with as jewellery makers, isn't there? You've got your mm. topaz, you've got your zircon, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's quartz. Very, very few. Well, in your zircon and your topaz, you're not going to get sizes like this. Well, <laughs> never say never, but if you do, they're going to be very, I'd very I'd love to expensive. see a 10 mil zircon round. Ooh, that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna that's, that's gonna weird. cost a pretty penny yeah. um and it's so beautiful i mean Love let's it. look let's just yeah. appreciate this even without you know that that free form even mm. without a single yeah. facet and it grows like that doesn't yeah, it yeah it's so cool yeah now can you see yeah. can you see um because this leads me perfectly into the our first of your dealer days which are the colored ones can you see that mm. areas of of rainbow yeah. beautiful isn't it now I've only learned this over the past couple of years. I didn't know this was the case. So when you see the rainbow colors within a quartz crystal, it's water that has been sort of trapped over millions of years. Oh, I didn't know that either. So there's water within that crystal and that's what produces right. that spectrum. Oh, I didn't know that either. It's fascinating, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm such a gem nerd, but so fascinating. And perhaps the inspiration behind the first, the, the first few strands. Now we have, Four. Did you say four? Yes, you did say four. Yeah. Four colours. Yellow, purple, um, turquoise so and green. So much. Already yeah. these are going on pre-order. So should we show them all together? I mean, look at that, Mark. I know. They're gorgeous. Can I bring your necklace over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Oh, I sent these. these. Here you are. Just have a little look at those, Just have Mark. a look at these. <laughs> <laughs> I've only used three of the strands. I didn't use the purple. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I use the green, the blue, and the uh, and the yellow. And you should be able to, if I hold it, can you see that it's, it's twisted? I've done three different stripes. Wow. It's like a, a maypole. But look at the colours coming off of that. I think the trickiest decision was which colour to use, metal. So I've gone for gold, because yeah. I, I love against the yellow. It absolutely yeah. works. Which one should we start with, Mark? Let's, you choose. Let's go for the yellow. Let's go for the yellow. Yes, the I was hoping you'd yeah. say that. I absolutely <laughs> love that. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. So this is genuine quartz, which has been coated. Firstly, by the way, please don't think it's lesser quality quartz because it's been coated. They wouldn't go through that process right. if it was no, lesser quality because no, you wouldn't have the same kind of bubble-like iridescence no. to it. You have to still have that pristine eye clean, like little dew drops, mm. um, cl uh, clear quartz, wrapped in these beautiful... Oh, it's, I love it because it's, 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 mm. it's golden, but it's not gold. Does that make well, sense? If I was looking at it and I didn't know what it was, I would say it was a new citrine they discovered called yeah. peach citrine. Yeah, nice. It is like a sunset. It looks like Prosecco, that sort of gold, like off-gold Prosecco colour. Very nice. First price crash under £20. Wow. 
Next price crash. Straight away, people getting involved on this one. It's a classy strand, this. Gorgeous. Yeah. With citrine would be lovely, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. £12.99. and pence. We've only got 100 available. Oh. oh. We are... Yeah, well, we, we, we made that statement, didn't we? I forgot about that. We made that statement that these are... It's going under £10. We've got 100 available. The clock is ticking. I've said it out loud. There are people already multi but Look, look at, at those. Look at the glow on your skin behind, look. <sighs> it's incredible. How beautiful. They are like little bubbles. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Magical. Absolutely magical. And it's a genuine gemstone with pristine clarity. I mean, under magnification's right there. If there was any mm. flaws, any imperfections, you'd see them, wouldn't you? They would stand out yeah, like a sore yeah, thumb. Yeah. And you wouldn't have that kind of lovely bubble-like iridescence. And because they're quartz as well, you've got really good sized drill holes as well. Oh, OK, perfect. So you use all your really thicker gauges of wire or your thicker cords. This knotted. I, decided, was, I thought, should I go knotted or should I go kiss cross? And I just thought, no, we'll go for kiss cross. If they'd sent you two strands, you'd have probably done yeah. one of each, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have done. It's dangerous them sending me things to have a look at. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that was, a, um, that was an open invitation there, I Mark, think it to was be honest. Well. Yeah, have a look at these, Mark. What do you Hinton think? You're give us, give us some feedback. <laughs> yeah, feedback on these you're going to make with them, aren't you? £9.99 pence only. We have 100 wow. available opportunities. I mean, it's beautiful. You could team this with your black, black spinel, black jade I think that would look yeah. lovely too, mm. black and gold. Use it alongside all of Mark's earlier kits, I think. Um, they'd be beautiful with something like, I don't know, turquoise. Um, mix them with your pastel gemstones. Under £10, the phone lines have gone crazy. You can shop ahead on the different colours of your court. Um, yeah, they're flying out the door, absolutely flying. I love this necklace, Mark. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. A bit of a lull. <laughs> OK, Ross is like, oh, it's Monday though, isn't it? Monday lull. The only way we can change lulls is with the price point. Mm. We have the power. We are already under £10. Can we go lower, though, physically? Is it meant to go lower? No, no. £9.99 is your price tag. <laughs> However, the only way that we can overcome a lull is this. <laughs> <laughs> point in the right direction is going lower than this. Shop up, stock up your stashes. Very few yellow gemstones. We said We're this off. earlier on, no, didn't absolutely. we? Yeah, you're right. Very, very few. Only really your citrines, I would say, or lemon quartz, possibly. But look at that lovely bubble-like iridescence. Um, in 33 seconds, good luck, everybody. We had a hundred of these. You can shop ahead on your blues, your greens, and your purples. Levels of paparaccia, mm. absolutely, would be ab stunning. Absolutely stunning. And they'll all mix perfectly together. You know, even your colourless, um, your pristine, eye clean, clear courts alongside these team it with all of your i don't know barrels it's just going to work with everything isn't it good luck everybody mary christina wiltshire west midlands kathy cheryl j marie gloria devon maker susan and uh, lancashire kim well done everybody good morning keep those messages coming through as well it's it's busy today it's monday so it's not the busiest no, no. of no, days no, but we've still got good quantity of them and when we're promising <gasps> this going even I further it was take a pound off that is low, isn't it? Yeah, for a deal of the day, that's that's pretty amazing. It's so important though that we appreciate that this is yeah. gem quality quartz. Yeah. You know, it's eye clean quartz, and it wouldn't be anything less. Although, well, mm. here anyway, it wouldn't be anything less because otherwise, there's no point in coating it. No, absolutely not. Because it would just look like an opaque mm. flat gemstone, and you wouldn't see that bubble-like iridescence. It's so beautiful, Mark, isn't it? With your kiss crosses, your malas, as you said. Yeah, just just a simple stretchy bracelets. Macrame. Really linked, macrame, everything. Beautiful. So lovely. And think about this just yeah. before Christmas as well. Yeah. Gold is like, very festive like, um, colour. Like we said with the tigers, I like gemstones that do all the work for you. Yeah. So you don't have to faff. You can do really simple techniques. Yeah. Because the, you want to showcase the gemstone. Amazing. Right, let's move on because we've got different colours to bring you as well. <gasps> let's do the purple. It's next. like an ombre, isn't it? So that's the darkest of them all. Um, here we go. We're going to do it in one price crash. We're not going to dilly dally. We've got lots to squeeze in in this hour. So you know oh, they're going popular. under £10. <laughs> yeah, straight away collectors getting involved. Purple always is a popular colour. Lovely. This alongside your, your kit mm. with the darker mm, colours. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I think it would be lovely. Yeah. You know it's going under £10. Have I got the same quantity then, Roscoe? 
Look at that. <gasps> That's amazing. Magical. I and it's a genuine gem. Day. Yeah. I could watch that all day, that recording. It's they look amazing. like they're suspended, don't they? Do. they? yeah. The, the, the clarity is absolute perfection. So that reflection is showing you the entirety of the bead, isn't it? And yeah. There's, there's not an inclusion at all. It's absolutely shows you perfect. Shows you the underside as yeah, well, doesn't yeah, it? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you're ready to check out. We've got 100 of these as well. Uh, Multi-buyers. I, I, I like the fact that I know we're not even in October yet, but these, I, you mm. could turn them into quite festive pieces Easy. as well, couldn't yeah. you? Because yeah. they have that level of sort of sparkle and magic within them. Under £10, lovely jewellery makers, and not just by a little bit either, £7.99 only. Amazing. For me, that's like the strand, the price of the strand. No, in fact, it's even better than that. But if these were in a bundle, they'd be more than that, mm. wouldn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. We had 100. Uh, Kim, and Karen, Helen, Maker in Kent, Wiltshire, Ali, Gloucestershire, hello to you. Uh, Greater Manchester, Cheshire, Shirley, Norma, hello to you. Mary, Lynette, hello to you. Sheila, Ali, loads of you getting involved. Hi, Cody. Hello, Sheila. Check out your baskets. 100 carats of beautiful, beautiful hypnotic purples. Multi buyers getting involved. Look at the call screens. There you all are. We'd hit that lull, Ross. <laughs> and you're right, you overcame that lull with a £7.95 price. There is price reason budget. in my madness of the colours I'm choosing cause, because I know the viewers quite well. Yeah. So I'm thinking of, of I'm building up to what I think is going to be the most popular. Is there method? So there is. Certainly is, yeah. There is and it's method. working, it's working. There you go. I think yeah. I can guess which I think is going to be your <laughs> number one. Um, but I've loved them all. I do like the gold too. Mm. On to the next, mm. on to the next. Green. Oh, see, now I was going to say the other uh, way around. That's interesting. I love yeah. the green. This is One lovely. minute warning. These are flying on pre-order. Look how pretty this colour is. It's gorgeous. This one with the gold for me. Yeah. Those two together. Look how lovely mm. that is. Beautiful. That's almost Paraba, mm. isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And again, look how clear those stones are. Yeah. Absolutely faultless. It's a, it's a tone of green we yeah. don't see very yeah. often, is it? It's it's one of those. This has been the most popular so far. I'm not. I, I yeah. I love this one too. Yeah, I absolutely amazing. love it. Pristine, eye clean clarity. The phone lines have gone crazy. I know why you've picked the last, saved that last one. <laughs> I know why. Um, and you know it's guaranteed under £10, jewellery makers. The only issue is we've got 100. 100 might seem like loads. It's not. Not for jewellery maker. We've got people shopping all around the world. Half the stock has already gone. Well done. Helen, Christina, Kim, Sarah, Karen. Yeah, sometimes we just need to be woken up into our, uh, um, into our auctions. I get it. We go into that little lull, don't we? Especially on a Monday morning. This as, is I, how as, we I, um, as I said earlier, it's so lovely to see Deal of the Days under 10 quid. True, it's it is a so rarity, lovely. isn't it? It's lovely. Because yeah, it's, it's normally they are, like I say, a, an yeah. item, one item, one auction yeah, no, that's, that's a certain price point. And they'll always endeavour to bring you the best deals, of mm. course, we, and yeah. I think we achieve that day after yeah. day. But yeah, under £10, mm. that's exciting. Lovely. And also, this is why we opened the show this morning, Mark, by saying that this is old school jewellery yeah. maker. This no, is what completely. you've been, you've been yeah. shouting out about getting more affordable strands. Here's your opportunity yeah. to, to absolutely make hay while the sun shines. Seven ninety nine. lots of multi-buyers there. West Midlands, and Janice, Shirley, Mariska, Ali, Brenda, Susan, Sarah, Alison, Jacqueline, Northampton, Mary, Dawn, and uh, Veronica. Well done. The last of your beautiful coated quartz is the blue. Love Ooh, Pourquoi? I love it. Because you get this, unlike all the other strands, each, each gemstone is completely different to its neighbour. This has probably got the most uniqueness of all of the strands we've got. It's blue. Oh, look at this, look. You're right, Mark. <laughs> you are right. Oh, look at this. The beautiful oh, blues. Oh, it's like tanzanite is blue, isn't it? Amazing. Beautiful. And it's still a genuine gemstone. Yeah. I don't know many places in the world that actually bring you, bring you uh, um, this that. iridescent coating. It's not just a, an opaque coating, no, is it? It's, no. An iridescent, almost like mystic topaz. Mm. Yes, actually, yes. Um, and under ten pounds, under a tenner. So you can get all four no. for what is it? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Thirty-two. Thirty-two yeah. pounds. Yeah. How amazing is that for all four strands? Yeah. So if I had this on my stall, oh, shut you! You're making me want my stall even more now. I, I, really, I do. I really miss craft fairs. 
I'd have that on for 125. I think it would fly out. Get a nice spotlight down on it to yeah. show the colours. And, and every, every time it's moved, it just iridesces. Is that a word, iridesces? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, 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 little some yeah. strategic spots. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, Mark. You should do one, you know. I know. Just, just do a one-off. I priced yeah. up, actually, yeah. the um, Christmas... Uh, the, when I had my jewellery business, actually, I priced up the German um, market in Birmingham, oh, yeah. which is yeah. obviously big. Mm. But the thing is, you have to commit to the full-time. Mm. Um, and it's not as expensive as you, th as you think, when you th mm. the footprint that you obviously get yeah. there. Yeah. Um, amazing. Seven ninety nine only. Yeah, I can imagine you doing a craft yeah. event somewhere like Blenheim Palace. With all these I looked pieces. into Blenheim Palace Christmas event. Did you? Yeah. I bet that's expensive. Four days, and again, you have to take on the whole four days, three and a half thousand pounds. Birmingham wasn't that expensive. For the, for the stall, well, for the, you get a room. A room? You get a room, yeah. That's pretty incredible though, isn't it? Yeah. Three and a half thousand pounds! You sell a lot of jewellery. <laughs> yeah, to make that up, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 7 99 well done. Multi buyers getting involved on this yeah. as well. Yeah, you don't have to have that out. That's no. quite a big outlay, isn't it? Yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah. Go to a Christmas market. I'm sure yeah. they're much cheaper than yeah. that, aren't they? Yeah. Um, okay, let's now dive into your clear. Now, all these um, are under a tenner as well, aren't they? What? Okay, right. 10 millimeters. So is that this one, the biggest? Mm. Oh my goodness me, I'm going to take them all off here. Oh, you've got all four sizes. I want to see who's watching, says Roscoe. 10 mil, look at that, like little dewy drops. They're gorgeous, aren't they? First price crash. You know your demo? Yeah, yeah, Pop a few perfect. Of these in there. Yeah, you've got all the sizes there. These so have you got a four there? Yeah, you've got four, you've got four, Fours. six, eight. Yeah, do 10 for your, your substations, yeah. <gasps> oh, brilliant. We are starting at £9.99. pence. Like I said earlier on, there's very few clear colourless gemstones that we can actually bring to air here at Jewelry Maker, other than, I'm not saying exclusively, but really it's your topaz, your zircon and your quartz, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You don't find 10 millimetre zircons and topaz, or if you not do, they're more chance. expensive, <laughs> very much so. Um, we are starting for your 10 mils at £9.99. pence. Similarly, and I know I've mentioned this already, but it's so important. Quartz is a mineral, it's very opaque, compact, a little bit dirty, not really something that you would um, commission into jewellery, whereas uh, quartz as a gemstone is pristine, like little, like, like perfect droplets of water. We're at £8.99 for the and largest size. Pence, the largest si oh, yeah. Could this be an avalanche? Um, it will be an avalanche, amazing. So oh, that brilliant. means that every strand is going to be less than 8 99 yeah. moving forward. So if you've got your eye on the 8 mil or the 6 mil or the 4 mil, you know it's going to be 8 99 or less. Amazing. Or is it? 7 99 or less. That's crazy. It is ridiculous, isn't it? Can I just... Yeah. That is ridiculous. What? what? We've got three more strands to go yet. See, look at the glow. Look at the glow on your skin, look. Reflections. That's phenomenal. Um, Ross, how many have you got of these? 200 available. <laughs> we always need colourless stones we as do. well, don't we? Yeah, we go with absolutely everything in our stash, don't yeah. we? Everything. Same and with I know the same with a black stone. Yeah, yeah, you need your yeah. monochromes. Yeah. Um, in this, should we, should we flick through that presentation, Roscoe? Because it actually talks about, yeah, here we go. If you limit your, your idea of a white gemstone to diamonds, you might associate white gemstones meaning with love and commitment, but white gemstones represent much more. Although different white stones types vary in meaning, most symbolize clarity, purity, and ascension. White and colorless crystals are great healing stones, particularly for awakening consciousness, as their spiritual nature makes them symbolic of a higher state. Maybe that's why angels have white wings, why ancient Romans uh, uh, priestesses wore white, why clouds are white, why wedding dresses are white, or why the light shiny in the early hours of the day is often white. I know, I know, I know. It's, it, it is though, but there's so many, it's more, the reason why I'm reading all these is more than diamonds, isn't there? There is Absolutely. more than yeah, diamonds yeah. out there. But if we flip forward, um, 
It talks about, here we go, a bit more of the Seven. factual sides of things. Yes. Clear quartz is a, a transparent clear stone that reflects gorgeous colours when light bounces off it. Although they might be see-through, they're certainly not weak. Maybe that's why they're a zodiac stone uh, for fiery Aries. Sporting seven ranking on the Mohs scale, clear quartz gemstones um, are some of the strongest colourless stones. There we go. Amazing, amazing. Um, okay, let's now step into your eight millimetres. Knowing that, we went to what was it? 6 .99. Sorry, I didn't even look up then, sorry. 6 .99. That's crazy. Let's do it in one price crash, shall we? On to the 8 millimetres, now you're talking about mm. your Marlas. Yeah. They're your accenting stones, aren't they? As a jewellery maker, these are our accenting stones. This is our opportunity to put that diamond-like brilliance or clarity within. No messing around, we're going to go straight down to it. It's a whole hour of deal of the days for you, jewelry makers. We've got quartz in different varieties, or showcase, I should say. We've even got some of your crackle quartz in there. And I know that you've had some. On, the, on this PowerPoint, there's a photograph of a, um, a Chanel necklace. One of the first ones it was. There. There you go. Wow. Um, here we go. 2,100 US dollars. But do you notice they're quite opaque? They are, aren't they? Yeah, not as clear as ours. With rosary linking. Yeah. $2,100. Let's do it in one price crash. You could make that, couldn't you? Look at the difference. The difference in quality. Compact ice, compressed snow, absolutely. Yeah. You can kind of see that. So theirs is more of the mineral, whereas yours is, is gem pristine quality. £5.99 is just ridiculous, isn't it? What's Gripoix? Gripoi? Gripois? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that so is I either. I don't know how you pronounce it. I haven't got a clue. Gripoi, yeah. beaded, two strand. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I'm not entirely sure. That was that was in 2015. Wow. But let's flick through because there's some nicer pieces than this, to be honest. Um, look at that one. Lovely, simple, stretchy bracelet. Oh, it's Parisian glass. 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 So just call it that, Parisian yeah, glass. Yeah. Fifty-five pounds for that stretchy bracelet that we just showed you as well. Um, there's a lovely long line necklace in this presentation as well. I want to show you. Look those. Here we go. Now I know they're the pendulum, if you like, but I did think they're very jewellery yeah, maker esque, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, Thirty-three yeah. pounds. I didn't think that was bad. Um, let's step into the six mil, the desert island size. Perfect to go alongside. Mark your kiss crosses. Absolutely. And if you want to do that, um, that bracelet, mm. we've, we've got four. Oh, did you this say? one? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, we've got four coming up i'd grab five strands of the four mils and just make lots of these with wow. all sorts of colors of sea bees yeah beautiful. And as, and as i said i demoed it on friday so if you go back on friday's show after watch today, it on youtube yeah, can't you yeah. how lovely is that yeah imagine yeah. it with those yeah. um in 56 seconds but you know this is an avalanche effectively unofficially but it is an avalanche so what was the last price that we went to 5.99 ross mm. we're talking about gem quality quartz here pristine bad. not included not opaque not matte not blurring Imagine getting getting four strands of this and doing a kiss cross over the head like the selenite oh, wow. with a you know little black dress christmas dudes incredible and yeah and people recognise clear quartz yeah. as a valuable commodity. I mean, like we said, Chanel uses it. Yeah, wear it to special occasions yeah. like open houses open and houses. Yeah. balls, like the gems ball that's on the horizon. In nine seconds, the previous price point, lovely jewellery makers, was what, $5.99? We're bringing you the desert island size with pristine clarity, four ninety nine only. My goodness me, that's absolutely incredible. Um, the quality that you're seeing here. Again, I love each of these pieces. That's why they tend to get included within um, within my uh, sort of presentations and powerpoints, etc. But again, thirty three pounds. Look how lovely that is. That, 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 that necklace there, it's alongside rose quartz, I think. But can you see in the actual prism itself, mm. quite cloudy? Quite cloudy at the top, yes. Yeah. Still lovely, don't get me wrong. Still really lovely. Oh. We're at 4 99 for your six millimetre strand. Absolutely amazing. Mark, how many of these uh, bracelets do you reckon I can make out of one of these strands? The, the six mil is probably slightly larger 
too deep, too big, so you need the four mil for the bracelet. So this is your matching so, necklace. So this would be for your kiss cross. Yeah. Without a doubt. Oh. And you need nine for a station. Nine okay. beads. Nine so beads. You, so you can get quite a few stations out of one of those. Wow, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Well, shop ahead on your four millimeters if yeah. you want to recreate Mark's beautiful design. I think it's going to sell out the four mil. I think a mile off, you can tell. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's available on yeah. pre-order right now, and it is like I said, we've said about multiple times before. And I know you've seen a bit of clear courts in the lead up today. It's only because we nagged and nagged and nagged and yeah. nag to get clear courts back in stock right the last of your clear court showcase is that right can I, can I be really rude and interrupt and produce from the floor please you know where our jewelry is kept from the shows yeah. around the corner i've actually got the, the, that bracelet from friday the black the uh, with the court. do you yeah it's, it's in one of the bags from saturday sorry dan and you'll see that you'll see the bracelet that you've made that i made the last courts, oh. like, yeah the last of your clear courts. Look, look, told you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, Devon's got five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it in one price crash. They are yeah. perfection, aren't they? Mm. There's nothing I would do to alter that strand. Nothing at all. No. Oh. Four pound. That's ridiculous, honestly. I would Genuine have thought gems. the smaller the bead, the more expensive it would be because it must be quite difficult to actually produce. And wasteful. The smaller, the smaller. Well, the naturally, they form. The you can get all of these, Mark, all four, mm -hmm. for £22. All of this for £22. That's a lot of jewellery that you can create out of it. We, would we do a bundle for that price no. tag? No. No. What? This is madness. And that's why it's your deal of the day, you know. That's why it's deal of the day. Oh my goodness me, Mark, that's incredible. So this is, this is the bracelet that I demo last Friday. This is using crackled quartz, but it's exactly the same as this quartz. And you can put, and you can put absolutely any color with the clear. Wow. Mm. That's crazy. Okay, amazing. Well done, everybody. It's beautiful, isn't it? So watch back on YouTube yeah. for Friday Just Gone. Um, okay, that's all you're under 10. Next up, we're going to bring you Crackled Quartz, which we were starved of for I don't know how long, weren't we? Um, if you... Uh, uh, let me just part, put that there, because yeah. I need to reach for this one second. Um, this, I, I, when I got this strand, again, to have a look at, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. Do you remember carrier beads I do. back in the day? But they were plastic. They were plastic, yep. Yeah. These are crackle quartz. So what I've done is I've, yeah, they're triangle tubes. They're amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. So I've, I've made little 11 black little belts to go around them. And there are, oh. there are 30, 36 rows. They only take 10 minutes to make, yeah. All we could yeah. purchase was 30. And then I've got very fine five millimeter double-sided sticky tape. That I did a little, that I've secured around the bead, and that is really secure. You can glue them on if you want to as well, but uh, oh I, my I goodness! Just, taste, just made a, a knotted marla. Let me. And this is using the eight, six, and four mil quartz that we've just bought. They are gorgeous, well. but so much better than the plastic yeah. carrier beads, yeah. aren't they? They're gorgeous. Um, they let me just look. explain how they create crackled quartz because it is quartz. Obviously, they take the finest eye clean quartz, like the strands we've yeah. just seen. They heat it up to a very high temperature and then like an ice cube, they quench it. So you know that sound that you sometimes yeah. hear when your ice cube crackles and mm. cracks? That's what they do with the gemstone. Um, after that quenching, um, it is a stable gem, but you get these wonderful internal sparkles, which wouldn't have originally been there. I mean, look, take a little look up close. I love the shape of these. Never seen anything like. It. We should do this for shaping lots of gemstones. I think. I think it'd be really popular. Yeah. They look like they look like um, silver leaf oh, suspended do, inside, yes. don't they? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now there's only thirty, so you need to be quick on these. Oh no. And we're going to go straight down to that price point. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at the size of the drill holes too. Really good. Two mil. Oh. You can get your two. You can get the can two you? on your lever. Yeah. Yeah, you could use them as pendulums, you absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tops of tassels you could use them for yeah. as well. £19.99. These are big crackle cords. Cool. Brand yeah. new, oh, no. but we only were able to purchase. Yeah, the reality, if we had like 200, that this would be the deal so of the day. That's probably why I was told to look at them 
and not use them maybe. Yeah, but again, don't go. dangle a carrot. No, no, I suppose If not. you're going to dangle a carrot, then you've got to expect it to get eaten. It's going <laughs> to get eaten, isn't it? I mean, that's the simple stretchy with the, with the um, eight mil rounds in between with just black 8-0. And you can see the black thread running through, so you can see how clear that is. It's just beautiful. Well Amazing. Done. 1999 West Midlands Carol Stella Alison Collette mm. Manchester hello to Kathy uh, hello to Lynn Norma Dorothy Susan Sheila Karen Collette Wendy beautiful there's only 30 those are extremely exclusive it's all about the play of light with crack yeah, reports isn't a doubt, it without a doubt. you know they're just gorgeous if you if, if the gemstone's not going to give you sort of mm. fire and dispersion mm. Um, which you need facets to, or brilliance if you like, um, you need facets to do that. Here's an alternative, that crackling technique, but you have to have the finest, pristine, eye clean clarity. £19.99, pence. well done everybody, make sure you are checking out your baskets. Amazing, amazing, gorgeous, amazing. Um, okay, shall we do last of stock strawberry quartz? Yes, please. I love this stone. Stunning, isn't it? How many? There was a hundred and one hundred and nine. Wow. Now That's we've a nice got size. nine. It is. It's a. Mm. It's one of the bigger bangles. Yeah, so yeah. Um, and it's circular. So yeah. look at where we're starting from. Now this wow. is totally natural strawberry quartz. I can't believe we're saying this, but quartz, quartz, strawberry quartz in particular is the rarest colour because as a gemstone family, it doesn't naturally form in red. However, little tiny hematite inclusions within this gemstone is what's produced this natural colour. It's not bleaching and dying. Um, but you pay a price point for strawberry quartz. We've, sold, we, we've shown you pieces sold at auction, haven't we, for thousands mm, of pounds. Yes, yeah. We were able to purchase just over 100 of these, and we're down to the final nine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> at 149 pounds, it is like strawberry jam, isn't it? It is. It is. It's perfect. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? All natural, mm. like tiny little pips. Um, yeah, been sold at Sotheby's, Bonhams, and usually it's just specimens that are not necessarily carved. And we've shown pieces in the past, like that were about £3,000, I think, for a, a three-inch specimen. Now, this was our previous closing price, is that right? Oh, I beg your pardon, it's where it was supposed to close on launch. And then, that's right, Dave had the wheel, didn't he? Oh, gosh. Uh, the wheel deal, he span it, not really knowing what, what it did. And we took it to a lower price point. I think, if I remember rightly, it was quite obscure, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very obscure. It's the wheel deal. Yeah. That wheel deal price wasn't meant to be matched, by the way. It was only meant to be one of those one-show wonders. Um, there's nine of them left. Um, you can get it home today for thirty pounds and ten pence only. Beautiful strawberry quartz, and um, one of the larger of the bangle, and you've got a full uh, sort of circular. It's very durable, then I'm assuming, if it's um, seven. Seven. Seven on the most scale. Yeah. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. Actually, perfect foot to wear as a bangle. Um, make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. There's only nine. We're going to do close out deals of your faceted strawberry quartz. Do you have that information, Roscoe? Because we've shown it in the past, haven't we? Like little specimens of strawberry quartz, and I do mean kind of this kind of size, that have sold at auction at very much considerable prices, because I don't want you to think that all quartz is like £10, because it's absolutely not, especially your strawberry quartz, because this is a natural colour, it's not coated, it's not dyed, and it is a rare, uh, a rarity within the gemstone world to get reds in quartz. Um, now, there's less than 20 of each of these faceted strands, and I'm going to show you them all together. Oh, that graduated. They're gorgeous, aren't they? With like a rose? Yeah. Would you say rose mm. rose gold? Yeah, I think so. Mark, I'm putting this this side. Oh, it's your fours again. Mmm, that look amazing. I like it with the appetite, actually. Works quite well. Less than 20 available of each, though, so you will need to be quick. I'm starting with the largest of the size, 10 millimetre rounds. Here we go. Uh, here's an example of a strawberry quartz. Look at the colour wow. of this specimen that's sold at auction for three thousand US dollars. See those little little pips inside? Wow. That's what you you're looking for, and it says a rare quartz for the collectors. This is an exemplary specimen of one of the most important varieties of included quartz. That's what you are sourcing here. 
beautiful, beautiful rarity. Here we go. Um, what looks like a cabochon or a single bead, I don't really know. Um, very opaque. Yeah, lovely needle-like inclusions. But look at the price tag. 5,600. Oh, it's an estimate even. Um, to $7,400, which means it would probably have sold more than that back in 2018. Again, 2006 sold for 1,135. It's a cat's eye strawberry court. So those hematite inclusions have produced that phenomenal effect. Again, particularly rare. Another specimen here sold for, let's, wow. 2,404 pounds in 2009. Um, and they talk about the rarity. The court specimen lives up to its name, beautiful color, reminiscent of strawberry jam another piece and don't be don't be confused by the sizes these are if you look usually it says at the bottom of the screen they're like a couple of centimeters high they're not big at all look at the price tag two thousand pounds it's sold for these are faceted you've got that wonderful rich natural color first price crash there are less than 20 available. Split pay is available, but we are going to surpass the split pay. We were reminiscing there. earlier, weren't we, about, about childhood sweets. I mean, the, this is just cola cubes, isn't it? Oh, Do you remember? Yes. It's just perfect color for cola cubes. And it's all mm. natural. I'm going to show you something. Now, this strand launched here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, good day to watch today then at 69.99 with a split payment but today we're not even stopping there there are less than 20 of these available it's a close out deal well 20 is not a viable quantity no. for us to have in the vault is it oh my what? goodness me <laughs> like 10 percent off would have been ample i wow, think roscoe but off. you've not far off halved no, it no. How amazing. There's 20 available jewellery makers. These are big sizes as well. 10 millimetres and faceted. That's Unbelievable. Cool. You've taken a £30 price tag off. When you yeah. make comparisons to... Yeah. Oh, look, that... Here we go. That's One suitable for a ring, they say. <laughs> oh, do they? Yeah. There you go. Mounting suitable as a ring. Mounting yeah. as a ring. And sure to serve as a conversation piece. This gorgeous high wow. dome stone display doesn't even give the measurements, do no, they? It's about the no. strawberry quartz, the rarity of the actual gemstone itself. Um, take full advantage of this price, collectors. Absolutely wow. amazing. Yeah, even non-faceted variety. I was exactly the same. Ross has just said, I remember when I first started in the gemstone world, I was always told red quartz is impossible. Um, naturally, same as we thought blue garnet was was, oh, was yes. impossible. Yeah, yeah. And then Mother Nature throws up these opportunities, but they are highly, highly, highly rare. Um, yeah, it's almost like to prove a point, isn't it? Take advantage of these deals. Make sure you check out. I've still got two strands still to bring you. Susan, Joe, a maker. Sorry, Devon, maker. London, Gillian, you're there as well. Let's dive into the eight mil, shall we? What do you That's reckon? Amazing. Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got less than 20, so you will need to be quick. And I'm going to keep my hand there because I'm thinking of a four mils for the matching bracelet. Does that work? Four mils. This is the necklace. This is the necklace. Yeah, look. Perfect. Oh, my goodness me. Wow, wow, wow. Good luck. Eight millimetres. These were the tens that we've just brought you, but if you want to create that lovely graduation... Amazing. That's why I had that behind then, to create the matching necklace. 29.99! Goodness me, that's absolutely... <laughs> we got there in the end, Adam, didn't we? <laughs> no, listen, that was me. You're kind of like uh, thinking you're psychic. Sorry, Adam, I do apologise. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? Sorry, Adam. Um, 29.99, well done, Shirley, Devon, Alison, Maker. New customers getting involved, amazing. With those little pips, those little natural hematite pips that you can see. I didn't realise they were hematite. 
Yeah. Inclusion. Do you remember the launch yeah. of Moroccan Amethyst? Mm, yeah, yeah. So the reason why Moroccan Amethyst was so ex so exciting gemologically was because they'd never seen Amethyst like it before because it had flames and those flames uh. are hematite. Oh. So um, gets around a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. I know. Um, yeah. Let's bring you the four millimetres to complete your strawberry quartz closeout deals, jewellery makers, um, in your faceted variety. So, Mark, is there anything stopping me doing this? Absolutely not. It's perfect. Any of your four mil. And then you've got that extra detail because these are faceted as well. So that's going to be incredible, isn't it? Wow. I wonder, Mark, if... Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It well. that's there it is. Yeah. Mix them all up. Uh, oh, yeah, that'd be amazing. You do chevron patterns or oh, crosses beautiful. and all sorts of things. Yeah. If you got involved with the four millimeter clear quartz, I think you need to mm. complement yeah. it with the strawberry. And just use one or two if you like. We're going to do it in one price crash. I've got 17 available. Devon's already snapped up two. Amazing. Um, yeah, if any of you have made pieces uh, like this following on from Mark's uh, show on Friday, then do send them into the Wall of Fame because they're absolutely beautiful. I gravitated towards these bracelets. 1999 wow. for strawberry quartz. Goodness me. Again, there is a big difference between quartz that is dyed and quartz that is natural. This is totally natural. There is no enhancement to it whatsoever. It is a rarity. As we said, as we showed you in those in those lots, you can tell they're auction houses, can't you? Because they call them lots. lots. Yeah. Lot number three, uh, 3,238 is strawberry quartz. Um, but they talk about the fact that this is hugely, hugely collectible. Um, massive closeout deals for you all, though. Kent, Maker, Kathy, Devon, new customers getting involved. This is a gemstone that features on our sister channel quite significantly. Is it? Oh. Yeah. They've got um, a very, you know, a, a beautiful strawberry quartz uh, collection. Right. So that's all of your quartzes for this hour, but there is still so much to bring you. Um, we've got master classes or master classes of dreams mm. coming up. Um, but between now and oh. <sighs> now and the top of the hour, should I put that there? Yeah. Them all together. <laughs> Why not? Um, wow. Goodness me. That's huge. Goodness me, this strand's incredible. Is this new? Look at this. I feel like I'd remember this strand. Has it been on with me? Goodness me, look at this quality. Oh, look at 15, 15 wherever purchased. Ah, I, I know. Is this the one that Dave had to trade gemstones to get? I thought so. Oh. Look at the quality of this colour. That is amazing. That's perfection, isn't mm. it? If we were to, you know, if we're going to use imperial green as an indicator, like, okay, translucency, colour, this is the imperial of the Olmec. I've got five available. Last of stock opportunities, jewelry makes. Look at that. You've got the perfect balance of translucency and natural colour. We know that Olmec only forms um, in Guatemalan jade, of course. And these are huge. These are absolutely huge. Uh, Stanley Yu, he's very charismatic, he isn't he? He certainly is. I like his little top knot there. Yeah, I like the cut. I yeah. like the, it's, it's like the cut of his jib. Yes. That's what it's called. Yeah. What, is that this bit? Yeah. Yeah. And there he is with Dave. Yeah. Um, and he said he's one of the most influential individuals in the jade world. He actually said the future is Guatemala because we know that imperial green jade is not coming from, uh, from Burma. And here's a, a, a quote directly from Stanley who says, the only thing more valuable than a bangle is a matching strand. This is the most expensive jewelry in the world. We have sold type AJ strands for over 10 million US dollars. Goodness me. Well, this is talking about wow. consistency and matching. Yeah. That's Gorgeous. The Olmec, uh, Olmec or Guatemalan jade mar uh, make market, sorry, I think it is, uh, sorry, start again. The Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma wow. grade and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. This material is the best investment because it is still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. 
Wow. So it's not location, it's not no. country of origin, which is once upon a time what we were. You did used to sort of drive at price points. A piece like this, look, he's holding Olmec as the as we uh, you know in this photograph. A piece like this would be priced at the top end of the necklace value, top translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted colour and glassy texture. This is an exquisite piece. Such a uh, such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. Wow. The problem is very few like this reach the market. Too many. Uh, fault lines um, so are very expensive so look at the quality of that necklace look at what we are bringing you right now we haven't yet opened the auction and I'm gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say it's gonna be affordable look this is more considered this is for the collectors and the connoisseurs the high-end jewelers but we will bring it to you at the best possible price we can Stanley says a lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. This has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia as it is also listed as uh, Fei Chi, I hope I pronounced that right, which was historically reserved exclusively oh. for only Burmese jade. Wow. The thing is, it, it's as coveted. There is no preference. You have, we will never bring you Imperial Green, but we can bring you Imperial Guatemalan. You'll never have a chance to get the this grade. We've said it's irreplaceable. We didn't buy it with you know, cash from the, from, from, from the purse strings. This was traded. There were only 15 ever, uh, ever acquired. I've got five of them available for you. A huge opportunity for the collectors and connoisseurs. We haven't seen Guatemalan jade, this strand in particular, since, what, well, for six weeks. It's been under lock and key until, uh, since then. Not it. Use it with an 18 karat gold or a platinum clasp. That's the reality. First one going to London. Congratulations to you. They're huge as well. Probably some of the biggest yeah. Olmec jade that we've actually brought to air. Nine and a half millimeters. And you know what? I know there'll be people going to cut. Yeah, right, L. 31,000. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, look. We, Stanley Yu, who is considerably more knowledgeable than any of us here across the entire Gemporia partnership about jade. Mm. And, and he's saying, look, get it now. It's it. It's like imperial price points moving forward. So yeah, that's not unrealistic, and that's not us saying that. That's Stanley Yu saying that. One of the most individual, sorry, influential individuals in the jade world. Obviously, we're not stopping there. London, Devon, Cumbria. Let's start making this to weigh your jewelry maker price point. That's his. That's his jewelers, by the way. Oh, is it? That's his jewelers. Uh, jewelers, yeah. Ilya, uh, House of Imperial Green, Timeless Rarity, Endless Love. So, I mean, look at that. That that, that necklace that you're seeing. There's tens of millions of pounds. Yeah, because they used to be a jade. They they used to trade in jade. And obviously now they can't trade because no. nothing's coming from no, the, from the market. Right. So what jade yeah. they have got. They've opened their own jewelry house. Amazing, isn't it? Um, and he's, you know, highly, highly respected. So Ilya, founder Stanley Chu, is determined to change people's mind about jadeite for, through contemporary designs and education. Um, he says, while my classmates played with toy cars and Lego, I played with jadeite, says Stanley, co-founder of jadeite jewelry uh, of Ilya. He shares his fond memories as we sit in his landmark boutique in, uh, in Central, which opened earlier in the year. Starting Ilya was, in a way, a long time coming. Chu's family had been in the jade business for more than 60 years, but largely um, in the uh, often unseen and low-key business of wholesale. So why not? It's what he knows. Yeah. It's what he knows. 60 years of, uh, of, of knowledge into uh, one amazing brand. It, need, it made sense. And like I said, Dave's got a fantastic relationship with, uh, with Stanley. Um, and he said, you know, it was like a sponge just talking to Stanley. He went into mines alongside Stanley. And, and he shows that story about him saying, right, you know what? Here's my opportunity to own Imperial Jade. And Dave says, have you got any that I can get mates rates potentially? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll send you a message. Yeah. This is tiny, tiny, tiny. £4,000 for the tiniest mates, rate. mates rates. Yeah. 
You're talking about 300 carats of natural translucent Imperial Olmec Jade. They are, it's probably the biggest strand that I've brought to wear. And we're in a triple figure price tag. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say that that's not a considered amount of money. Of course it is. However, for what we're buying, oh, it's an amazing deal. An absolutely incredible deal. Can you imagine, in its infancy, Imperial Jade, going back millions, uh, thousands of years, can you imagine getting the opportunity of purchasing Imperial Jade, what price it was then, comparably? That's the kind of opportunity we have right now, is to purchase your Guatemalan Olmec at a more affordable price tag. We know that the entire Chinese market has relocated to Guatemala, which means the quality is going to go up, well, it's on our screens right now, as is the price. We're not stopping at 999. I think it's, it's the first time that many of us have been introduced to the colour as well. I've never yeah. seen this colour before. It's very distinctive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But Oh, my goodness, £649. <laughs> um, it's 300 carats. We only ever purchase 15 of them. That tells you again that that's the rarity of what... Wow. Look, Stanley Yu is not going to have 15 strands of Imperial Green. You know, we are lucky, very, very, very fortunate to have that quantity. I've got five left within the vault, down to three already. I mean, make, let's make a comparison for one second. Um, go to the Ridingers, who rediscovered. We've got, we should be eternally grateful to the Ridingers um, for rediscovering this amazing gemstone back in the 1980s. Their Mary Lou ring, whilst lovely, is very grainy. Do you see where I'm coming yeah. from? It's not yeah. gemmy, it's not translucent, very grainy. Hasn't, it's got colour zoning, so can you see the lighter areas at the top? Not ideal. This is gem, top, grade. We have more than enough people on the web and on the phone lines to sell this entire strand. I've got three left. And seven of you with it in your baskets. We're going to take this lower. I would love to say that we have quantity. We don't. We, and we never will have quantity of this quality. Five today. We only ever had 15. Oxfordshire, well done. Devon, well done. I've got three left in the world. One minute, and then we're going to take it to your deal price. These are the largest on a full 38 centimetre strand that we have. When we launched Olmec, we, we did them in the 18-centimetre right, yes. lengths, didn't we? That's right. Now, you've got an additional 20 cent centimetres. It is that full strand that Stanley Yu was holding in those photographs. But instead of being your imperial green, remember, the future is Guatemala. We're in its infancy. It's all about your, uh, your beautiful uh, imperial Olmec. Do you see this photograph here? They're holding a slice, a sliver of Olmec with the light source behind. Um, if I had my phone, I don't know, Dan, have you got your phone next? you um, I'd show you that same amazing translucency this is an opportunity for the collectors and the connoisseurs I don't want you to miss out even if you want to use those 30 days just to you know I don't know agree with what I'm saying get a second opinion I've got two of these left look at that translucency if it didn't have the translucency then the light source would not light up the whole bead Originally only 15 in the world. The very last two. £499, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. And I'm not saying that's not a considered price point. Of course it is. It definitely is to me. But you could add zeros to, I don't know, listen, moving forward, who knows, in, what, 10 years this is going to be valued at? It's not going to be 499 no. What it's valued at right now? Right now, the entire Chinese jade market has relocated. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. For, can you try and get an imperial green strand of this size on split payment? It's just not going to happen, is it? Just not going to happen. Good luck, everybody. It's beautiful. I've got collectors getting involved as well. You uh, Utilise your 0% interest. We are waiting on confirmations. I've got Tracy, Cumbria, Amanda, Manchester, Greater London, and I can see Norfolk. 
Um, all coming in for final two. That's it. Uh, you know, you will get your 30 day money back guarantee. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, you could absolutely go and get a second opinion. Please do, though, make sure you're talking to somebody that is knowledgeable about Jade. You know, no disrespect intended here. This is uh, something that, uh, listen, I know very little about comparatively to someone like Stanley Yu. Uh, Stanley Yu. My goodness me at 124.75. London, Norfolk, Oxfordshire and Devon... Sorry, you can take us down to that last one. Don't be put off by that quantity. We had it the other day, a few moments ago, didn't we? Mm. Had it where somebody was like, right, the last collector got, in, got involved Drawing, and, and right. snapped it yes, up. You've just right. got to check out yeah. nice and early. It's pointless. It is actually a pointless exercise, dropping it in your basket and doing nothing with it. Because it's, it's not yours. Um, we are not going any lower. This is the absolute rock bottom price for nine and a half millimeter all neck jadeite, but particularly all neck of this translucency. Moving forward, when the entire jade industry from Burma is relocated to this location, um, yeah, you, I mean, like I said, the cut, the cutting is going to be better because Guatemala is not known for its cutting of jade, obviously. Um, but so the, the cutting is going to be even better. However, the price point is driving up. Um, we're going to hold this on your screens for one more minute because there's only one left within the uh, within our vault. Once it's gone, it's gone. New uh, telephone bidder on the phone lines. You can have it. This is exciting, isn't it? So exciting. What a legacy opportunity. You're effectively sourcing Guatemalan jadeite, translucent, type A, Olmec, only forms in that one location, in the largest size and the longest strand that we've ever brought to air. You're, you're purchasing, it, purchasing it in its infancy. Whilst I know this has been around historically, you're purchasing it at its Absolutely, infancy yeah. price point, yeah. aren't you? So, I mean, what an opportunity. The final one of these, sorry, Amanda, Tracy, Cumbrian, I've got telephone bidders there as well. I can't see every single name um, here in the studio. There's one left in the world. Not that with like a red silk. With a red silk, I think it'll be amazing. At the final 10 seconds, then we've got to move on. Um, I'll th keep everything crossed for you. We're not going to be able to... Look, I'll be honest, there's a few people on the web. A lot of people with it in their baskets. Nine of you in total. Two on the phone lines. Oh. It's anyone's first come, first serve. Though. We can't say any fairer than that. I don't think it'll be available. In the whole atmosphere in, this, in the studio changes when you bring... Jade yeah. to air, whether it's Guatemala, and it just there's something bizarre. It's really odd. It's difficult it is to explain. magical, isn't it? Mm. And everybody yeah. tries to put their finger on it, don't they? It's strange. There's one mm. available now. Oh. In the next hour, I love this piece. It's only ever been on air. Do you own any bangles? Yeah. You do. I've bought two bangles, not carved like this though. Mm. Two bangles from Jewelry Maker, and I'm so I feel I, I really do count my blessings for that. Mm. Because there's no way I'd have entertained owning Jade. No. Now, here we go. Not only are you getting a bangle. Oh, look at this. You're getting a carved bangle. Look how amazing that is. To add to the complexity yeah. and the rarity of this work of art. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, there is how many of these available? not limited, limited in their quantity, only a handful. It's coming up in the next hour. Um, so make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. I think there is still one left of the nine and a half millimeter Guatemalan strand, but again, there's loads of you there. Good luck. Still got lots to see uh, with Mark's amazing masterclass as well. We haven't really mentioned those, have no, we? Um, perhaps we'll yeah. sow that seed when we come back after this <laughs> next break. Good luck and huge congratulations to you all. Join Mark and I after this. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making how long you've been making jewellery for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewellery Maker website. Oh, and good luck.
back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewellery Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewellery Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewellery Maker. I was just getting our coffee order in the very last yeah. minute there. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Is this Lauren. the same strand? This opal? Yeah. Mix? Genuinely, I struggle. Yeah. And I've got a confession time. You know, um, I prepped for the show the night before, obviously. Look at that. I couldn't find anything. Were you the same, Ross? I couldn't find anything to, 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 to reference about opal and turquoise. Colours I did, but not actually the gemstones. So do you remember, like we've, we've done lots of um, gemstones where there's a mixture of a few. Copper Mojave is a prime example, or your spiny oyster yeah. um, is another, I think it's the, the most perfect mm -hmm. example, where they take the best grades of your gemstone and instead of having one which would maybe potentially be a little bit softer, not necessarily the case with these two, but, and they sort of piece them together like the most amazing mosaic of, of beautiful gems. Now, this is an entire gem, gems launch, because it's not just one, is it, singularly? Um, the Olmec sold out. Congratulations, well, who well, got that last well. one. Amazing. I can't see your name as of yet, but huge congratulations. Um, so... Yeah, we've never done anything like this before. It's amazing. What's that little? What's that little VT that we have? For some, it's not something choice, is it? What, what's that special collector? It might be collector's, collector's choice. choice. It, be. This is it is a collector's, a collector's choice. choice. But it's actually two yeah. collectors, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right. Just before wow. we get into this, because I know I'm going to get caught up with it and then forget what I said earlier on. Mark, 
your masterclass I'm just gonna were see specially th bought for, let weren't just, they? Let me just show you this, look. First time on air, square gems. I'm gonna show you the new kite. <gasps> it is absolutely extraordinary. Oh, they're look cool, this. aren't they? Look at this. And you've got those in different gems? We've got them. We've got three kits. In each kit, you get you get brand new Eslon from Beadsmith. Yep. You get two donuts. Yep. And you get a tube of sea beads. And we've, we've done macrame bracelets and necklaces and pendants and all sorts of things. But isn't that absolutely extraordinary? Gorgeous. The work that's involved to make these, it's just astounding. Well, slices it? and then have a whopping great big hole in the We're centre in the of them. Yeah, it's great. So we've got these coming up at twelve. Oh. Oh, yeah, so I, I can't. Time just flies, doesn't doesn't it? Here in mm. the studio, so they're coming yeah. up at twelve o'clock. Oh. I love that. <gasps> Look at this bracelet. That's amazing. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, really Gems cool. Just phenomenal. Yeah. Now they're coming up at twelve o'clock. Now, um, so we're going to start. I, it's a gem launch, isn't it? It is a gem launch. But if I bring this entire tea bar over, um, so I've got what three strands of rounds. And then you've got a couple of, oops, a couple oh, of your oh, different oh. shapes. I know they're cool, Those aren't they? Rugby ball shapes, they're amazing. It's not the most romantic term, I take that Rugby back. ball shape. <laughs> Partial <laughs> to a game of must be a proper. Right? It must be a proper name for them. Look at those. Yeah, balls, yeah. So yeah. effectively, you've taken two of the world's most sought after gemstones. Mm. You mentioned Opal earlier yeah, on, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, and you've pieced them together in a way that Mother Nature wouldn't be able to do. That's amazing. Because they wouldn't form alongside one. Well, they no. might do. I don't know. It's just the colour tones for It's like it's like a sort of a milky chrysoprase, isn't it? It's got that look about I it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Mm. And going back to you know, like you think about a mosaic is intentional, isn't it? So mm. they'll take the the finest pieces of ceramic or glass and they put it together yeah. in a really pretty pattern. You can go to places like Barcelona, can't you, and oh, yeah. see those ma yeah. uh, the mosaic walls. I don't, can't remember the name of them. Um, you can think of I don't know uh, what's the painter I'm actually thinking of now. Picasso. Mm. Picasso's all about kind of like painting yeah. sections, isn't he? So imagine doing that with your gems. Love it. And genuinely, I struggled to prepare for this showcase because there's nothing like it out there. Uh, nothing yeah. like it. Now, we are going to start with your rounds. I love it. Maybe I, know, I love the colour tone about this. Maybe, I love the colour. Maybe it's a choice of two people's gems, uh, birthstones. Oh. Maybe someone's an October baby and someone's a December baby. Could be. That's a nice idea. Or your yeah, children, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Forty-eight carats of beautiful opal and turquoise. You should hear the banter that's going. <laughs> perfectly, perfectly reconstituted into these amazing, amazing uh, rounds. So two beautiful, natural, genuine gemstones um put together lovingly in this wonderful mosaic inspirations i love it i absolutely love it it does give you that lovely it backdrop certainly doesn't does. it yeah who would have come up with the idea of putting them together it's amazing isn't it yeah it it it's one of those like yeah, every yeah. so often you know there's oh what was it called what was the one which is fluorite and opal together tiffany opal there we yeah. go so yeah. there was that cross section do you remember yeah. where you had like a seam of opal and a seam mm. of fluorite and they instead of stopping they actually sort of grew together incredibly yeah. rare yeah. and incredibly small scale mining so it does happen where you actually have two gemstones form alongside one another we've just had hematite alongside haven't we your clear yeah. quartz yeah. um but not very often and here's two gemstones that wouldn't ordinarily um well i don't know this for certain because like i said I, I genuinely struggle for your preparation i've never seen anything like it before they are reconstituted i'm not sitting here telling you that they are uh, that you know mother nature has created them hand in hand um but they work don't they it's just Perfectly. taking the finest yeah. pieces of your turquoise with the purest of your opals a gemstone launch effectively and we've got a showcase of it that showcase consists of one two three four five six strands that's it Forty nine ninety nine, Mark. Amazing price. I just love the colour tone about it. It's gorgeous. It's a bit Larimar esque, isn't it? It is. It is actually. Yeah, or Christ of Praise. Yeah. yeah. What? A one in front of that, maybe. Wow. 
We've never done anything like this before. And listen, this is our, our, our gauge, I guess, isn't it? Um, Wayne's on his way back from Hong Kong. He might even have his feet on British soil again. Uh, yeah. Um, but this is what he's going to look at. He's going to say, OK, is this something that they loved, you know, with your opal and turquoise? Um, and Wayne, if you are re-watching this, generally, and he'd be like, OK, the presentation. There was no presentation because I couldn't find anything anywhere. I've never seen this anywhere else. Yeah. These are going to be on and gone. Um, absolutely I incredible. Them. I agree. I love this shape. I'd wear it like that. Yeah. That's, That's cool, amazing. isn't it? It's one of those visual gemstones. You want to see it, don't you? A bit Gaudi, yeah? A bit Gustave? <gasps> yes. Does that work? Yes. Oh, with your Amazonites. With yeah. the... Oh, look yeah. at that. Yeah, look at that. 20 pounds only. Ridiculous. That's amazing, isn't it? 20 amazing. pounds. It's one of those, isn't it? It's it, uh, this launch. I know we've never done anything like this in our um, twelve years of business. We've never brought you anything quite like this. Nineteen ninety nine. If you love the um, square donuts, they're coming up. I guess jump ahead into the cubes. Cubes, cubes, cubes. Beautiful. And we do. We always sort of we'll do by put lip, smaller quantities, won't we, to try something out first. If yeah, it's not for you, I love then. These. These are brilliant. They are cool, aren't they? Yeah, Funky like cufflinks. These. I think this is my favourite yeah, strand. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Should we take it uh, to another one of those unbelievable prices, Mark? Should we go under 20? Really? Can we They're do cool. that with this one? Or even less? £17.99. pence. Genuine opal, genuine turquoise, reconstituting these amazing works of art. And they are works of art, aren't they? organized arranged into these wonderful perfect gemstone shapes um well done we had 35 uh, 35 carats we only had how many in terms of quantity roscoe oh less than 20 so we are talking i know that we sort of dip our toe in the water just to test it effectively don't we but the 20 is hardly uh hardly getting your no, pinky in no, there is it no. goodness me <laughs> No, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't. It's not a big enough quantity. Or maybe is that all that we could purchase? <laughs> oh, have they? I beg oh, your pardon. It's, oh, right, I beg your pardon. They have been... Have they been launched? I've not seen them before. OK. No. Well, so, so did Carol see anything oh. online then? I'm curious to know. No, I couldn't find anything. I was like, right... They have been on air once, I beg your pardon. So it's launched, a, a, a gemstone launch with me. Um, this one? Yes, here we go. It's a longer strand. I've only got two strands mm -hmm. actually to bring you. This one and the rondelles. They're cool, aren't they? I think they're amazing. I think they're so good. Ah, oh, definite, definite Larimar what vibes. What's the name of the range that we did, the little Atlas charms? Oh. oh. Yeah, they look, remind me of those with the gold. Like that was one. malachite, wasn't it? Is it malachite? Or lapis. Yeah, it's one of them, wasn't it? It reminds me of that range. You it can does. You incorporate this with those if you have any of those at they home. They have got quite planet-like yeah. appearances. Oh. We're under £20, but we are going again. Now, if there's any strands that you want to uh, purchase to get this gemstone, this is the one, says Ross. OK, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. You've got my attention, Ross. That's right, you have my curiosity now, you got my full attention. Have I got quantity then? Yeah. It's a good saying That's that, isn't good it? One, yeah. You have my uh, you have my what was it? Say Curiosity, now you've got my attention. It's going even lower. Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, oh, smooth. We're going even lower. <laughs> 90 pounds. And 99 pence already absolutely incredible. 
I do like little sayings and things like that. So I was trying to explain to Willow yesterday. Hang on, I'll get back to it because we're dropping the price. If you want an opportunity to sample this gemstone, then this is the one. We've got 90 available, and you won't believe this price point. Yeah, there we go. Full Ooh, attention oh, given, wow. 12 99 Again, two beautiful, rare, sought-after, genuine gemstones. Uh, um, work together in this amazing work of art. It's stunning. It's it is stunning. It's stunningly beautiful. It really I was is. trying to explain to Willow yesterday, because, yeah. you know, bedtime read, had a little cuddle and everything, and she was like, oh, I love you. She's ever so affectionate as our Willow. And she was like, I love you. And I said, you know what, Willow? I love you more today than I did yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. And she was like, ah, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? I was trying to explain it to her. I was like, I love you more every single day. Yeah. So when you were born, she goes, when I was born, you only loved me 1%. It's similar <laughs> to that, it's may the best of your yesterdays be the worst of your tomorrows. Oh my goodness. That's good too. I've never heard that one. Yeah, yeah don't try saying it to a seven year old. No. <laughs> they don't understand. They don't. Yeah. So you didn't love me when I was born? Yeah, but of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did. Just it grows, Willow. It grows more yeah. and more each day. And I'm like, oh, goodness me. Uh, 12.99. There's loads of you getting involved. What an opportunity to sample yeah. this. I've never seen it before. It's incredible. I love it. I think gents would wear this as well. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's quite a neutral palette, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And these are hematite spaces dotted in between right. as well. Right. It's amazing. And that on leather or something like yeah. that. It's cool. Yeah. I like the idea. If you know somebody that's maybe got... A December birthstone. And next month's. Yeah. And next month's birthstone. Yeah. Perfect. How lovely is that? Or maybe there's two of your favourite gems. Yeah. And they're both very shallow forming gemstones, so yes, they do work yeah. perfectly together. Um, a lot of you there, lots of multi buyers. Hello to Ivy, Angela, Julie, Man uh, Manchester multi buying, Erica's multi buying, uh, Christina and Heather in Derbyshire. Well done, Chu. Uh huh. Okay, Ross has just oh. said, I've skipped over another strand of rounds because they're brand new. These, 10 carats more, okay. A more dramatic graduation. So this has never been on air before. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. I love the colour scheme. This with smoky quartz, I think yes. would look really nice together. And some pearls. Mm, oh yeah, that's nice. That'd be yeah. quite nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Nineteen ninety nine, never been seen before. Brand new premiere oh, no. opportunity. Where's he going with this? I don't know. It's Ross we're talking about now, isn't it? Under what? Even though there's a big carrot weight, you did say ten carrots more. What? That doesn't work. Doesn't make sense, does it? Ten carrots more. So it should be more expensive. We're still going to get this. Significantly more expensive as yeah. well, not just by a little bit. We're going to get this under £15. Jewelry Makers World, we should really stop here, and that's absolute rock bottom, but it's a brand new premiere opportunity. Rounds, particularly graduated rounds, always are one of the most popular. Yeah, Smoky Quartz, beautiful. Citrine would be yeah, lovely. Amazonite. Um, I'm feeling yellows. I feel like a yellow oh, yeah. would go really yeah. pretty. Nice citrine well. would work, actually. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, we're going even lower, though. It's a brand new premiere opportunity. We've got quantity, I think. Have we got quantity? Oh, OK. We had 90 of the last one. There's 40 of this one. It is 10 carats heavier. £14.99. pence. Amazing. Just beautiful. Yeah. It's got, you've got those wonderful tropical destination sort of feelings about it. It's mm. stunning. And it's basically the finest quality. We look at that, robin egg blue, yeah. turquoise, reconstituted with the pure whites of your beautiful opal. I mean, they are wonderful, aren't we'd they? We'd have to call it opaloise. Opaloise? That's what we'd have to call it. I like that. Yeah, because it hasn't got a name at the moment, is it? It's just opal with turquoise. That's we need, right. We need it's to true. give it a name. If Tiffany opal can yeah. have a... Yeah. Can yeah. Have, a, have a name, I think we need to come up yeah. with this one too. Yeah. Copper Mojave. Copper Mojave's it got its own name, That's isn't right. it? Yeah. You like Turkle. what? <laughs> Turtle. Turkle. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Turkle. I like it. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Well done, Mary, Darby. Hello to you. 
Uh, Julie, Pamela, London, Devon, hello to you. Wiltshire, new customers getting involved. There is a bit of a delay on our call screens. Once again, we only had 40 of these available. Make sure you're checking them out. Turkle, Opaloys. Opaloys is good, yeah. 0800 6046 I've got one more strand. Oh, it's the rondelles. Oh. What? That's cool. Can you see that? I'm going to try and show you. Look at that. So you've got these pools. Let me turn it around a minute. Pools of beautiful translucent opal. I think I'd have to use gold with it. Yeah. Without a doubt. I would I as well. Oh, look at that. They're cool, aren't yeah. they? The only strand of rondelles that we have. Again, the perfect pure white opals alongside your robin egg turquoise. I love the I love the balance. I just think it's really making the opal, uh, so the turquoise pop and vice versa. Um, love the idea of gold, yeah. On a slider bracelet, something yeah. really cool. You could keep it quite kind of, uh, I don't know, a bit boho chic vibe, I suppose, or something like this. It's very vintage looking, isn't it? It is. Yeah, actually, yeah, like Tiffany lamps. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. This is going to an unbelievable price point. Is there quantity of these? 70 available. Who wants this under £10 for the first time? I've never seen this before. I didn't realise Carol had launched it. I'd never seen this before. And I really struggled last night <laughs> to try and find any information about the two. It's two beautiful gemstones. I could chew your ear off about opal or, or, or turquoise. But actually having that wonderful together. combination together, I love it. Absolutely love it. £9.99. pence. It is a funny saying, that, isn't it? <laughs> Talk to the cows, come on. Another saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good. What's your favourite saying? Um, Twenty carrots. Well done. Lots of you getting involved. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Fabulous. And keep those messages coming through. Um, we are twenty-five minutes away from Mark's amazing masterclass. Uh, Three beautiful kits, specifically purchased for yes. launching your square gemstone donuts. I know, there's a contradiction, isn't it? But it works. Square donuts. Yeah. Square donuts. Why not? Why, why can't there be a square donut? Don't care what shape they are. <laughs> Do you care if there's a hole in the middle? No, I don't care either. Do you like I've never had a donut with a hole in the middle. I've never had one. I've never had a ring donut. Never in my life. Oh, no. I need to, we need to change that. Mm. We need to change that. Because ring donuts are good. They're really good. Um, Gemstone donuts are even better, and far better for our health. Um, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. These are the kits that are coming up. Mark, absolutely there beautiful. There are, I love them. I think they're so nice. That Labradorite one at the end is just... Stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. I can't choose a favourite piece, you know. I love them all. All coming up. Amazonite, Mukai, Labradorite. Uh, Rose, Rose Quartz. K2, Jasper. K2? And Lapis. Wow. Yeah, look at those labs. <gasps> it's gorgeous, isn't it? So cool. Mm. So cool. All coming up at 12 o'clock. Lovely jewellery makers. Amazing. Um, okay. Shall we do the bangle? Now, <laughs> you heard, we, we quoted Stanley Yu earlier on, didn't he? He said that one of, there's only one piece of jewellery that's more expensive than the bangle, and that's a match strand. Um, but, you know, Still to this day, more expensive, he's saying. Still to this day, the bangle is conceived or, or believed to be like the pinnacle, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's, the, it's what everybody wants. Um, and it takes hours to carve a bangle because firstly it's sliced and they map it out, making sure they avoid any fault lines within the actual... So they must have mishaps. Yes. Where they, they That's crack. when they turn into hinged. Oh, Sometimes course. they can turn them yes, into hinged course. bangles. Yes. Um, so yeah, if you've got kind of like a bang, if you've got most mm. of the way, if you like, to a bangle and then it shatters, then yeah, yeah it's a real shame. Yeah. But they can sometimes re uh, um, yeah, of course, yeah. recover, if yeah. you like, that carrot weight in a hinge. Um, but the aim is always to get that full, that full circle type A jadeite bangle. Beyond that, though, you've also got master carving on top of it. And I genuinely, I... 
I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but I really want you to, if you haven't already done so, if you think maybe that jewellery maker bringing type A J dye at the prices that you're about to see is, 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 is I don't know, is too expensive, then you need to look elsewhere. But make sure you look at places, <laughs> make sure you look at places like First Dibs or Sotheby's or Christie's or Bonham's not right now because when we bring the graphics to li uh, um, live if you love it make your confirmation and have a look at first dib that's the number one s t d i b s that is jade bangles that is crazy 3.8 million <sighs> us dollars that mango and look how small it is that's just ridiculous look how small it is tiny 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 I don't know many people who's, who are going to get that bang no, on. No, no. £3.8 million. Ross, as we speak, how many do we have of these bangles? 16. Wow. Right, can you do me a favour? Can we go on to the wonderful World Wide Web? Um, and Google first dibs, jade bangles. Let's do it on air. Because one thing I know they don't have, unless they've uploaded it last night, uh, <laughs> there he is. There he is, lovely Roscoe. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. So I, I know they don't have a carved bangle unless they uploaded it last night. But I want to do this just to show you the quality that you source from us oh, and the wow. prices. So the first one, wrapped in nine karat gold, lovely, 3,000. Well, look at the one across. Certified like we do, £3,329. Yeah. They do give you free postage, though. Oh, good. Fair play. Yeah. Um, 1,833. <laughs> Hinge oh, bangles, 2,000. I don't know why that one's 666. Don't know. No. But again, oh, it's Jade, not Jade Ike. That's the difference. Okay, fair enough. Um, look, down here, Mason K, certified... You can see the quality, though. Look, this. We bought to wear like that. So let's. Can we just stop here for a second? Because look at that one there in the middle. Mason and K certified natural green jadeite with fourteen karat gold. I'm only stopping there just because that's where we were. Look at the quality of that green. It's. Is it any better than ours? I wouldn't think so. I don't think so. And no. the fact it's hinged. Yeah. None of them on this website. Again, I just really wanted to highlight the fact that you do get, in fact, let's go to the top of that screen once again. You get the same quality of jade eye. I mean, I know there's different varieties. I know you get your imperial greens every occasionally. You get, um, but they are, look, there we go. The one in the middle, £3,329. That is a smooth, natural, certified, just like yours, Type A jade out bangle. She's bought air considerably less than that. Considerably <laughs> less. It's wow. an absolute no-brainer. Wouldn't you just buy one from us and then sell it to First Dibs? Nothing stopping you doing that. Because wow. First Dibs is a platform. It is. It's like it's like a posh eBay, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, effectively. So yeah. you could go to First Dibs yeah. with any of your amazing jade pieces of jewellery and say, sell that for me, please. Um, and they will do. They'll charge you quite considerably. It's, you know, their commission's quite a big cut. I don't know. I've not sold on them myself, but I intend to moving forward. Um, yeah, 100%. Here we go. Here we go. 14 karat natural untreated jade and diamond hinge bangle bracelet. Now, the carving is only the top section, isn't it? Yeah. £4,333. I just wanted to highlight how amazing the jade is that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker that you can absolutely sell on at a profit immediately. I can only use my own personal experiences. There was one single piece of jade in the jewelers that I worked at. It was about half a credit card size, like a weird plaque thing that I don't even know what you did with it. It wasn't a, ne it wasn't a necklace. It wasn't, you couldn't wear it. Um, and, but I'm going back 25 years now. It was. It was two and a half thousand pounds. That one on the end could be one yeah, of ours, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, couldn't it? 2,666. 
We've brought... Yeah. Do you see where we're coming from? But have you seen a full carved bangle? Have no, you seen no, not cool. only the work of art in a bangle, the pinnacle, what everybody wants in a jade, in a, in, in, in a piece of jade? Oh my goodness me. Where? Oh yeah. 12 What's and that? a half thousand. Cartier antique gold jade bangle. Ridge. Okay. It's like bamboo, isn't it? It's got the bamboo ridges. Okay. We've brought, uh, it's, this is... Oh, yeah, that one. This old. is why I wanted to do it, and I know you might be thinking, yeah, all right, we, but, but we have brought you comparable quality, mm. haven't we? But, actually, we're surpassing that quality because this is not just a bangle, just a bangle, it's type A jade. It couldn't be any more incredible than that. More of a legacy piece, more of an heirloom piece of jewellery. On top of that, it's master carved. Hand carved type A jade. You've got these beautiful, beautiful carvings all the way around from your lotus flower. In, and you also have your Ouroboros. Can you see the Ouroboros just there? Um, so, all the meaning behind this absolutely incredible. So, the dragon and the phoenix carved within one beautiful, pure, imperial white. Bangle, the colour that was once upon a time reserved exclusively for the emperors of China. Um, it comes boxed, as you would imagine, something of this prestige, yeah. of this amazing rarity. Um, yeah. That one that we showed of with, with like etchings on the outside, not really carved, I would say, but still, it's got the history, it's Cartier, fair enough. The closest that we can actually yeah. find to what's wrapped wrapped around my wrist and I know the different colors but that's twelve and a half thousand pounds okay there's a little bit of gold it's not jade I it's actually probably a nephrite probably because it's lift, listed as jade rather than jade I um, let's match that price point but you know we're not stopping there it is type a certified natural fine translucent jadeite how many do we have have we? 15 available. Wow. Five-way split. I've never seen a five-way split before. Ever. <gasps> Is that a thing? Ross. They uh, lots that all look very familiar. Ours would not look out of place alongside them, wouldn't they? Hmm. I wonder. Why not? Do you know what I would do though, and I, if you value my recommendation, I'd be getting my jade, well, which, which you know I am, and I'm not selling it now. Mm, no, I'm not selling no. it now. I'm waiting, because the Burmese mine we know is closed, which is where this bangle is from. It's from the Burmese mine. You know, it is 100% Burmese natural type A jadeite. Remember what Ronan Schlussel said, this is officially an investment stone. So do we think moving forward, fast forward five years, 10 years, who knows? How much do you think your certified type A imperial white jadeite hand carved bangle is going to be worth then? I'm, I look, I can, I, it's only in my mind. I can't, I haven't got a crystal ball. However, it makes sense. The mine closed in 2020. Here he is. Roland Schlussel, one of the most knowledgeable individuals in the jade world, says the price of type A jadeite is right now at an all time high, particularly difficult for us as a sourcing of the skin. All right. He's talking about the whites there. Um, he's talking about the fact that this this is. The skin is so thin comparatively um, and boulders aren't coming onto the market right now. He talks about the fact that, you know, the reality is his own personal indivi uh, individual business with his wife. He says once all this is gone, he's talking about the booth that he was photographed. You can see it behind Dave and Roland in the first image. Once all that's gone, he's got to diversify into, into, into tourmaline. Is there any white? Can you see over Dave's shoulder? Yeah. I can see black, I can see lavender, I can see some oranges, greens. This is pure white. Now, we've matched that price to the one carving that we found on first dibs. Here's the dragon, can you see the dragon? Wow. Phoenix. 
Let's get that price point. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's, yeah, unbelievable. He sounds like Dave now. He does. Yeah. To take £10,000 off that price point. It's not, I know it's, I know it's a considerable amount of money, but it's not unrealistic. That's the thing, it's not unrealistic. Go back some years to Richard Wise, in modern connoisseurship, um, a collector, sorry, what was it? A single cabochon um, of pure white hue with a fine texture and moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. That's precisely what I'm holding, but it's not a cabochon. It's a bangle, the pinnacle, a carved bangle. We're not stopping here. How pure and white that colour is. Look how pristy. Look at the angles of those of that carving as well. And it's all done by hand in the same age-old ancient technique, abrasive. Let's take another thousand pounds off that price tag, shall we? You've got your five-way split pay, 0% interest. Take full yeah. advantage. We talk about five, legacy. Never seen five. Before. I know. Making it as affordable yeah. as possible. You go, to, you go to first dibs and say, I want to buy that bangle, but I'm going to pay you a 0% interest and five split pays, please. I was just wondering why they're like, photographing them all against a bit of two before. <laughs> you know? <laughs> true. It's true. Yeah. You can see the prices. You can see why we always talk about the fact that our prices of beautiful jade bangles that are carved by hand... It's an unbelievable price. There's that carved one, 12 and a half. Yeah. Be mindful that you are comparing as well, like for like quality. Look at that one there, that lavender, high-end jade, jadeite bangle, 20 grand. There you go. Unbelievable, yeah. absolutely unbelievable. Again, that one there, which is um, carved, is not jadeite. Wasn't jadeite. Whenever we bring you high-end bangles like this, they are always at a certain price point. Seven hundred ninety-nine. Have we seen any jade out bangles on first dibs for seven hundred ninety-nine? We had an Olmec bangle for seven nine-nine. The hinged ones went to six nine-nine. We had the mixed colour bangles. On average, yeah, about £799. This, that's white and carved, obviously should be more. You've got so much risk to a bangle. Firstly, a bangle takes about 10 hours to carve by hand. And that's without anything else, just the bangle itself. And yes, there are breakages and there are casualties mm. along the way. Imagine adding to that. So you've got your, your bangle and then you're like, okay, not only that, I want to... I want to mm. Uh, depict two of the most auspicious creatures in uh, Chinese history, the dragon and the phoenix. And I want to do that on the outside of it. You know, obviously that is going to elevate the risk. And you're effectively cutting carrot weight away as well, aren't you? We're at £799. It's a large bangle, by the way, as well. But it goes even lower. I think this is the only carved bangle that we've launched, I think. In pure white, anyway, in your imperial white. Again, remember that translucency, that purity of colour that Richard Wise spoke about. We are in single figures. I've only got eight of these left. It is a one-of-a-kind opportunity. It truly is legacy. In a minute, we're taking it to your amazing jewellery maker price point. And I don't think... This is the thing I've said, to, I've asked the question, do you think we're going to regret our jadeite purchases? Whether you get on board with jadeite or you don't. I, I know, either either, I'm not going to say you're right or wrong, whichever it is. If you love jadeite, then make hay while the sun shines because this window of opportunity is closing. In fact, it's pretty much closed. We know we cannot get jadeite at the prices that are on your screens currently. And we know moving forward, it's not going to change because it closed in 2020. Mm. The whole Chinese market has relocated located to Guatemala, as we spoke about earlier on. But we have amazing te uh, uh, relationships with Jade Studios, uh, effectively, master carvers. That That's how we get hold of opportunities like this. You think about it. First dibs, they sell them... Well, they sell on, bad example, OK. But Cartier bring in a, a, a Jade bangle, aren't they? They won't... They don't buy the qu quantities that we no, have. No, that's right. 
That's the difference. I agree, Ross. Ross has said it's one of the best bangles we've ever had. Totally agree, Ross. <laughs> Unbelievable. At £499. That's a massive price, uh, price drop. Look at the quality of this bangle. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I agree. Even if you put that on first dibs for £1,000, you're still going to be one of the most affordable and certainly one of the most luxurious and you're still doubling your price tag. But I would not recommend doing that for uh, £1,000. Yeah. Not personally. I would so bide your time for a little while. Let the market carry on going completely crazy, completely nuts, um, and then see what happens. My goodness me. There is so many of you there. Maker, Cumbria, you've got yours. Lillian, Norfolk, London. Sit back and enjoy. You've got this on its, on its way an opportunity Burmese Jade Burmese Jade mined out in 2020 that's over 800 years of mining history gone if you want to see the difference I mean it's a pretty basic diagram but it, it works you get the idea over the length of time but just to show you the difference and moving forward we will bring you treated jade really uh, so that shows you the difference natural skyrocketed treated only goes down in value only goes down in value over time in fact you know treated jadeite is there's nothing wrong with it and it's still jade or rather jade Type A jadeite, though, is that heirloom piece. Um, it's on five-way split pay. Oh, I can see why I squeezed it under yeah, £100. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. I've got Lorraine there. Hello to Lorraine. There is a queue, Lorraine, but I can see you there, my lovely. You're all right right now if you've pressed your option one. I've got Sorry. I've got Maker, Maker, Vesna, Cumbria, Tracy. Cumbria's got two. Norfolk's got two. Jane, sit back. You've got yours, lovely. Well done. Tracy, you're very close if you check out your basket. And I've got Eileen. Oh, my goodness me. I want to be able to congratulate you. Do you want to see how many's left? I agree, Ross. I think this is one of the most beautiful bangles we've done, especially for that price tag. If anything, this should be the most expensive of all the bangles because the yeah. colour and the carving. There's five left. Let's put a 60 second clock on your screen. This is to close the auction. What a beautiful Christmas present that would make oh my for somebody, wouldn't it? And, and I always imagine, all right, it might sound a little, it might sound a little bit depressing, but you know, like long, long after I'm gone, I might have like, I don't know, antiques roadshow or something like that. Oh, it's my, this was my great, great, great granny L. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bought this, that but. <laughs> <laughs> that bought this jadeite break, uh, bracelet yeah. or had it she passed it on down to me that's what i imagine that's what this is it's heirloom jewelry isn't yeah. it you need to chip it and put it to the, onto the repair shop amazing how <laughs> how incredible good luck to wow. you all Eileen, Tracy, Lorraine, Jane, Cumbria, Norfolk, Lillian, London. There's two left within the building. Once they're gone, they're gone. Sorry, one. Well done, Eileen. You've got yours. So Eileen, Tracy, Lorraine, Jane, Cumbria, Norfolk, Lillian, London. But there's multi buyers as well. How incredible. Well done. Well done. One left. One. Oh, my goodness me. Now, I understand. I fully appreciate wow. that that is a certain price point that not everybody might be shopping with. At shopping for so let's bring a price point or a piece of jade that hopefully is okay Ooh. the dragon carving i've never seen this before oh you know what they say about the dragon that you never see the dragon in its full entirety if you do it's not good news for you apparently right. apparently um Look at this. There's the dragon. Can you see him? And the pearl. You always see the pearl yeah, with yeah. the dragon. There's the back of the dragon. Can you see? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. How would you do this? I was just thinking that. I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a coral, isn't it? That kind of detailing. It's a brand new carving to me. I've never seen it before. Wow. The dragon and the pearl. 
all the meanings behind that was that story of the boy who followed the rabbit when he was looking for uh, vegetation to feed uh, himself and his mother. And he finds this lush patch of grass um, that the rabbit had led him to. He talks about that, that story, that, and it's a long-winded story, I know that, but it's a wonderful mm. one, isn't it? Um, and he, t he swallows, he actually ends up swallowing the pearl, doesn't he? This most beautiful thing that he brought, that brought good luck to his mother and, his, uh, 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 and himself, brought them food and fed the village, and then he turned into a dragon. Turned into a and dragon. No, no, no. The, dra oh. the dragon in China is depicted very differently to us here in the West. The dragon is all... It's good and water and brings good things rather we we're the ones that depict it like Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, amazing. But you know what? It's also one of those one of those whether you go with the, the, the more Chinese influence or whether you go with the more westernized influence, they are they are fascinating, aren't they? Oh, amazing. Fascinating. Yeah. Now, how many do you have, Roscoe? What? Fifty available. Oh, my word. I've told that story terribly. It is a really nice story, by the way. <laughs> wow. You just need Dave to tell you. He's far, far better at it than me. Yeah, but it talks about the boy finding, uh, finding a magical pill. It's a magical pill. Now, there's 50 available. Good luck, everybody. We're going to try and bring you some type A uh, Burmese jade at a more affordable price tag. Likewise, when it comes to... Um, your jadeite, we still look for translucency. We still look for some absolutely amazing colour. Um, <laughs> remember, it should look like a melty ice cube. <laughs> melty ice cube with your drill hole. Every single one of your jadeites currently here at Jewelry Maker. Um, absolutely our type A. However, moving forward, we know that we are going to have to come to fully expect, basically, a type B and type C. Um, so this is that heirloom, that, that, that investment stone that Roland Schlussel was talking about. The pearl and the dragon, I'm sure we have got that information somewhere. It's a long story. Ross, in fact, how, do you know where that is, the pearl and the dragon story? Because it is worthwhile reading, because that is what this actually pictures, isn't it? It pictures that amazing story. Um, £499. Is this the one? No. Okay, Ross is on. He's on the prowl. We have 50 available. Who would like time <laughs> AJ die at the most affordable price tag? Are you okay, Ross? Is he feeling like we're bossing him about a little bit, do you reckon? <laughs> 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 I'm not bossing you. Are you talking about me now? Do you think... Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice story it's a really nice story and i get you've got a lot of powerpoints to look through right now don't know don't worry don't worry if you can't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um so you promise this is going to be a more affordable price tag we're at 499 pounds so we've already matched the price of the bangle wow. but we're not stopping there okay we've got mark's amazing masterclass imminent around the corner Wall of Fame, yeah, absolutely. What? Let's get that price on the move. A work of art, isn't it? Not laser carved, not machine carved, carved by hand. So every single one will be <laughs> completely unique. At £199, do you see £199 on first dibs? No. I mean, I know we didn't go down the carving route, but I'm sure they're there. £49.75 on your split payment? Pretty amazing. Not your price. Let's bring you an absolutely spectacular deal. Deal. Now we need to see though to justify this price drop. We want to see at least twenty of you on the phone lines and on the web. If you don't press your option one, that's absolutely fine. Just give Ross a little indication, and we can show you just how amazing the deal is going to be. You don't have to check out as of yet, even. But if you love the idea and you love this story, and I'll quickly re I'll read it as fast as I possibly can because I'm also very aware Masterclass is around the corner. Um, but yeah, so sh start showing us you there while I tell you the story of the dragon and the pearl. Um, the story of the dragon's pearl is one of the oldest and most well-known tales in Chinese folklore. Um, it is set in a rural province of central China called, um, excuse, excuse my pronunciation, 
Senshuan. Under the rule of a greedy and corrupt emperor, the people of this province were desolate with hunger and thirst. There was barely sign of life, let alone vegetation. Um, of this despairing population lived a peasant boy named Ni Lang and his mother. Each day the boy ventured collecting as much grass as he could in order to sell as fodder. This way he was able to bring home a bowl of rice for him and his mother. As the de days grew hotter, foliage grew scarce and Ni Lang's mother became ill due to malnutrition. He thought to himself, there must be a part of this land that I have missed. Determined to save his mother, he sets out far afoot, eventually reaching a mountain. Climbing to the top of the mountain, he looks for the summit and is disappointed by the sight of the same nothingness mir uh, mirroring the land from whence he came. As, uh, as he readies himself to return back, he noticed movement in the corner of his eye, a healthy, plump-looking hare. He sneakily follows the hare, preparing to catch it. As he, sne uh, as he squeezes through it by a small crevice of rocks, he is greeted with a lush, flowing patch of grass. Tears in his eyes, he thanks the rabbit as he plows through the generous uh, overture of vegetation. Able to support his mother with a fantastic meal, he is determined to set out to find more the next day. He follows his tracks in the mountain over the summit uh, into the crevice. To his astonishment, the patch of grass, which he eagerly plowed at the same, the same day before, is still there, seemingly untouched. Without a second thought, he takes his scathe and plows away. Again, he is successfully able to exchange it for a fulfilling meal. Several days pass as it becomes his routine. One morning, Ni Leng thinks to himself as how far his journey to the patch of grass is uh, and comes up with an idea. If I was to dig up the grass, I could plant it near our home. This way, I'll not have to travel so much every day. As he digs carefully around the grass, he begins to see something large, round and brilliant. Enchanted by its beauty, he puts it in his sack and carries it home. After planting the lush grass near his home, he shows his mother the, uh, the pearl, suggesting selling it for a hefty price. She disagrees and says that this is a blessing and to have something so beautiful enter their lives, she places it safely in the rice sack. That night, Ni Lang drifts to sleep, hungry one last time, dreaming of how he and his mother will never have to suffer again. At the next morning, Ni Lang runs with excitement to his little garden, only to be, be to be met with wilted oh no. grass. Falling down to his knees, he cries to himself, if only I had not been so lazy. At this moment, his mother runs out to him, yelling, come quickly. They are greeted to an overflowing supply of rice. Too much to consume between them, they decide to share their prosperity with their neighbours. As time passes, they realise that the magic orb has the power to increase the quantity of everything it graces. It goes on to say about how this story, this legacy of the pearl, this magic pearl, the emperor actually discovers of it, of it, uh, of it existing and goes to actually get it. Well, Ni Lang swallows the pearl to hide it from the greedy emperor. Um, and it's con uh, uh, consequently turned into the dragon to protect the oh, entire village. It's a wonderful right. story. Wonderful story, this, the dragon and the pearl. So there you go. Now you know the origination. And you know that we are going to work on that incredible price point for you, lovely jewellery makers. In 60 seconds, we're going to take it to that unbelievable deal. The fact that it is so thought through, Mark. You've got the dragon at the front, the pearl at the front just here. And then you have the reverse, that same tail um, on the reverse because another myth in Chinese legend is that you never see an entirety of a dragon. In 36 seconds, jewellery makers, we need to see you there. They're on those call screens to justify this price tag. Good luck to you all. Beautiful hand carving of the dragon and the pearl. Again, from that depleted location of source, and we're bringing it to you a true jewellery maker deal. An unbelievable price point. Um, 199 is incredible. At any point during that, in fact, I think there was one or two, mm. wasn't there? Triple figure prices yeah. on first dibs. I know they were bangles. But at 199, that's already amazing. Let's go even lower. An unbeatable price point working with one of the world's most valuable gemstones, under £100. Wow. First come, first serve. Can't say any fairer than that. The story of the dragon and the pearl. Amazing. Make sure you're checking out. I can see you all. There's a bit of delay on our call screens. Now, we have coming up after the break the Wall of Fame and also your um, amazing masterclass. Oh. Mark, I genuinely cannot choose a favourite on your pieces. They're beautiful. They're so... I love them. 
brand lots, new. Lots, 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 I don't have tell you what, I can't remember what the price of these kits are. But yeah, we ordered don't. these donuts back in March. Really? It's taken this long? <laughs> it's taken this long, to, yeah, to get them. Yeah. Can we pre-order our Mark's yeah. Amazing kits? <gasps> oh. Okay, we will put these kits on pre-order. That would actually go perfectly with your Dragon Pendant as well, yes, those of you that yes, have it in your, uh, yes. on, on your baskets and in the uh, phone in your hand. Make sure you're checking those out. Wall of Fame, your creations coming up after the break, so we'll see you in two. All you need to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favorite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker, and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's gonna be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just 99 pounds per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. time go i know four hours just gone like that i know um Amazing. now i need to mention that mark's kits are available on pre-order i love I each of your pieces they're cool aren't they and again i ran out of time there's only one i didn't do i didn't do which one didn't i do the lapis i did all the other no it wasn't too bad you... the lapis i haven't done we've got labradorite we've oh got yes Rose sorry Quartz, amazonite mukite which is just beautiful and the K2, so it's just the lapis I didn't have time to do. Firstly, uh, when was the last time we had K2? I know. It's been ages. Now, these are all available on pre-order, as I said. 
How amazing is that mukite? And how incredible is that lapis lazuli? Now these, again, were specifically purchased for? For today. Today. Yeah. So yeah. why not a square donut? Yeah. Why not? I love that labradorite, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Now, okay. Right. We haven't got many Wall of Fames this week, Mark. We've only got four. Wow, they're all coming in for Monica's tomorrow. Oh, that's we'll what have it thousands is. tomorrow. Yeah, I bet. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, bless. Um, so, starting us off with your fabulous creations, number 665 is from Jane. Good morning to you, Jane, good morning. or good afternoon. That's beautiful. And Jane says, Hello, everybody. Please find and attach my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. This set is made from Taipei Jadeite from Jewelry Maker. I just love the faster Jadeite pairs and rounds. And the donuts are good enough to eat. I hope you like what I have made with them. Good luck to all the waffers, and that's from Jane. Jane, good luck. That's absolutely beautiful. I agree. Number 666 is Lorna. Hello, Lorna. Again, very beautiful. And Lorna says, hi, all. My entry this week are earrings made with peacock um, angelite and sterling silver components, all from Jewelry Maker. Keep well and keep making. Good luck to you, Lorna. Oh, bless. How lovely. Number 667 is from lovely Susan. And Susan says, hi, everyone. Hope you're keeping well. Here is my entry for this week. I was so lucky to be able to get blue Olmec jadeite and red jadeite to make this necklace with, with a sterling silver toggle clasp. Or from Jewelry Maker, good luck to everyone in the draw. Lots of love from Susan. Beautiful, Susan. That's Loving beautiful. that. And then number 668 is from Barry. Oh, my Lord, look wow, at that. Barry. Amazing. Hi, guys. Here's my entry for this week. About a year ago, I bought a parcel of Labradorite cabochons from you, but they have been sitting in a drawer in my gemstone cabinet. Since then, as I've, been try I've, I've never tried wire wrapping until last week. They are nowhere near as good as the ones shown by Nat Natalie last week, but this is my first attempt, and I think they look okay. They look amazing. Love and magic to all, JM, and my fellow waffers. Aww, magic back to you, how Barry. They're incredible. Barry. Honestly, they're beautiful. Amazing. Good luck, everybody. Get well your done. entries in. Yes. So you never know. We're still doing a Wall of Fame on Wednesday, so uh, you never know. Carol might be lucky for you. Wow, now, amazing. how amazing are these kits? Mark. Can we, go, can we just take a moment to appreciate every single piece of jewellery that you've created? Because you. I well, love is, them all. They're all a similar ilk, because I, 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 they weren't supposed to be. I'll let you into a trade secret. They were supposed to be for bracelets. But I thought, no, I'm not going to waste all of know, them on bracelets. I love them as pendants. You make a feature of them. Yeah, I totally agree. And all sorts of things. And they're not. I, they're all very different. I think yeah. that's why I'm struggling to choose a favourite. Yeah, no, I cool. love that, that Amazonite one. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I love the Labradorite one. Yeah. I love them all. It's hard to so choose. All, so all I've done is I've just gone into my bead stash and found the relevant gemstones to go with the relevant donuts and so we've got obviously Amazonite and we've got Labradorite coming up and Rose Quartz and uh, no they're just ace. And how fantastic for some people that maybe can't wear your precious metals, mm. yeah, yeah. you know macrame, kumahimo, yeah. knotting, you know these are all techniques that have been used. Yeah I've not used a single finding, they're all knotted, they're all um, Love that. friendship bracelet bands so uh, yeah I've not used any, any metal at all. Now there is a but, the but is quantity. Oh, oh is there? Unfortunately is it, a big but? it is a big but. Right. It is a big but. 77 is the highest quantity that we have for you this uh, this afternoon. So I would encourage you shopping ahead. Yes, yeah, 77 is not going to be enough, is it? Mm. Out of curiosity, Mark, yeah. hopefully you will get to do your artisanal markets again. How mm. much would you sell those pieces for, do you reckon? Um, Amazonite one, I'd probably go for, I don't know, 45, 50 pound. Right, that's amazing. Rose quartz, 45 again. Labradorite, because that Labradorite is just intense. I'd probably go 60 for that one. And yeah. then maybe 25, 30 for the bracelets. Okay, well, I think you're going to be surprised mm. by these prices then today. Okay. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, now it's three kits of which you get two of the square donuts that are brand new, yep. um, featuring gemstones. We don't actually see that often. Did you want another, did you want another trade secret? Yeah. What we were going to do was put one donut with each kit. Did you do some I arm did. twisting? <laughs> I, I, I knew yeah. then. I could just tell in your eyes. And then, I chose Mark. the cord colour and I chose the CB, so it's, so all, the, so it's all my fault basically. These so. are Mark kits. Yeah. Mark kits. Sorry about that. Um, no, don't ever apologise because we know they're amazing kits. Then now let's mm. start by showing the fact. When was the last time you saw K2 Jasper? Uh, K2 Jasper. It's, uh, um, 
second highest mountain. It is under Everest, yeah. Hey. Well remembered. <laughs> <gasps> I surprise yeah. myself sometimes. Yeah. Um, but in terms of gemstone wow. sourcing, one of the it's known to be one of the most mm. dangerous, isn't it? Because yeah. um, because of its extreme uh, um, altitudes, obviously. Um, so that's completely natural. Um, and basically, K two Jasper, please be careful of imitations. Um, it's not the same. You can unfortunately sometimes see jaspers which have just had uh, uh, had. Um, like dyes dropped on top of them. Not the case here. It's actually azurite. So yeah. one of the bluest of blues, which has rained mm. onto your gem. So you get both of these, your lapis lazuli of which is 22 carats. Um, and That's you're getting- a hefty weight, isn't it? It is, for yeah. One, for one stone. 22 carats. Um, square donut, thickness of four millimeters, both completely natural. How amazing is that? Yeah. Lapis lazuli, steeped in history, K2 Jasper, one of the most amazing dynamic gemstone that is incredibly rare. Um, and you do want those sort of puddles, if you like, of azurite, which is what gives you those beautiful blues. So you get both of those. And then you also get... Well, I've never seen this before. Is this new? So this is Beadsmith Eslon. Yes, yeah, so you get four different colours. I can't remember the yardage. You get... A lot of uh, yards of I'll tell you now. Um, is that right? Ten yards, it says on my screen. Of each colour. Yeah. So 40. 40 yards. 40 yards in total. Um, amazing. And you're also getting your Mayuki matte transparent blue eleven O's as well. So the, f the fact that, yeah, most of us will have a complimentary coloured bead. Absolutely. The, 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 the idea of the day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's good. Use those. Because yeah, most people are going to have lapis. Maybe K2 at a push, but because you've got that blue, you've got so many different blue gemstones. Yeah, you don't you need additional gemstones, no, no, do no, you? No, absolutely not. No. Now, so I, so I, did, I had all that left in my. So I wow. touched mine. So but this is a thicker a cord, isn't it? This is 0.5, I think. Okay, I so think I can 0.5. do. Yeah. yeah. Notting. Not, you can do notting. It'll go through all of your gemstones pretty much. Really, it's really nice. It's really wow, nice it's lovely. I've never, really never seen it before. I like the fact that you get that you get com you get complementary colour mixes. It's lovely. Yeah, perfect. Next, did you say, Ross? Oh, what's he doing? No. Twenty nine pounds <laughs> and ninety nine pence. Forty yards um, of your beautiful S long cord. I've not seen it before. It's very silky, it's isn't lovely. it? It's lovely. It's lovely, and it knots just the same. And you can melt it with your with your oh, really? with the naked flame, and, and so you don't need to use glue. No, it's lovely. So straight away, I'm thinking you're getting your K, you're purchasing your K2 and your lapis, yeah, yeah. which are natural, so that's, both that's natural. The price of the, the donuts. Exactly, on fifteen yeah. pound for the donuts, and then you're getting your cords and your Mayuki for free. Which perhaps I should put those down and hold the gemstones. Really, um, now. We're going to bring you the whole entire kit. I love the fact that no, no K2 is going to be exactly no, the same. No. Um, these wonderful puddles of beautiful natural azurite. How about both? That's lower than you said on my star it by sheet. It was a lot lower. That 77 quantity is not going to hang around for very long, is it? Are you sure, Ross? Let's okay. do it, he says. Okay. These are brand new. Never done it before. Why not a square donut? No. K2 Jasper. I, I, I mean, I have a presentation on it, but it goes back years ago that I've actually uh, spoken about it. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only, just for the donuts alone. That's mad. Yeah, it's crazy. Have we got seventy-seven of this kit? Sorry, <laughs> sixty of this kit. It is a little bit more limited. And if I just put the lapis down for a second, let me just show you because each of your K2s. You see these little puddles? This is what I love about these, because you can decide which side you want. Because yeah. actually they're both going to be different, aren't they? I had a really unromantic name for K2 when we launched it. it was, and I, got, I did get told off for saying it like Dare I ask? <laughs> I called it the Bingo Dobber Gemstone. Because it looked like somebody had stamped with a Bingo Dobbing pen. But you, you say that, <laughs> but the reality is you probably have seen pieces of, of, of K2 Jasper elsewhere. That's probably how it's mm. not genuine K2. Mm. But they dye it. They, they dye it. Little blobs they do. Of, uh, yeah. of, 
of ink on um, on a jasper yeah. just to actually replicate the rarity of the stone. Yours is certified, genuine, yeah. natural K2 jasper. Plus, you've got your Sari Sang lapis lazuli again with those lovely speckles. Um, oh, a beautiful like pyrite this. inside. Yeah. There was only 60 of these, just over 60. Gillian Kim, Alison Ann, Manchester Sarah, Joy, Jennifer, Linda, uh, Barbara, Julie, Norma, Sarah. Um, I've got Susan, Margaret, Kim, Maker, Angus, Judith, Susan. There's loads of you getting involved. We don't see... It's probably been years since I've brought K2 Jasper mm. to air. Mm. And it is mined um, on the foothills of the uh, of Mount K2. Yeah, the yeah. Mountain K2, what do just they refer? Just up the road from... Just up the road. Just up the road from Mount Everest. Yeah, there you go. Pop along. It's just a little uh, stretch your leg, legs jaunt. Yeah, no, but it is known it's to amazing. be one of the most... Um, isn't it most danger one of the the de most dangerous mountains yeah. in the world? Yeah. yeah, because of the because uh, not just the altitudes, but the actual climb itself is meant to be um, wow. intense and dramatic. I mean, like I said, I can't imagine that. Uh, even embarking on a journey like that, good, uh, Beverly. Hello to you, Millaby. There it is. I know it it's is. incredible. Wow, it's impressive, isn't it? I'd, so probably, I'd probably go up the right hand side rather than the left by the look. And then be like that, that'll do. <laughs> Before the altitude sickness and everything. You know, you know, I read the other in. day that 100 people a week reach the summit of Everest. And there's a queue for the last, for the last 100 metres. There's a queue because it's so steep. They have to go one at a time to reach it. And there's a queue to get to the last 100 feet of Mount Everest. It's amazing, isn't it? Must be mad. I'm, do you know Absolutely what I do? Because you know Steve's about to climb the yes. Himalayas. Yeah. I'm like, when's he? I reckon he's going to do it yeah. at Everest. Do you think so? I reckon. I've never. I bet, it, I bet it's on his bucket list. It's got to be because yeah. he's that kind of. He is. Yeah. He is that kind because of. Because it's adventure. there, he has to do it. Yeah, he is that. Yeah. I reckon. I reckon. Um, oh, let's do the moo kite. The moo kite. Should we do the moo kite one next? Well done. Cool. Yeah. Wow. There's your cords back Marvellous. there. Marvelous. Eh? Look at these. Oh, lovely colours of cords. Look at them first. Well, we know a tube's eight pound. Yeah, yeah, I know. You've got 40 I think, yards. I think, I think the, the cords are a fiver. I okay. Think. Seems to ring Fair a enough. Look at the quality of the mookite. And then you also get your lovely rose cords. So, I've got a limited quantity of these though, jewellery makers. There's how many? This is the one where we had 70. Got some interesting facts apparently coming oh. through. Hello, Belinda saying, as of February 2021, according to the Himalayan That's databases uh, count, Everest had 10,658 confirmed oh. summits and K2 just oh. 37. Oh. Sorry, 377. Uh, is oh. wow well because why would you go to k2 which is the second tallest when you can do your everest which is the tallest yeah but isn't k2 more dangerous it is but you'd want to do the tallest wouldn't you I don't it looks know. better on your cv i climb the tallest not i climb the most difficult uh, i'll be honest do, I, i'm not going to do I, either I, i'd do everest if i had a choice would you yeah would you yeah I don't know. I feel sorry for K2. So just for yeah. that, I'm, go I'm climbing yeah. K2. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How amazing are these? Off you pop to Everest I'll go, I'll, then. I'll let you know. I'll send you a postcard. <laughs> My goodness me. For the two beautiful, beautiful donuts. Square donuts for £20. That's amazing. Oh. Can we just do a little bit? Of, that's £5 per component, mm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Effectively. £5 for your mookite. £5 for your straw, uh, for your uh, rose quartz. £5 for your restaurant. £5 for your, for, for your Mayuki. Unbelievable. Mark, once again, that bracelet. And I had to put it with that turquoise on the, uh, on the yeah. board because it's, it's just beautiful. The two together, that sort of mustard and teal. Yeah, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. Um, we've only got 70 of these, so make sure you are checking them out, everybody. And, and Mark's like, oh, which one should I demonstrate? I'm going to do this one. I yeah, think. I think so. Yeah. That would have got probably got my yeah. vote. Yeah. Um, I'll keep you updated on the quantity of them. Keep dialing through. I've still got the Amazonite and the Labradorite, which I think is going to be the most mm. popular kit. Um, still got that one to come as well. Um, make sure you're ready to check out those baskets. So, Mark, is it that bracelet? So I'm just going to show you how to do the... Um, I'm going to change the cord colour, actually. I'm going to go for this. I was, I'm in an R-ing, but you can't really see the white. So I'm just going to show you how to do the, the, the lark's head knots to secure. I was sat here earlier and, and um, 
what I wish I'd done now and I should have done was, was done um, a macrame section, mm. okay, just your straightforward Solomon's bar, and then put that through the hole. So you had okay, macrame yeah, yeah. As, your, yeah. as your holder, in effect. You have these ideas on the show, don't you think? Oh, I wish I'd tried But you've that. got plenty of cord and you've always got, I, I mean, 19 99 It's not a bad price point no, for those donuts not. either, no, is it? No, it's brilliant. So I'm going to use the turquoise, I think. And I'm going to use the lapis as I didn't use the lapis in my demo, in the, um, the, the pieces. Marvellous. Okay. So there are two different ways that a, a lark's head lock knot looks. Okay. So I'll mm -hmm. quickly show you. So, so I've, I've taken a piece of cord folded it in half so you have the loop. And I'm going to take the loop through from the back to the front, pull the loop through ever so slightly, and then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to bring the two threads through, like so if I just push those up through. Okay, so you, you have a back and a front to a lark's head knot. So if this is the back, and can you see the cords are coming from behind the loop? If I turn it over, the two cords, the loop is now at the front. Can you see the difference? So the loop at the front, the loop at the back. So already that, that looks a bit messy, doesn't it? looks a bit untidy. Mm. So always make sure when you're doing something like this that you have your loop at the front. Okay, okay see so the sort of the bridge with the cords coming underneath. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna place our, let me, can I just, do you mind if I just get my T-pins? Sorry, I'm, there's Trusty always, tea pins. There's, there's always something. There's Trusty all... tea pins. Um, when, uh, have we got any of those in stock tea pins? No. no. no They're like gold dust, aren't they, tea pins? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So we're just going to take one of our tea pins. And again, we're just going to place our donut in our board, pop our tea pin in somewhere on the line. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our two ends and place into a slot at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, 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 as I said, the design that we had on the, the Mookite bracelet. So that's now in position. We're going to do our square knot macrame. So we're going to take another, I'll use this, this turquoise cord again. What we're going to do is we're just going to tie one square knot. So we're going to do a left and we're going to do a right. Now remember that we're going to do the same both sides, okay? So you're going to go underneath, hold it nice and tight. And because you know I've got that nice and secure, we're just going to take our cords and just push as tight as we can up against that, that lark's head knot at the top. And then we're going to do our right hand side. Okay, so we just need to do one square knot. And then I'm going to go for the, the, the blue seed beads, 11 O's. Lovely. And this is a nice little, little technique because instead of having the beads oh, going through, through the inside. Can we pass that bracelet over? Yes. I love this because, again, this is a Lynx of London technique as is well. It? Yeah, they oh. use this. No, it's, ever so, it's ever so simple but very effective. Yeah, no, it's nice. Oh. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, Amazing. so all we're going to do is we're going to take our left cord. And this is really good because the, um, these cords go through your 11 O's. So I'm just going to pick up an 11 O on the left hand cord. You see it goes through so easily. Slide that down, do the same on the other cord. So just again, pick up one of our 11 O's, thread it through. What we're going to do is make sure they're nice and tight at the bottom of our cords. Again, we're just going to tie a square knot just make sure that the first knot you pull nice and tight and those two seed beads will pop out to the side, which is what we want. So you probably see better in the gold on the finished bracelet. Mm, here you go. And then we're going to do the other side of our knot. Pull nice and tight. And all we're going to do then is just, we're just going to repeat. So we're going to pop an 11 out on the left hand side, 11 out on the right. Again, if you've got eight O's in your stash, you can, if you want something a bit chunkier, you can use those if you want to. And again, we're going to do the left side. Just make sure you take your time for the first half of the knot and just make sure that those seed beads are now sitting nice and parallel with each other. So you're just going to continue with this until you get to... Now what I did, I think, I had the, um, the donut, which is about an inch, mm. I think, and then I did 
three inches of your beading and then you do the same on the other side. So that, that in effect is your seven inches for your bracelet. And then all you do, once you've got to the length, I mean, you, you can only, if you want to, you just do three if you just want to make a feature yeah. pendant, if you like. And then all you do then is you slide your board forward. I'm going to stick in a couple of pins. So on my desk at home, I've got two large boards on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I've got my manky tea towel. Oh, Why is it manky? You don't, want to, you don't want to know. I've got my manky oh, I do. Tea. Why is it manky? <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> Why is your tea towel manky? So when I first, the first day I joined jewellery, oh, please don't make me tell you this story. Um, oh, don't make me feel bad. The first day I came here, so that's 12 years ago. Yeah. Um, I got my first kit. Yeah. Okay. Went home. I didn't have a macrame board. Okay. I had a dining room table. So what I got, I got one of, the, one of the, remember the black felt mats that you display with? Yeah. Yeah. And I've put a tea towel over the top to stop my beads rolling around. Yeah. And I've used that tea towel on my desk ever since and I've never washed it. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely I'll tell you, if if I looked at it hard enough, I think it would get up and walk to the washing machine on it. So but it's got it's got history on it and it's got yeah, all, no, I all, get all the it. glue blobs I remember where they came from and all the measurements and I these biros to do I get that. bracelet but it's it's rank. It is rank. Your original, first ever. But I don't, I board. don't, I don't wash it now. It's, it's been with me throughout my journey. I like that. What I'll do. If, I think that's very uh, sweet. Next, uh, we're on on Saturday, aren't we? Shall yeah. I bring it in and yeah. show you? Let, yes, please. I'll do that. Remind me. Remind please me. Please do. I like that. Do you know what? And I can appreciate this as a mother of, of of two children that have that one toy. Oh, I know. I picked up that. Uh. Well, it doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just, I'll bring, it, I'll bring it in on Saturday. Towel. Yeah, I'll bring it in. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to do your little sea beading until you get to the length that you need. And all you're going to do is you're going to pick up your piece, keep it attached to your um, donut at the end. And all you're going to do is you're just going to plait. So you've got your two strands that were your lazy strand. And then you're just going to plait like child's hair you would. And that I always, whenever I'm doing a bracelet like this that has a braided, friendship band, I do a hundred moves and that's perfect length to do your, your tying up. So you're just going to, as I said, just plait like you would a child's hair, which everyone can plait, can't they? And again, you can either do this or you can do a Solomon's Bar, um, Shambhala slidey knot if you want to do that. But I, I really like doing this sort of technique because it's, I like the fact that you tie a bracelet on and you leave it on. Mm. I really like that idea. So you do your hundred knots and then you do a simple overhand knot which gathers up all of your cords. And again, use your T-pin or your bead or something like that just to slide that down till it reaches your knots. Pull nice and tight. And then once you've done your knot, I take in each individual thread and pull nice and tight. Because you don't want that coming undone at the end. Nice and tight. And then I always, again, leave an inch tuft at the end just to tie it off. So if I show you the completed bracelet. Yeah. And I'll, um, sorry, that was me. I'll, I'll um, undo it. I love this bracelet, Mark. It's absolutely beautiful. I just love the colour of that, that Eslon colour. I'm surprised yeah. that the Mookite's still yeah. available, to be truthful. Yeah. yeah. So, so you've got your Mookite, you've got your, you've got your three inches each side, then you've got your hundred moves of your plaits, then you've got your knot and your little tuft. And as I said, you can either tie it around the wrist with a double knot or a single knot with a bow. And it's just a nice way of finishing off. And again, no findings, no metal. That's lovely. That's lovely. And you can do that with a choker if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I've got one lot of macrama here, but there's plenty of room in that hole there to do three sections. Yeah. Seed beaded up and then yep. plait those if you wanted to. Yeah, so perfect. There's so you many different ways. You could set gemstones yeah. in the centre of yeah. those. Well, what I like well. is, is the hole isn't big. Yeah. So you're actually making a feature of the, of the gemstone, not the fact that it's a donut. Yeah, so, I agree. Uh, I totally agree. I love that. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. love it. Can I see yeah. it on there? Yeah. Sorry, here's me swiping out yeah. of the shop right now. Just. Yeah. Look out, and that's going to be a comfortable piece of jewellery as well, isn't it? Oh, Mark, that's beautiful. Let me show everybody, sorry. Um, we've still got one more kit, but this kit I do think is going to be um, one of the faster sellings. Look how lovely that is. Having said that, I thought the Mookite would be. There's still a couple of the Mookite available. Right now, though, I'm just going to uh, pass that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at this Labradorite. Gorgeous, isn't it? I love the way it's been cut as well. It's really, it's, it's just beautiful. And the seed beads that you get in the in the kit match beautifully. So I've mixed and matched because I just love the idea of having 
this with the Amazonite and I've used the blue from the other kit for the Labradorite because it just picked up beautifully. Like, Amazonite is incredible. Yeah, you can really see. You know sometimes how um, Amazonite has that silver. Can you see the flashes there of silver? Go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And they are sibling stones, aren't they? For, um, uh, Feldspar, aren't they? Yeah, yeah both yeah. members of the Feldspar family. So you get these. Uh, yeah, both members of the Feldspar. Yeah. And then you also have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cord. Cho all the chocolate mm, colours, yeah, beautiful cool, nude colours. Cool, yeah. So here we go, you get the two, and again, limited, we've only got, what, 70 or less. 70 of this kit available, always two of our most popular gemstones here. Um, showing the most popular on pre-order. So here's the Amazonite. Oh, Mark, that's gorgeous. So all I've done is I've, I've done a couple of twist knots and then I've, I think it's 12 beads on either side and you cage the gemstone with the beads. So it just adds another little little flourish. And then again, you've done, I've done an inch of my twist knot, which I love doing. Yeah, that it's might be gorgeous. my favorite, that piece, yeah. I think. I love it. I yeah. love those two colors. Yeah. I love this one. I also mm. like the bracelet mm. you've just demonstrated. Oh, mm. I love them all. It's hard to choose, isn't it? 19 pounds and 99 mm. pence. It's yeah. four amazing components. Very popular on pre-order, this one. I can't say I'm surprised. Now, the, the cords or the donuts are not available individually. They were specifically bought for as a masterclass. Moving forward, I don't know. No, it's not looking likely, to be honest. They're no. looking at they will sell out. And all, I, I, what we always mention, Mark, is you're probably better off getting them in the kit anyway. Absolutely, yeah. Because we, we, and we've colour matched, what, in our opinion, what, what works and what doesn't. And, uh, and you get a better, save, better saving, don't you? Yeah. So, well, that's £5 per component. I'm fairly sure the donuts will not be £5 each if they were brought to air. No, no. I think no. you're probably looking at a sort of 10, 11 pound each, yeah, I would have thought. Yeah, exactly. Um, lots of you there. Angus, Chandy, hello to you. Erica, Catherine, hello to you. Margaret, Christine, Suzanne, uh, Janice, Marishka, Tracy, Anne in Malaga, hello to you. Elaine, nice to see you. Erica, Catherine, Eileen, I can't keep up with you, Jenny, I can't. There's 70 of these available. It is proven to be one of the... Well, I like, I like thinking of gemstones like this because some, some strands, what you see on the screen is what you'll get. So for clear quartz, for example, You've seen it on the screen, it arrives, you know what you're going to get. But with these, because they are so unique, it's, mm. it's, the, it's the wondering what yours are going to look like when they arrive, because yeah. they're going to be so different. I mean, your Mookite, for example, is completely different to the Mookite I had. Absolutely. And the Labrador will be the same, and the amount of blue blotches on the K2. Yeah, so I agree. I just think it makes it even more unique. And that's the joy of gemstones, though, yeah, isn't it? Completely. The fact that every single yeah. one will be unique, otherwise, yeah. they're, uh, otherwise they're manufactured, yeah, aren't they, effectively? Completely. Um, we had 70. The call screens has gone crazy. If you see, if you have a phone in your hand press, and you press your option one, wonderful. If you see your name on this side of the list, I would encourage checking out soon rather than later. So Elizabeth, Abiola, Eileen, Maker, Michelle, Jacqueline, Sandra, Morag, Brion, Jerry, and there's people still joining us right now. So we only had 70. How are we doing, Ross, in terms of quantity? 20 left of these. Um, the Mookite, I think there's still some of those, the Mookite and the Rose Quartz. Um, the K2 Jasper and the Lapis Lazuli is equally very, very limited, but I think they're all going to be on I mean, I've, screen. I've used cord in the CBs that you get with it. There's nothing stopping you using your gallery wire or doing, no. your, doing yeah, wire really wrapping cool. or all sorts of things with it. Hello, Amanda. Oh, Mark. <laughs> I've really enjoyed your makes today, you. despite the fact I don't use sea beads, but I really think I can manage to make any of these. Absolutely. Yeah. I think less is more with these, with the sea beads. Just, just yeah. use them as an accent. They really yeah, are. Yeah, 100%. And really isn't nice. that what really yeah. introduced you to sea beading, it actually was using them as... With, with gemstones. Yeah, on the side. as yeah. accents. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. make sure you're checking out on those jewellery makers. Absolutely fabulous. Loving those. Um, right. Okay, now... Between now and the top of the show, we can squeeze in a few more goodies. Now, we have found what? No. We didn't do it in Black Spinel, did we? <laughs> we had, you know the Alhambra that we brought you at 8 o'clock this morning? There are only 17 available, though. Um, we had it in the Bursa Jade. We had it in Malachite. That's the only two I've seen as well. Um, we also commissioned it in Black Spinel, but they're limited. Very swish. I've never brought this to it. Oh, this is lovely. So, it 
If you look on Van Cleef and Arpels, here we go, Van Cleef and Arpels. This is Onyx, though, so not as rare as Black Spinel. £4,000, £3,950 for, what is it, a five-motif Alhambra bracelet, the ones that, that uh, you saw Adele wearing. Yeah. Um, and that's for Onyx. Again, the four-leaf four clover motif, it, it was, uh, the, I don't know if it was actually Van Cleef and Arpel that first actually came up with this idea, but certainly they're the ones that are credited with it. Um, one of their most... Uh, um, poignant and definitely recognised designs and collections that has been around quite literally for decades. Um, but you are talking thousands of pounds, absolutely. Now, do you notice on, see that one? Oh, this is interesting, because Ross, can you see that one that is um, your carnelian? Can we click on that? And there's a reason I'm doing this, bear with. Oh, the back. No. No. It's because you see, you get three of the, the gemstones, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you get three of the, sorry, two of the gold. Mm -hmm. Look, you get three of the gemstone. Ah, and two of the sterling. And two of the silver, with the gem set in the middle. They're exquisite. I have, but it's just the luster. It's just the luster, I know. Yeah. How amazing. So you can recreate that with just little sections. How much is that one? So that one's £4,700. Carnelian. Look, it's rare. It's a gemstone. It's a beautiful gemstone, but it's not that rare. Um, you've got a few tiny little, I'd say probably two millimetre diamonds in this. And yes, it's framed in 18 karat rose gold. Stunning. Um, but lots of inspiration we can take uh, from that beautiful cl uh, tr uh, collection that has never really changed. You know, we showed photographs earlier on this morning, didn't we? Uh, Princess Grace of Monaco actually wearing her Alhambra. We showed, uh, we've shown in the past, Francois Hardy wearing hers. You know, um, they do use Onyx um, more than Spinelli. Do you think you'd have to be aware of counterfeits? Oh, yes. There's no way of knowing that it would be a Van Cleef if you bought it off a website like that. You mean you'd have to go direct to the store, wouldn't you? Well, I the thing is, guarantee with, or yeah, the thing is with jewellery and handbags, watches, mm, all of the mm. above, clothing, interior design. That's the thing. Inspiration comes from everywhere, doesn't mm, it? So yeah. um, that's why a lot of watches look the same. Um, yeah, and like think back to the the, the bumblebee, Alex Munro, yeah. Lily Rose, all yeah. uh, Gucci, all using the bumblebee. £39.99. pence. Well, I tell you what, I haven't got the £5,000 to buy that no. bracelet, but I can manage £39.99. These are 925, uh, 925 solid sterling silver. I'm just going to flip one of these round as well mm. to show you the investment of precious metal on the reverse, you know, just so you know the level of quality. Sorry, Ross, how many did you say we had? 17 available. Sorry, you've got my fingerprint on that. I was that in our local one. supermarket last week and they had, a, they had a pot of jam for three quid. I can't get I can't get my head around how expensive Three food is at the moment. For a pot of jam. I know. Food. Oh, so expensive these yeah, days. It's crazy, isn't it? So, so, so expensive. I know. I know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Our weekly shop's about best part of £200. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, 0800 655 you know what to do it's genuine natural black spinel beautifully hand carved into your classic four leaf clover we spoke about earlier on Jack Sarpel said to be lucky you have to believe in luck and he was a big advocator of the four leaf clover he used to give to his employees alongside a copy of Don't Quit the I wonder poem. where the name of the word Alhambra came from then. I don't know we must, we must investigate not sure that. let's research that yeah. one um, only five of these left and we're hugely over allocated jewellery makers um, yeah you do love them it's so funny because a couple of what was it last weekend when I stepped in the studio and I was alongside Linda and she was like oh look at this necklace I got it on holidays and she was like we really should do some of this and I went eh? <laughs> there you go um, well done now have I got what sorry they've been sat there since all morning this morning just just staring at us yeah. a mega deal on genuine gem 925 sterling silver Ooh. slider bracelet. So, okay, I'm going to try and pick it up and show you as best as possible. I like how these are actually. Yeah, yeah. Look, so they're not going to get no. tangled. You're looking after each of your gemstones, etc. Here we go. Now, you have in this, is it, am I right in saying 12? 10 genuine 
925 sterling silver slider bracelets, which include cultured pearls, labradorite, lapis lazuli, opal, garnet, moonstone, citrine, amethyst, amazonite, and also type A yeah. grade Burmese jadeite. Um, nine solid grams of precious 925 sterling silver in your amazing slider bracelet. Right, let's do an absolutely incredible exit deal. You've got 10 slider bracelets, not base metal. Each uh, gemstone is about what, sorry? Tech Eight millimeter rounds, there we go. Look at those citrines at the front of your screens, how beautiful that is. Look at your type A jades. Look how beautiful that pink mo uh, opal is. Let's open up this auction, just opening. 10 pounds each. Sterling silver, 925. Wow. Precious metal. That's amazing. With your genuine gemstones. Quite a few birthstones in there as well, haven't we? We certainly have. Yeah. Opal. Yeah. Moonstone. Amethyst. Pearl. Pearl. Citrine. Citrine, yeah. What else have we got in there? Oh, yeah, there's plenty. I've there's always wondered why lapis is in a birthstone. Should be, it should I be. think it should be. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Now, we are at £10. If we were to bring them individually, what would they be? Fourteen ninety nine, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And that's an unbelievable. That's a dream brilliant price. Yeah. Jadeite probably closer to twenty nine, I'd say. As, as, as a bare minimum. Sorry, I'm just getting carried away with the fact I'm holding <laughs> all this. It felt like a tassel, you see. You know when you forget where you are yeah. for a second. There's me just like swinging <laughs> the ta swinging the beautiful genuine gemstones around. No, they are all tied together, mm. so it's all perfectly safe. Don't worry. But yeah, ten pound per slider bracelet for beautiful gemstones, including Type A Burmese jadeite that we all know has uh, has depleted back in 2020. We're at ten pounds each. Let's do a mega closeout deal, Ross. We can't have many of these left now. Thought so. Less than twenty. I can't do that maths. Six what? Six? Of course it is. It's ten in your six pound and ninety nine pence each. You wouldn't think that you'd spend if you were doing a Christmas present. I mean, for seven pounds, you in a million years. Imagine. Never in a million years. A base metal, maybe. Yeah, yeah. If these were base metal, you know, then absolutely. I mean, look, look, look at the quality. That's labradorite that you can see there. Oh my goodness me. Beautiful, beautiful quality of each of these gems. Yeah, it's $6.99. It is a closeout deal. Lovely jewelry makers, make sure you're checking them out. Right, um, do you remember we mentioned that nine o'clock on Saturday, I've got these Sakura Agate kits. Oh, uh, yes. With these diamond encrusted S clasps. Yeah. In one of, oh, I really shouldn't tell you this. Go on. In one of the kits comes with five of sterling silver slider beads. Does it? Yeah. Just, just, yeah. They'd be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. So make sure yeah. you're with us on yeah. Saturday. Now, <clears throat> I, I agree. Uh, sorry, producer yeah, Ross is just yeah. saying, El, some pla most places, most, not some, most, most places. They're not wrong, with the exception, we're the wrong ones. Just for the Type A jadeite in sterling silver, £69.99. Yeah. That's an unbelievable price point. This is one of the world's rarest gemstones out of the 4,000 minerals that exist. What? I did reference one with 12. <laughs> oh, they're slightly smaller in their size. Okay. No way. Oh, these are cute. Okay. These were launched as part of the birthday. There's 12 with them. Tanzanite can I see in there? You can. Do can you know I what? see? What else can I see in there? Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Let's let, let, I want to surprise I you. This one. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Sorry, Ross. What was that lovely? First price crash, less than £10 each. That right there, on your screens, is your birthday price point. Where it closed during the birthday celebrations at the beginning of May. Um, okay, I've got 22 left. That is Black Diamonds. Mark, you spotted the Tanzanite, didn't you, lovely? Yeah, they're huge. They are huge. 
Beautiful nut. Sterling silver and tanzanite. That's the birthday price point. You don't just get the two uh, sterling silver slider bracelets. You get 12 of them. So that's a huge deal on the birthday. But I, look, it's May now. We're about to step... Uh, sorry, it was May and the birthday. Um, we're about to tiptoe into October. Let's get these gone. An absolutely amazing opportunity to, for you to really secure a clearance deal. 12... 925 sterling silver slider bracelets. Tanzanite and diamonds. I love that diamond, it's so elegant. You'd pay 99 for that, that diamond. Any day of the week, yeah. yeah. If you walked into a jeweler's that sold black diamonds, you'd pay more than what's on the screens? Yeah, yeah. How many do we have, Roscoe? Oh yeah, 17. Just looked up. So that's the birthday launch price. That's the birthday it? price, which is unbelievable. Brilliant. They were yeah. bought and yeah. intended to go. Amazing birthday deal, 99.99. That's what, less than a tenner each. What, it's about eight pound each? Is that right, about eight pound? Which is mad, considering you've got Tanzanite, Garnet, Amethyst, op uh, Jade, Opal, Emerald. You've got Citrine, Black Spinel. The Black Spinel's amazing too. We are gonna do a closeout deal though. I love these. The final 16. Honestly. That's £6.66 per slider bracelet. Unbelievable. You don't just get three though, you get 12. 12, 9, 2, 5, still. Obviously, I'm just picking up a few pearls that's absolutely beautiful in the pearls as well. Emerald, black diamond, citrine, blue sapphire, tanzanite, Rajasthan garnet. You get um, uh, diamonds. Which ones am I missing there? I haven't got the list in front of me. So hang on a minute. Rajasthan garnet, amethyst, opal, aquamarine, black diamonds, emerald, pearls, ruby, black spinel, blue sapphire, white opal, citrine, and tanzanite. There you go. So it's, so it's, it's, it's all it's your birthstones. It's all the birthstones. Oh, how have I only just, how, how have I only just cottoned on to that now? All your birthstones. All your birthstones. Amazing. Well, that's true. Five hours. Five hours. Amazing. £6.66 for emeralds. £6.66 for Tanzanite. £6.66 for garnet, etc., etc. Unbelievable. Lower than the birthday. It's, there always comes a time as a business where you go, right, okay, 20, get them gone. Get them gone. They're taking up space within our vault. You've got Wayne, literally, who's just set foot off a plane from Hong Kong, eager to bring us more goodies. Amazing. Now, finale deal. Let's bring you one more of your jade carvings. I love this one as well. It's amazing. Look at look at how detailed that is. Oh yeah. Um, I'm a child of the 80s, so I remember. Well, I was born in the 70s. I was born in the same 70s, so same I grew up in yeah. the 80s. Yeah, same as me. Yeah. Um, so I remember things like Never Ending Story. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at look at the detail. Again, your dragons and the pearl. And it's double carved. Looks like some sort of exotic musical instrument, doesn't it? It's absolutely yeah. amazing, yeah. isn't it? The detailing of this carving, and it's all done by hand. You've got your blend of your beautiful colours, type A, tri-colour. So do you notice on your recording in particular, you can actually see you've got the white, you've got the lavender, and also you've got your apple blossom green. Um, incredibly rare. Incredibly rare. The works of art that come from our amazing uh, master... Well, not ours personally, of course. We deal with the master carvers, uh, carvers directly in, uh, in China the level of intricacy. We're not stopping there though. Let's bring this to you as um, a finale deal of what has been a lovely, a super Monday, hasn't super it? Super Monday. Super Monday and I've got Mark back on Saturday, so it's all is good. Amazing. All Saturday. is good. I'm very excited. Um, 129 pounds only, yes. It's so you, you definitely want to see the tea towel then? Definitely want to okay. see the tea towel. Okay. Do you know, I like it. Do you know why I, I, I want to see this tea towel, Mark? Mm. I like the fact mm. that you are very organised and you're very know, clean and you're very tidy. I know, I know. I, I, like I, I, I iron my underpants, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just I can't, I can't touch this poor tea towel. No, it's got, it's got... It's my history. It's my JM history. 100%. Yeah. 
percent. I like that okay. about it. Yeah, bring okay. in the tea towel. We'll display it somewhere. All right. Yeah. Let's get do it get displayed up there. <laughs> What's with the tea towel? This is the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, have a little look back on the website, lovely jewelry makers. There's lots of lovely items on there that we've brought you throughout the course of this morning show. Um, make sure you check out your kits on Mark's amazing masterclass, and also the nine o'clock was a mm. wonderful, wonderful kit. So nice lovely job. demonstrations as always, Bless. Mark. Um, when so you're back? I was about to say when yeah, back. Yeah. So Saturday. I'm back Saturday. So nine o'clock we've got Sakura with the diamond clasp. Love it. And then at twelve o'clock we've not told you yet. No. Brand new launch. Okay. Ombre diamond oh, yes. tubing. Yes. I think I think after the selenite is going to be my favourite product of the year after the selenite. Do you know Monica incredible. said something exactly yes. the same and hers wasn't even. And you've on, got right? Monica's special show yes. tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah. it's Monica's birthday yeah. tomorrow. So make sure yeah. you get your entries in for the Wall of Fame. I don't know if the cutoff points happened or not, but tune in to, to wish our lovely mm. Monica a happy birthday. Brand Mark. new mega loom. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. You've got such a good memory, I have to yeah. say. <laughs> I've also got Dave joining us tomorrow. Brand new Olmec. Have a lovely afternoon and we'll see you bye soon. Bye.